Joe. Uh-uh. When did you come back from school? Big bro, good evening. My baby, how are you? Cause how skinny you have become. Don't you eat in school? Bro, I do eat so. It's just the stress of running to class so early and all the project stuff. I really don't want you to stress. Thank goodness it's your final year. At least you finish and come work for me in my company. I can't wait. I can't wait to be in the same office as my brother. My dear, welcome back. Thanks, mom. You should have at least called me that my sister is around. I would have gotten her a favorite food tray on my way back. Yes, mom. You should have told him. You're spoiling this girl. I cooked at home, let her eat. Besides, she's not a kid. If I don't spoil my kid's sister, who would I spoil? By the way, I'm rich and I'm able to afford whatever she wants. She's not a kid. She's 24. Let her find a man for herself. Mom, what man? I don't need any man. I have my brother. Tell her. By the way, mom, what did you cook? I don't know why mom would prefer to cook instead of the maid. I even offered to help, but she always likes to cook on her own. I enjoy cooking. I've been cooking all these years alone, my son. Go in and fresh up and come and eat. I made fried rice. You know how much I love fried rice? I should hurry up and bat. But bro, don't forget you still owe me a food tray. How can I forget? Anything for my adorable sister. You this girl. Leave my son alone. You're not the first person to have a brother. But she's the first person to have a brother like me. More like the luckiest girl alive. Did you hear him, mom? He's so perfect. What would I do with you, these children? Allow your brother to go bed and come for dinner. I'm going. You're only persuading him to eat. What about me? What's my business with you? Have I not asked you to eat since? It's your business if you want to wait for Richard, so don't disturb me. This is not fair. I'm your only daughter. He's my only son too. You this girl leave me alone. I'm going to dish out food for my son. Bro, you're here. You haven't slept. I'm just enjoying this movie. Why haven't you slept? I'm on holidays, bro. I can sleep anytime I want to. I don't have to work in the morning. You're right, but I still have a few hours to watch this movie before I go to sleep. You're the boss at work. That's why you can go late and nobody will query you. Even bosses should show that they are punctual and early to work. If not, all your staffs will start emulating your footsteps. I understand, bro. I wanted to ask, have you heard from Success? Why should I hear from her? She's my ex, remember? Well, she called me while I was still in school. She wanted to talk to me about you. She's really sorry. Forget her. She shouldn't be sorry about what she did to me. She's a thief and I don't want her around me. A thief? Why would you say so? I entrusted her with all my passwords, my bank card pins, and everything. How could I not know that she was the only one who could steal from me? No one else could have transferred from my account without my permission. But she saw you, bro, and she loves you a lot. Love? Do you even know what love means? You want me to forgive someone who stole millions from me? You know the worst part? She still denies everything. She said that it wasn't her who did the transfers into her own banks. That's bad. At least she should have admitted the fact that she did it. You see why it's difficult to forgive her? We are done. I don't want to hear about her ever again. I guess I can't help her. You've moved on already. Yes, I have. Why are you still keeping contact with someone like that? Look her number. I'm not heartless. At least I'll first make her understand that she should move on because you have. Whatever. Just don't mention her here again. Yes, sir. Where am I getting my food? I'll get it for you when I'm coming back tomorrow. Make sure you get the one with lots of seafood. I prefer that. Yes, madam. Now let me enjoy this movie in peace. I'll just go back to bed. I'm tired. Good night. Good night. Mwavesi, where are you? No, I'm here. I've been looking everywhere for you. I told you I have to be at the market today. Tomorrow is Madam Cynthia's baby's dedication. I had to go collect the material I gave the tailor to sew for me. Is that why you locked the kitchen? I've been hungry. I know that you must have been really hungry, my son. But I can't just leave my kitchen wide open for you. Because I know how you can be with food. Ah, uh, ah, uh, mama. Don't worry. You'll miss me when I finally leave this house for good. And where would you be living to? You are supposed to bring your wife here and train your kids here as well. Remember this house is yours since you are the only son of your father. You should know me by now. I don't believe in inheritance. I'll build my own mansion and train my children there. Besides, my mom, I'm leaving this town soon. Leaving to where? Remember that work opportunity I got from Canada? The work I was supposed to go for a few months back. Yes, I remember. The one that got our hopes high and later didn't work out, right? Exactly. I was called again for the same job and guess what? They've done all my necessary travel documents so I'll be leaving this house to Canada in just few days. Don't play with me Desmond. Just tell me if you are joking now. 
Nay, I'm not joking. I've gotten this news since a week ago, but I decided to be sure before telling you about it. I just confirmed everything with my travel partner. Eh? Jesus, I thank you. Heavenly Father, be praised. Father, I thank you for not putting shame to my household. What could I have done without you? Look at me, a lonely widow who raised a child and saw him through school after he graduated three years ago. He has been without a job. Thank you for remembering him, Father. Thank you. This is the best news I've heard this year. My son, going abroad. Hell. Yes, so Mama. As you're looking at me, I'm already there. I'm happy for you. God bless you, my son. Amen. Thank you for the prayers, Mama. Can I eat something now? Of course. In fact, I'll be serving you with three meats until you leave. I'm too excited for this news. Who is there? Give me a minute, I'm coming. Feli, Feli, you decided to visit me today. Ah, uh -uh. Loma, I always visit you now. You're my only friend in this entire village. Come in, my dear. How have you been doing? I have been doing good though. How about you? The house has been really boring and lonely for me. Staying here all alone hasn't been easy at all. I can't say I understand, but sometimes when my son is not around, I feel the loneliness too. That's your son. Hope he is okay. I haven't seen him in a while. I even thought he left the village for good this time. Oh yes, he will soon be leaving for good this time around. And guess what? Alicia, I'm terrible at guessing. But if you ask me, with the way you are so excited, I would say you got a job in one of these big cities. It's even bigger. Desmond is traveling abroad for that job opportunity that was declined few months back. Chineke, that same job you all prayed and fasted about. They finally called him back after that old disappointment. Yes, so apparently they contacted him last week, but he didn't say a thing because he wanted to be sure if it's true. May God Almighty be praised. What God cannot do simply doesn't exist. Uh -huh. My friend's son will be working in Obodo Yibo. We thank God. I pray that my daughter gets such opportunity as soon as she is done with her studies. He say that is our prayer for our children. You see this news you just brought? It deserves celebration. Let me get juice. My daughter buys them when she came back from the holiday. Such a good child. Bring it, let's celebrate. I'm really excited. Give me a minute, my dear. Uh huh. There's money in Obodo Ibo. Chineke Dalu. That is how that useless lecturer gave me an E in his course. A whole five credit unit course. What were you expecting? We all knew how wicked Mr. Douglas has been. He is strict. I would fail you if you don't attend class. Attending a chemistry class is like committing suicide. It would be too boring. I'm telling you, my dear, I won't be caught dead in the chemistry class. But my problem is we can't have a better GP if we get E's and F's in five unit courses. There is always a way around these things. It's just the money that you pay that is the big deal. Money is not the problem now. Nah. You should know by now. Just don't parole and you'll have enough money to sell to this lecturer now. Nah. Exactly why I don't kill myself for. Oh, because it all falls down to either paying them in cash or in kind. Is there any movement tonight? You should know that I have connections in this town now. Don't worry. As far as I'm in this school, there is always where to go. I believe your mother, Tiara. This school would have been really hell with all fun. Just imagine going to class daily, come back to read, do assignments, call your parents for any little financial assistance, go hungry, and eat all those cheap food. And at the end of the day, you graduate from school without getting a job. After studying nursing for five whole years, you end up working in a pharmacy. Pharmacy better now. Most of them will go turn either cashier for hospital, or if they get small money, they will open small chemists. I no go lie you. All this school matter now for my mama. Oh. If not, we think concern me concern school. Abio, for this country, school not just unnecessary stress. I did tell you. I swear. But we have to make our parents proud. Most especially me, maybe only daughter. I understand you, my friend. I'm famished. Let's order something, I beg. Or you go like cook. Cook waiting. You look me finish, say make I enter kitchen. I beg. Other food. Get me better swallow and vegetable soup. Exactly what I want to. Mama, I'll miss you so much. Me too, my dear. But going there is even better. I know you are going there to get a better life. You're right, Mama. I hope you'll be fine, though. 
Of course I will be. Just make sure you take care of yourself and know where you are coming from. Oh. Of course, Mama. And I promise to call you every day. Please, always speak up. Why won't I pick up? You are my only son. Please, be careful. Don't know what I'm going to do without you. That reminds me. Did you tell Mama Tiara about my travel? Yes, I did. She was really excited. You need to see how she was dancing and praying. That's so nice of her. I really wish I had met her daughter. She stays in Lagos. She has lived there all her life until they moved to this village six years ago while her father was sick. Unfortunately, he died. You were still in school then and when you graduated from the university and came back here, she had already moved back to Lagos for studies. Seems like we were never meant to meet. Such a pretty young girl. Very nice and down to earth. Well, Mama, I had to run along. I don't want to miss my boss to Lagos, so I have to run along now. It is well with you. I shall hear only good news from you. I pray for God's guidance. Be upon you, my child. May the enemies not see you. You shall prosper. Amy, Mama, thank you for the prayers. God be with you too. Amen. Call me as soon as you are in Lagos, so I know you arrived safely. I won't forget, Mama. Take care. Safe journey, my son. Good evening, Mom. Where are you coming from, Oga? Did you not see the time? Mama, I had a very busy day at the office. I'm sorry I didn't call. Or oh, you went out with Kate again. And who is Kate? Is there something I should know? What is wrong with you? Nothing is wrong with me. When will you tell Mom that you're going out with your friend? What friend? Is Richard seeing someone? Why don't you ask your son? He is busy finding love when what he needs to do is to focus on what is important. And what do you think is important for me? Focus on work. You have two big companies that you run. You don't need any bimbo or gold digger in your life. Are you mad? Who do you think you are to tell me what is good for me? And who said I'm going after a bimbo or a good digger? Bro, that's not what I mean. I mean... Shut up. Do you think because I talk to you like we are age mates actually means that we are age mates? Don't you know your boundaries? That's enough now. What has come over the two of you? Fighting over some girl? I'm not fighting. I'm just looking out for him. Look out for yourself. Do I look like your child? What is wrong with you? Just go in, Richard. Go in and relax. Whatever. Don't cross the boundary next time. Richard is your older brother. In as much as he talks to you as a best friend, doesn't give you a right to decide what he should do with his life. Really? You're taking his side? I'm not the cause of his anger issues. I only told him what is best for him. He doesn't need those women who offers fake love in exchange for money. Please, I didn't say anything bad. Good night, mom. Rachel, come back here. Look at that. You won't take instructions or corrections. Him before he travels where is your son ah my friend i'm so sorry he left yesterday he was supposed to come see you before he leaves i wonder why he didn't my bad i honestly thought he was traveling today i thought today is thursday mama tiara what have you been thinking today is friday and i sure remembered i told you he was leaving you won't blame me i'm aging already <laughs> so how are you feeling now that he has left I'm just here like every other mother, praying and wishing him all the best. He's a strong man. I know you will skate through. Just be calm and be prayerful. My dear, you are right. How is your daughter? She barely comes to this village. She's a city girl. She is studying now. Uh, the last time she came, she didn't stay for long. She is studying nursing. Such a brilliant, beautiful girl. God bless our children. Eh? Are you going for the baby dedication we are invited to? It is on Sunday. Oh. I have gotten my material from the tailor. I just need to iron it. That is nice. Children are blessings from God. Yeah, so I really don't like the fact that our children didn't get to meet before your son traveled. Exactly what he said before he left yesterday. He was saying he wished he met your daughter before he left. You see? But I still believe they will meet by faith eventually. You are right. There is always time for them to meet. Yes. Besides, we are still both here. We will join them together. My friend, my friend, hope you are doing okay. Madam, why aren't you planning on telling me? Telling you what? You have come again. What is that supposed to mean? My two friends went on a date. I deserve to know how it went. Date? I almost said it was a date. We just went out for dinner. Without me, since I can remember, we all went out for dinner when need be. Why wasn't I invited this time? 
Initially, I thought we were all meeting. Was surprised that you weren't there. Why are you so naive? You are 27. I thought you are supposed to know when a guy is into you. How about girl? If I may ask, who do you think is into me? And Madam I too know. Richard is into you. In fact, he has liked you for ages now. How come you don't know about his feelings for you? Are you sure you don't have malaria like this? How can Richard be into me? He has been our friend for like 13 years. You're just overthinking. I just told you the truth. He likes you and he has been keeping it in because we are friends and he doesn't want to ruin that. Better. You shouldn't ruin our friendship over silly feelings. That's mean. You call someone feeling silly. Are you telling me if he asks you out, you will turn him down? I'm too busy to think of relationships right now. I'm definitely not with my best friend. Oh, please. Do you plan on being single forever? Ever since you broke up with that your ex, what's his name? Eh, uh -huh. Peter, that ugly guy. Is he finer than Richard? Why are you advocating for him? Did he pay you? No, he didn't. I just know how it's for someone to have feelings for you for years. Just in case he asks you out, please say yes. If you don't accept his request, this friendship thing between us is going to turn awkward. So please. Same thing is going to happen if we date and break up. In fact, it's going to be worst. I am certain you two won't break up. Trust me. Madam Certain, since you now predict which relationship would last, when would you and Fred get married? Soon? That's not the point. The point is you have to consider dating him. He's a nice guy. Calm down and let him ask me out first. I want to cook him an egg sauce. Do you want? Why would I want? I thought you would prefer talking about Richard all day. I beg, eh? Yeah, yeah, girl. Madam, where are you coming from? Good evening, bro. Eh, I just went out. You went out? To where? I just hanged out with my friends. It was boring here, so I just went out for a bit. For a bit? I've been in this house since 6 p.m. And this is past 10. Oh, this is how you leave the house because you feel I won't come early, right? How about bro? I don't leave the house. You can ask mom. The same mom that cover up for you. Is this how you do while in school? Room about, I keep late nights. A 24 years old. But I'm old enough to go out and come back when I want to. I am not a kid. Most of my mates are married. Then get married. Not in my house. You won't dare keep late nights in my house. Did you hear me? You can go to either your husband's house or your father's house to do such. Bro, I am not a child. It's only past 10. Not as if I slept out. You know what is surprising? Is that you suddenly know about rights and what you can do as a grown woman. But see you debating my love yesterday. Tell me what's good and what isn't. Bro, I know I overstepped. You don't have to be this hard on me. I'm sorry for all what I said yesterday. I was just looking out for you, truly. So you're looking out for me now, means you can tell me what I should focus on work. Do you even know how marriage is important to every man? I can't use the mistake of what happened in my previous relationship to remain single forever. I'm sorry, I just didn't want you to get hurt. You know you mean a lot to me. It won't happen again. It had better not happen ever again. I promise. So that's why you suddenly turned against me overnight. Bro, it's not nice at all. You better go inside before mom comes out. I won't side with you at all. You know how she can be. Okay, okay. Let me just freshen up. I will meet up with you soon. I have a gist. Wait for me. Oh. If it's gossip, you better count me out. Don't turn me to your Uma Rapa. I be you feel I'm jobless like you. Why your blood they hot? Relax. It's not gossip. Good. I'll be here. When exactly will you come? You have been saying you would come to the village, but you haven't visited for almost a year now. Mama, you think too much. I've told you I will come. Okay, let me believe you this time. Please don't disappoint me. Mama, school is really hectic. You know I'm studying nursing, eh? We have lots of tests and projects. I'll visit you soon. If you had come all this way, you would have met Desmond. Who's Desmond? He's my friend's son. But I travel to Obodo Ibo now. Oh, wow. Good for him. Mama, I have to go now. I have things to do. You know how busy I am. Okay, my dear. Do take care of yourself for me. Bye-bye. Bye, Mama. Ah, this woman won't kill me. What do you expect? You are our only child. I still wonder why you refused to go visit her all this while. 
My dear, that village is not for me at all. It doesn't befit someone like me now. Abba. It's still your parents' house after all. You can't just live there, you know, right? I beg, I beg. I didn't send her to stay in the slums like that. She had a the form of the butter. I will go and sit down there. And what is that supposed to mean? Did I ever tell you my parents was poor? And you just assume they are poor because you just stay in an uncomfortable building, right? Are you serious right now? I'm just asking a question. Why are you sounding offended? What's me with all this insult now? Because it's not funny at all. I didn't bring my parents into this when I was clearly joking with you. And I was only asking you a question. What is wrong with you? I bet shift your aggression to that side. I don't like this so. Please don't bring up my parents into our conversation again. If only you don't do the same. Let that boundary be well known, no, Biko. You want to leave me in your room? Look at this girl. Girl, you needed to see her face when she found out that I was the chief director of the company she came to apply in. That girl, I have never seen anyone so heartless. She declined your application to the company you first applied in because she was in the position to do that. Up until now, I still don't know what I did to that girl. She has really turned me to an enemy. Do you still think so? I'm sure she would be in her house right now praying that you grant her the honor to work under you after everything she did to you. I would give her the job. You know that I won't spare her back with evil. I won't do that. I would rather give her the job and make her greet me good morning ma every day. I have better way of making her pay. That's right. You don't have to be like her. And besides, it was because of that your ex, that ugly cheat that made her did all those rubbish. I wonder why such a beautiful lady would go to such extents just to make sure that she gets a man from her fellow woman. She felt I was one of those girls who would fight endlessly over a man. A man who isn't even worth it. Someone who is leading two women on. He isn't worth it at all. My dear, people can be blinded by love, but I will never go such extent to fight my fellow woman. Declining a job application just because she had the opportunity to. I was really sure I was qualified for that job. Anyways, it's been six years already and we've all moved on. And that same guy he did those rubbish for is now a married man. She must have been so ashamed of herself to even face you. I don't have her time. I would give her the job without hesitating, so she knows that I won't be as foolish as her. And besides, you now have someone richer and cuter than that ugly guy. Why do you hate him so much? And who are you referring to as cute and richer? Richard now, I told you he likes you. You are now a spokeswoman. This same Richard you are talking about hasn't even asked me at all. Give it time, very soon you will be Mrs. Richard. Are you sure you are not daydreaming? Which one is Mrs. Richard? Someone that I only consider as a friend. Just relax, you will soon realize and see things from my perspective. Someone that I only consider as friend? Why am I even listening to you? Please change topic. Eh uh hey, -huh. did you hear from Tokwe? I'm sorry my friend. I had to quickly put in them on the fire. I'm really hungry. I understand my friend. At least I didn't come in vain. I get it from your delicious yam. <laughs> you are very funny. How have you become without your son? My dear, I am very worried. I haven't heard from my son for four good days since he left. His numbers are not reachable and he hasn't called either. That is really serious. You did not get his friend's number. The one they are both traveling together. I didn't see a need to. He promised he would call me as soon as he gets to Lagos, but he didn't. I don't even know if he's in Canada yet. Oh no, you did a very big mistake. You should have gotten his friend's contacts, just in case emergency comes up like this. You see, I just hope my son is okay. God, please protect him all. There's no cause for alarm. He is fine. I'm very sure you just passing through some travel process. It can be very hectic. You don't have to worry. He will call you before the week runs out. I hope so. I just hope. At least yours is even better. You know for sure that your son is traveling to somewhere really far from here. What about my daughter? Who lives just a few miles away? She barely calls or even comes home at all. But what could be her reason? Does she not like it here? I can tell you for sure what is her reason. But even if she doesn't like it here, what happens to Colin to check up on me? Don't be hard on the poor girl. I know she loves you so much. Give her time. She will come around. I guess you are right. She has been a very good child. She really didn't like the fact that we moved to this village. 
But this is where our father wanted to be buried, and I like it here as well. More reason you should give her time to adjust. She is a woman, and daughters never abandon their mothers. You are right. Thank you, my friend. Let me check my name before it got overcooked. I almost forgot you were cooking. Talking about our children is really an emotional topic. Exactly. That day I'm coming. Coming. My organ on top. Good afternoon. Am I seeing clearly or my eyes are playing tricks on me? What do you mean? I beg, my dear. It's me, life and direct. I think the world is ending tomorrow. You peace left your workplace just to come visit a common man like me. Abba, do you now mean that I don't visit you? Today is my off day, so I decided to visit. I'm glad. You are welcome, ma. How are you? As you can see, I'm glowing as ever, and damn, man, you look ravishing. Is the hype even necessary? And you look good, too. I almost won't believe it's the same piece I used to know back in uni. You used to be very skinny and very dark skin. Now I can see the major glow up. Oh, please, don't mock me. You know how school days used to be now. Most of us are even lucky we went to a prestigious university like that. We knew how things were with our parents now. Unlike you who grew up inside the world. Yeah, I just grew up inside the world. But my dad made sure I didn't get all the benefits of having a rich parent. I didn't get a car until I graduated. I stayed in a hostel and shared a room with two other guys. I got monthly allowances that was barely enough for two weeks. If it wasn't for my mom, who sometimes sent me money secretly, I would have really saw hell. You know, at some point, I thought my dad hated me. But as time went on, I saw the light. It really did well. Now I pay my younger brother's school fees and make sure he doesn't suffer as much as I did in uni. My dear, this younger generation should give thanks to God. Now, I watch my sister grumble about how her weekly allowance is too small. Hell, I only got an allowance monthly. She has two cars and she keeps saying she wants another one. She stays in a beautiful, well-furnished apartment that I built just for her convenience in that school. And she still wants more. You built a house for her in her school environment? Yes, so it was all my mom's idea. And besides, I will probably rent it out when she's done with school. You are a nice big brother. <laughs> but she's saying she would want to make there a personal house even after school. What we do for family. I'm still wondering why you haven't asked Kate out. Do you want to lose her like you did before? I promise I won't lose her. We are going on another date soon. I want to spend a lot of time with her before asking her to be my girlfriend. Well, I'm just concerned. Don't want you to lose her like you did a few years back. If you both had started dating, by now you would have been married. <laughs> and how are you so sure you would have ended up together? My instinct doesn't lie. Oh, please. I'm about going for lunch. Care to join? I don't mind. I was even thinking of going home to cook up some fresh meals and stock up in the fridge. Not bad. Just that. Let me round up so I can treat you to lunch first. You need all the strength to cook. Very thoughtful of you. I will just wait for you and round up. Thank you, ma'am. Wow. Goodness gracious. Look at how stunning she looks. Richard, thanks, but no thanks. I know that this is your usual self, always hyping everyone that you come across. For real, you are pretty. God took his time in making you. I'm not trying to whine or hype you, but girl, you are pretty. Thank you. How long have you been here? I know I'm late. Yes, you are late, but I won't make it a big deal. I almost thought you won't come again, trust me. If I wasn't coming, I wouldn't have told you I would. You should know me by now that I keep to my words. Well, old habits never dies, huh? Anyways, how's work? Not very hectic. I just had to sign a few documents here and there. Ah, ha. Are you sure you won't employ me like this? Look at you. You are not directing lots of employees. It is the Lord's doing, my dear. And talking about employing you, are you sure I can afford to pay you, a boss like you? Oh, please. I would accept whatever you offer. Working under you would be such a privilege. Privilege, huh? Just looking at your beautiful face every day. It's enough payment for me. Now I'm blushing. So tell me, why did you invite me over for dinner? Let's call it a date. I just want us to have dinner and have a beautiful conversation. Just like that? Is there something you're not telling me? Don't worry. I just want to talk to you. 
It's been a while we hang out. And we always hang out together with peace. Anyways, we are here now. Let's just enjoy each other's company. You are always at work, going on business trips, and you have totally forgotten about your friends. Don't be like that. We have all been busy and you know that. But I would love us to hang out together too. You, me, and peace, of course. That's such a brilliant idea. We have all forgotten how we used to hang out every weekend at our favorite shawarma spot years back. Good memories. I need to eat something. I don't like late dinner. How can I forget? What would you like to eat? I would have a light dinner, great fish and chilled water. Okay, let's order them. Good evening, bro. How are you? I'm fine. Oh, I forgot. I got you your favorite barbecue chicken. I left it in the car. Aren't you the sweetest brother ever? Thank you so much. Anything for you. You seem to be in a good mood today. Did you win a contract or maybe a lottery? Not really. I just got back from a meeting with Kate. Damn, she's such a darling. Every man's dream. Wait. Don't tell me you're drilling over a woman like this. You would have any sane woman who wants to date. Well, I don't need these women. Kate is the woman of my dreams. Really? For how long have you been in love with this girl? Since forever. I noticed I had a huge crush on her. When she started dating someone else back in the university, I could remember how I almost hit him when he hugged her in my presence. She has always been your crush. Why haven't you someone courage to ask her out? I was just too scared. You know that feeling when you like someone so much, but you are scared to ask them out because you are afraid they will turn you down and things will become awkward between you two. Yeah, I know that feeling, but you should have gone for her before you started dating that success of a girl. I thought I could get over her. If I started dating someone else, but I haven't been able to. Love, bro. What does her family do? Her parents are dead, and she takes care of her two siblings alone. Such a strong girl. Eh? She's an orphan, and she takes care of her full family. That's a lot. What do you mean? She has a work, and she can handle all her bills. I'm not saying she can't, too, but won't she be a liability? Liability? To who exactly? I'm just saying, someone from such family might be desperate and want to take advantage of you. She might have charmed you or something. Can you hear yourself speak? Like a two years old, charmed me? What does love have to do with social class? Why am I even wasting my strength talking to you? Brother, I didn't mean it that way. If you like, be angry. You want to bring someone like that into our family. Poverty stricken gold diggers. At least safe. Success was from a more reputable family. Chimo, what kind of bad luck is this? Why have my enemies gotten a hold of me? Two good times. That company must be so stupid to think that they can just give you its hope and for no reason terminate it and kill their job. Just for no reason, no. Who do I tell my mom? She will be so heartbroken to find out that I haven't even gotten out of the country. I had given my family so much hope. Even told my sister that I would send her money to pay her fees and all. And now look at me, stuck in this city. I don't even know anyone here. Initially, I thought we were supposed to go to Lagos, so I went there only for them to see we are living through Abuja. I had to spend double transport fare and a long night trip to Abuja. I risked my life to get here through night bus, all for nothing. It should never be well with these people, eh? I blame my country. If we had job opportunities here, I won't be so excited to go over there. What would I even do now? I'm just speechless. I really felt happy and hopeful. Now look at me. In Abuja with little pocket money left. And we are supposed to leave that hotel that was booked for us in three days. How would I go back to the village? My mom would be so heartbroken. My entire family would weep. My mom threw a feast when she heard about my travel. She even borrowed money for my dad's medical bills and was hoping I would send the money when I settled in Canada. We don't have to give up bro. We could go to Lagos together in two days. I called one of my friends in Lagos. He owns a tiny apartment but we could stay there with him for at least a month to figure things out. I would want to inconvenience him so I can beg him to let us money with him for a month. Then what? We go back to our respective families? God forbid. I would hustle like my fellow men. Thank God I got my documents and certificates. 
I'll hunt for a job in Lagos and also do minor jobs just to survive and save up money to send home once in a while. You are right, my brother. But do you plan on telling your people that your travel didn't work out again? Eventually I will, but not now. I need to hustle well and at least get a proper job before I go back to that village. Ha! Ah, thank God I came across someone like you. I'm with you on this, bro. If one door closes, another door will open. But as it is, I don't think the cash with me would be enough to get to Lagos. Don't worry. I have transport fare that will take us to Lagos. Just keep your money and manage it for food. Tomorrow morning, I'll walk around this vicinity to see if I would get any laborer's job. I'm sure going with you. There is no food for a lazy man. Exactly, my brother. My dear, I am lost here. What do you mean by your boyfriend hasn't spoken to you for days? I am tired too, my dear. I don't know why it's like that sometimes. Did you go to Korea or something? Or he just chose not to talk to you for days? Well, I can't say for sure if what I said was supposed to cause an issue. I only asked him where our relationship is heading. We have been dating for such a long time and it seems like that is all he wants. When you asked him about where your relationship was heading, did he give you a positive reply? He just got me mad. First, he asked me what I meant and I told him that I meant when are we getting married. He asked if I wanted to pressure him into marriage. What? Pressure? How? You both have been dating for such a long time now. What is he talking about? He said he's not ready for marriage, that he is still putting one or two things together. I don't know what he means by he's not ready. Exactly. He's 30 and financially stable. What is his problem? And that is why he hasn't spoken to you all this why? I'm just going to give him space. I don't know what to think of this relationship anymore. Just don't jump into conclusion. Fine, if you want to give him, but honestly, you have to calm down. He might be cooking up something and he doesn't want you to know. Oh, please. That's not true. Anyways, let's forget about my boring gist. Tell me how did your date with Richard went? We just talked about a few things here and there. It was fun though. Don't tell me he didn't tell you anything about his feelings for you. Don't you think it's too early? Besides, he made it clear that he enjoys my company and I've seen that he has been trying to give me green light here and there. If you ask me, I think he should shut his shot before someone else do that first. Are you seriously looking out for him? Let him do his thing. He is a man, remember? Who cares if he is a man? Men make mistakes too. I just want him to man up and do what is right. Madam, relax. Your blood to the hot, Haba. Just let him do things in his own way. And I'm not rushing into any relationship, not even with Richard. But you have known him for such a long time now. We have been friends for years, doesn't mean relationship would work between us. Relationship is a different ball game. Relationship is not so complicated. Being friends with someone is almost the same thing as dating someone. It is marriage that will need extra spices. God help you. Leave Richard alone and try to settle things out with your boyfriend. You have to know where you stand. Don't worry dear. I will try and bring this topic again to the table. I need to seriously know what's going on. Abio. I've been getting kinda used to living life without you. Gotta tell you it's better than I ever thought it could be I could say I miss you Hello Hello mama, good afternoon Desmond, my son, is that you? Yes mama, it's me, how are you? God, I thank you Where have you been? For two good weeks you didn't call me I have been so worried Mama, it's a long story My travel visas had issues So I had to wait for it to be sorted out You should have called me I was really worried about you I'm really sorry, Mama. I wanted to call you when everything settles. I am happy you are well. At least you are calling me now, and that's what's important. How have you been? I have been doing all right. How are you? I'm fine, my son. Are you still in Nigeria? No, Mama. I landed here in Canada yesterday. I will start working in a week's time. Glory be to God Almighty. You are blessed, my son. Thank you, Mama. I'll be calling you from time to time. You know you can't call me because it will be difficult for you to reach me. Just don't worry. I'll always call you. Please do. I don't want to start worrying about you, please. Abba, Mama. I'm a grown man. You don't have to be worried about me at all. You are still my only son. Do you like it there? Mama, this place is beautiful. The weather is cold and friendly, unlike the hot sun we had in that village. 
Chai, it's all God's creation, eh? I'm happy you are comfortable there. Do take care of yourself. Of course, Mama. And you too. I will, my son. Don't forget to call me whenever you can. I will. Bye. Now I can sleep well. God protect him for me. Guess who just invited us to his party tonight? How can I guess? We know a lot of people in this campus. Bio, he just invited us to his birthday party. Happening tonight. Tonight? Why are you using? Aren't you excited? And why should I be excited because some guy invited us to his party last minute? How can he invite us to a party that is happening today? Does it matter? The most important thing is that he invited us. Not just an ordinary invite to. He invited us with a nice wine. You know so we'll be VIP members now. Rubbish! And you think I don't know he's inviting us because he wants me to show up? Come on girl, this guy is rich and he likes you so much. Why not give him a chance? Likes me? Pico, Pico, I'm the only daughter of my mother. Dating someone like Bio might be a cause. Or a blessing. Can't you see? This guy has levels. He's dreaded and he's rich. Dreaded because he's into some bad boy shit. And yes, he's rich. Do you know where he gets his money from? Or how many girls he's liking at a time? Please, my dear, I don't want to be involved with him. Yeah, we all know he's a flirt, but he's in love with you. Who says he is? Can't you see it? He has paid the school fees two good times without even asking you about it. He paid our rent before we even notice, and everybody in campus gives you maximum respect because of him. So that is what you describe as love. Listen, I didn't beg him to either pay my school fees or rent. He did that on his own. And yes, I offered to pay him back, but he refused. So don't consider any of what he's doing as love. Besides, he's so rich that he can do a lot more than that for numerous girls and his account won't even check. But that does not dispute the fact that he cares about you. Did he pay you to come and preach to me? Because I don't understand. If you like him so much, date him on my behalf, please. No vex. And no, he didn't pay me. He just made me promise that you would come to his birthday at least. I won't attend his birthday party just because he invited us and that's it. Ah, thank God. At least you're attending. My guy, I finally called my mom. You need to hear how happy she was. My guy, you self tried. Up until now, I haven't summoned enough courage to talk to my mom or called my sister at least. I told you before, you just have to try at least so they don't get worried about you. What would you have me do? I swear, I really want to call them. Then, what's stopping you? It's not as if they will ask you for money immediately because you just arrived here. So they'll take that time until you are settled. That is not the case. Lying to my parents that I am abroad when I'm just a few kilometers away. My brother, this is the only way you won't break your heart. At least they've been happy that you are in Canada. Imagine calling them to break this news. You are not far from the truth at all. I just don't know what to do. It is your choice to make though. All I have to do now is to make money and send home for my mom. As it is now, that is the only remedy. Yes, so you're right. I just don't know what exactly to do. You know, we just have a month to stay here with my friend. I don't want to inconvenience him at all. I understand. I will be going out to look for a job tomorrow morning. Then after that, I will join the leaderboards to get more daily pay. That's exactly what I want to do. I get the daily pay of 3k. I save 1.5 and manage 1.5 to the next day. My guy, you have to save. Oh. Imagine I save 1.5 in one full month. That's like 36k. Let's see if I don't work one Sundays. If we both have that 6 k each, we'll be able to get a small apartment with bed and cooking utensils. You are right. Nothing is too small. We just have to start from somewhere. And I hope at the end of the day, before the one month elapses, we would get a better job. That's my prayer. I just pray we do. Because I don't know how long we'll do these hard jobs. This wasn't what I envisioned for my life. I thought I have finally had the opportunity to liberate my family from poverty. You can still do that. Just call your family so at least they don't get worried. Eh? Be cool. Thank you so much, my guy. Lagos would have been hell if it wasn't for you.
In fact, everything would have turned against me if not for your motivation. It's okay, you don't have to thank me. We are still pushing life together. You be correct, guy. Mom, you called me. Yes, I did. Where have you been? In my room. I'm trying to work on one or two flights. Okay, Sig, I want us to talk. Okay, what could be the matter? You look so serious. This discussion is a serious one. I won't take much of your time. Okay, let's hear it. What is going on? I don't understand you, mom. What do you mean? I mean with your love life, what is going on? I don't see you and Sources together anymore. And you haven't really opened up to me about what happened. Mom, I thought you knew that I broke up with her. It's been months. What happened between you two? She's a thief. I trusted her so much that she knew everything about me. My passwords, ATM pins, my bank transfer token. She had access to it. Only for me to find out that she has been transferring money from my account to hers. I'm talking millions of Naira. What? How could you not notice that she's been doing that? She does this and deletes all evidence. I don't know but on a certain day, my account officer called me and asked why I have been doing such transfers to my girlfriend. I was shocked. Wow, I thought she's from a wealthy home. What does she need such money for? Do I know? The most painful part was she kept denying everything. If she had admitted that she actually did it, maybe we wouldn't have broke up. That's really a disgusting behavior. You don't need someone like that in your life at all. Exactly, mom. So now you're single. I guess I am. I could hook you up with my friend's daughter. She's beautiful, educated and well-mannered. No, no, mom. No hooking up. I can get a partner for myself. And besides, I have someone I like. Her name is Kate. She's everything I want in a woman. She's beautiful, smart, hardworking, and well brought up. Who is this Kate? Have I met her before? No, mom, but you'll meet her at the right time. I have to go back to my work now. Don't worry, you will like her. Kate, hmm, huh. okay. Oh. But it could be. I could say I miss you, but that would be untrue. I know I'm being kind of mean, but I learned all that from you. Don't wanna go back and forth. It got. Oh, thank God. My sister, I couldn't contain my joy. I was really glad that he's doing okay and he's in Canada now. We thank God for his safety. I thought that he would be fine. He's grown and he can take care of himself. You are right. But you know we mothers always worry. How are you do? As you can see, I'm doing alright. But it's boring for me staying alone. I just can't wait for my daughter to start having kids at least. I will have one or two over there staying with me. And you feel like your daughter would let her children come live with you in this village with no civilization? My dear, I doubt if she would. Judging by the fact that she ate it here, but at least I could go to visit her once in a while when she is married. Every mother's dream is to see their grandkids. Now that my son is abroad, I don't know how my fate is going to be like. You can still marry from Nigeria. Has he never shown any girl to you? Maybe the woman he wants to marry or his girlfriend. None I can think of, my dear. I just don't know. But I definitely do not want him to marry one of those white women who know nothing about our tradition. Then you have to tell him all that when he finally said to his dear. But since he didn't have any girlfriend or fiancé before he left, I don't know. He might have someone who he hasn't shown to me. My son respects me a lot and would not want to bring just any woman to me. You are right. I hope things work out for him first, so at least he can take you over there for vacations. Vasagini, I'm not interested in traveling out of this village. He should get married and send his wife to meet him there. Not me, yo. I'm already too old for all those traveling here and there. Instead, he should send me the money for me to start up a better business here. So if your son tells you to come over there, you won't? I won't, to my sister. I like it here. This woman. <laughs> Yes, so to go and do what there? It's just for visiting <laughs> you, Seth. Rachel. Good evening, Mom. Welcome. Thank you, my dear. Ah, uh ah. -uh. This place is looking nice, and I can perceive a nice meal. Did you cook? Yes, Mom. I cooked jollof rice. Hey, hey, you, Rachel, cook. Mom, I don't understand. Don't I cook in this house? When was the last time you cooked? Eh? That doesn't mean you'll be surprised that I cooked. What did you buy for me? When I was leaving this house, did you send me something to get for you that I didn't? Don't you know you're supposed to get me something while you're coming back? As a kid, Abby, my friend, go and get me a glass of cold water. Don't wanna 
Was your day my dear my day went well went to my shop to supervise them today they are doing very well with sales oh that's great um mom did you talk to richard about what i told you about what did you tell me about madam don't tell me you forgot about that girl now the one that's an orphan so what was i supposed to talk to him about i told you to talk to him out of the whole idea of dating her she's not his class at all and why haven't you brought your own man so we can see what class he is you should know by now that I'm focusing on my studies and besides, if I'm to date, I won't date a garbage. Then let's wait until we see us before you decide for your brother. I'm not deciding for him at all. What I'm saying is that girl is not his class. I have never decided for Richard before. I didn't with success, mom. Then where is the success today? That's if. Mom, that's not the point right now. Enough, don't feed my ears with this rubbish you are saying. Go inside and sleep if you don't have anything to say. Mom, mom, I don't like this so shut up and go inside this minute what's the matter with you is richard your mate look at this girl ah ah what is it won't you people let someone have rest of mine in this house richard this richard that you're welcome to my brother's house madam who is this your brother Chineke, see house now. <laughs> My brother is hell rich. This isn't all he got. Wow, I beg, is he single? Only in consult now. No gold outside, I beg. What are you saying? My brother got class, and I bet he won't even look at you. See insult, though. You think I'm not fine enough for what? My brother is not one of those campus guys now. No vex. Look elsewhere. I hear you. This is what you haven't resumed yet. You give yourself extra two weeks break. <laughs> I'm enjoying it here. Besides, my department isn't like yours. Then you should have given me a kid to that beautiful house of yours. So at least I can enjoy it while you are away. So that you carry that your tiara of a friend into my expensive room and mess it up. No, thank you. Visit me when I'm around. Why don't you like tiara? She's such a darling. Darling my foot. You think I don't know she raises her shoulders in campus because Bayo is in love with her. Do I smell jealous? Jealous? Oh, who? That wretch. You and I know you like bio. And I don't know why you just have this thing for Tiara. That's not even the case. The thing is, she raises her shoulders too much. Yes, she's pretty, but she's doing too much. No one would imagine she came from a poor background. And what's bad if you have standards? Does poor background stops you from having standards? A peggy. Poor people, on that's what they do. So you are indirectly referring to me too? So. No, I'm referring to your friend. Ew, she does too much. Walks around the campus like her father owns it. He wouldn't even imagine that she's from the slums. <laughs> Rich man picking a while. Relax. Besides, this whole world isn't even yours. You are just fortunate to be born into it. Oh please, it's not as if a lot of people are fortunate. Peg, what can I offer you? You know that I'm spending the right night. Yes ma, I know. But we have to go into my room now. I don't want anyone to notice that you're here. How about why? No visitors are allowed. I already have the freedom in school. This isn't my house or my father's house. It's my brother's house, so I don't want to be scolded. Then let's go now. I don't want anyone to make me feel like I don't belong here. Let's go and drop your bags in. Then we rush out to get all the goodies. Tonight is just night. Gist? Yeah, I came to sleep. You better go back to your house, Peg. Come, let's go inside. I could say I miss you, but that would be untrue. I know I'm being kind of mean, but I learned all that from you. Don't want to go back. Good evening, Nawaoga. Peace, peace. Is it you I'm seeing here? Flesh and blood. I was just around your area and I decided to visit. I knew you wouldn't be at work today since it's Saturday. You guessed, right? How can my day get any better? Thanks for coming. You are welcome. This your house, eh? It will make any girl say yes to you in an instant. Then, will you marry me? I'm not the right person you should be asking that. Why not ask your art job? You have come again with relationship talks. How are you? I am doing okay and I can already see that you are just fine. All thanks to God. My day was already getting boring before you came. Call me your lucky star then. Of course. 
Welcome to my home. Thank you. Eh, um, bro. Good evening. Good evening. Who is she? Good evening, sir. Who are you? Bro, she's my friend. I didn't know you would be at home by now. Wait a minute. Did your friend sleep in this house? No, she didn't. Then, when did she come in? In the morning. She didn't sleep here. How dare you lie to me? She came this morning and she's living with a box. What did I tell you about sleepovers? I told you not in my house. Not here. It's not a big deal. And besides, I didn't bring a man here. And what's that supposed to mean? It's okay, Richard. Just let her be, please. And you don't have the right to talk in family matters. Stay out of it. Rachel. Excuse me. You're excused. I beg. Let's go. I'm sorry, ma. Wow, she got an attitude. I'll teach her a lesson. What sort of bad attitude is that? Or she thinks this is my father's house? Younger siblings are like that. Just ignore her. I will sure teach her a lesson. Let's go out for a drink. This house is really too hot. I don't mind. Let's try the wine store at the junction. I have somewhere even better. Okay, I can't wait. Let me quickly change my clothes. I'll be back. Don't dress to kill. It's not a date. This girl. <laughs> I've heard you, madam. Got both of my feet on solid ground. I wanna go back and forth when I know I deserve much more. Madam, you are just coming. Well done, no. After you made me wait for you. No vex now. Nah. It sure wasn't intentional, I swear. That's what you always say when you are late. I am serious. I was around Richard's area and I couldn't just pass by without saying hello. You visited Richard? Yes, I'm sorry. I should have called to tell you that we would be... It's alright. How is Richard, by the way? He's good. Omar, um, that guy, they renovate house every month. Money good though. You should know him by now. He does his things really well. He has a great taste. But babe, I haven't been insulted the way I was insulted today. You see, since my mama bought me, small picking never insults me before. How do you mean? Is it not Richard Gitsis? She invited her friend over for a sleepover and Richard got to find out. I think he has warned her against sleepover before now. Richard was really scolding this girl and she was becoming rude. So I had to tell Richard to let her be. And this girl told me in front of her friend and Richard that I should stay out of it because it's not my business. What? Is she mad or something? I overlooked her now because she's my friend's sis and I don't want to create a bad impression. What sort of girl is that? Bad home training. Rich folks overlook their kids too much. A beautiful girl like that doesn't have manners. You can't just judge her parents. They might have taught her morals and she chose not to listen to them. I see. You're already siding with your future in-laws. In-laws indeed. It's just that I'm clearing you on the fact that her parent might not be the reason for her being like that. I just don't know about that girl. She's the worst. I just hope she marries a quiet man. So it's a quiet man that can condone bad attitude, Abby? Well, let's not judge her by justice. Maybe she had a bad day. Bad day, my foot. I beg, if you're ready, let's go eat. Richard wanted to kill me with wine. Then force you drink him. Look at her. Who then go put sugar for him mouth and he will say no one. Diabetic patient. <laughs> mom, where is Rachel? Is that the greeting you are supposed to greet? Good evening, mom. Where is Rachel? Come down and tell me what happened. Why are you looking like this? Mom, you won't believe what this girl did today. This girl. Relax and talk to me. You won't be able to talk to me with this anger in your voice. Why would I be angry? Can you believe your daughter brought in her girlfriend into my house? When I want her, I don't want her bringing any of her friends to sleep over. A girl slept in this house. I doubt that. I'm not lying, mom. I confronted her and she told me to my face. Why would I allow her to bring her friend? That besides, she didn't bring a man in here. And what made me really mad was that she was directly referring to my visitor and she insulted me in front of my friend. What? What's wrong with this girl? She has to go back to her house. She won't constitute innocence in my house. How dare Rachel talk back at me in my own house? Rachel! Rachel! Yes, mom. Why were you screaming my name like that? Where did you get this your attitude from? I don't understand, mom. What's going on? Your brother here is the one looking for you. I'm not looking for her. I want her out of my house as early as tomorrow. Bro, what do you mean you want me to leave your house? Richard, calm down my stone. She's your only sister. You can't just send her packing over a little thing like that. Mom, what did I do? 
What you did few hours ago, how could you bring your friend to spend the night under this roof when your brother warned you against it? Mom, I didn't do it on purpose. My friend had nowhere to go, so I had no choice but to let her stay. And you didn't do well to tell your brother first? I didn't see the need. Besides, I didn't bring any man here. It's my brother's house and I should at least have a bit of freedom. Is something wrong with you? Don't you have enough freedom in this house? Why couldn't you admit to a simple instruction? I had the F1 tree to insult my guests. I didn't insult your guests. I only told her to not interrupt our conversation. I can see that I've let down myself. I tried to make you my friend, but you are overstepping and you're already doing too much. Do I look like your mate? We grew up together and I protected you so much. Doesn't give you the right to disobey me and talk to my visitor as you wish. I want you out of this house and that's it. If you must come back, we will only visit and go. Brother, I'm sorry. Please talk to him. Don't bring me to your mess. Fix it yourself. Got both of my feet on solid ground. Don't wanna go back. Madam, you are here. Where have you been? I've been in this house for like an hour plus now. And where did you go to last night? Don't think you can just come into my house because you have my spec queue. My dear, I was feeling really bored and you told me you were going out with a friend. So I had to go visit Rachel. Which Rachel? That girl? Why don't you like her? Who would like that kind of pompous girl? Someone who feels too big because she's from a wealthy family. How do you even cope with how she brags and looks down on you? She doesn't look down on me. She's friendly. My foot. And you're sticking around her because she's rich and she gives you small small money. Change. No, I don't understand you at all. Yeah, she gives me money when I need, but that doesn't mean I'm friends with her because of that. I'm a big girl now. Big girl? Well done. What did you two do at her place? I went to visit her at her brother's house. Babe, you need to see mansion. Whoa, people get money. Oh. I won't lie to you at all. She has a brother. Not just a brother. A rich and handsome guy. Tall and cute. That guy is a complete thing. Even if he's not fine, you'll still hype him. I beg you. I'm serious. For Rachel, Sha, that guy is rude. Now today you know. Now today you know say Rachel rude. I know she's rude to everyone else, but I don't know she was rude to her own elder brother. How? This girl talks to her elder brother anyhow. As fierce as this guy looks, she still managed to insult him and even insulted his girlfriend. Wow, and he did nothing. I guess he was surprised as we all was. Surprised? Do you think he saw her own brother started today? She must have been doing it before now. With the look on his face, I don't think she has been like that. Enough of their talk. Don't make her sound so important because she's not. You say fair. Did you cook? Which kind of question be that? I beg not disturb me. Why were you so eager for us to meet? We met yesterday. Babe, I'm not just in a good mood at all. Everything is annoying me. And you decided to call me to come help you calm down? That's not it. I just need someone to talk to. Okay. Talk about what? What's with your mood? Are you angry at me or something? Me? Vex for you? I don't feel vex for you. Look, I'm not just in a good mood. Why is everything so annoying these days? How do you mean? My brother wants me out of his house simply because I told him a piece of my mind yesterday. A piece of your mind? Babe, you humiliated your brother in front of his girlfriend and I. Which girlfriend? She's just his friend. I mistook her for that girl, Kate. And who is Kate? You won't understand. I just feel bad that my brother could actually do that to me. Why can't he do that to you when you did the same to him? Do you expect to be treated differently? What's the deal? It's not like I insulted him. I only told him I don't appreciate how he bosses me around. In his own house? Babe, how many times your brother don't come your house? Wait, are you siding with him right now because you like him? Pardon? I'm not siding in. I'm telling you that you were wrong to talk to your brother like that in the presence of other people. Even if we weren't there, it's still wrong to talk to him like that. You abused his ego. And I apologized but insisted that he still didn't want to see me in his house. He left this morning and I don't know what to do. Just kneel down and apologize when he's back. Or better still, come to school now. Your house is vacant. Ew, why would I kneel down? Is he good? I have a house of my own, but I don't want my brother to be mad at me at all. He's my everything. I beg you should have knew that before you were ranting yesterday. Do not help me right now, Joy. I just told you to apologize. Just kneel down and apologize when he's back. But I know pride won't let you. That's too much now. Then move out. You won't serve too much. Getting kinda used to Loma, Mama Tiara.
Ah uh, ah, uh, is someone after you? What's going on? My dear, I don't know the dream I had last night. I really need your help in prayers. What dream? Tell me about it. Is it dream that made you run all the way here like this? I take dreams very seriously, my friend. What is this dream about? In my dream, I saw my son struggling, hawking, and doing odd jobs. <laughs> my friend, what sort of dream is that? You and I knew that they don't work in Canada. Exactly why I'm surprised. This dream looked so real. Your son for sure won't struggle. God forbid it. Amen. No, I just want your support in prayers. The enemy is a liar indeed. Just relax yourself. Our children will not suffer or die untimely. Don't you trust God? I do. I just got scared a little. See my son in such a situation. I understand. How are you feeling? My dear, I thank God. My petty business has been going well. Maybe I should think about joining that line of business because look at you, looking so beautiful and young. You should. <laughs> the business is really paying. I can see that, my friend. What can I offer you? The juice that Tara got for me from the city has finished. No, it's all right. I just came to talk to you. But at least I should offer you much. I'm fine, my friend. Sarah, my daughter, your mother is not feeling too good at all. Mama, what happened? Are you sick? I'm not sick at all. Eh? I have missed my only child. It's been more since I last saw you. Mama, I told you how hectic school has been. But I promise I'll come back home by month's end. Are you sure everything is fine in that school? Are you pregnant and you are trying to hide it from me? Habba, why would I be pregnant? I'm not married yet now. Why would you think of such? What will you expect me to say? You have refused to come home and I had lots of girls hide pregnancy from their mothers. I'm not hiding anything. I just told you I'll be home by month end. Don't you know how many months end? I have heard you say, if you don't come this month end, I will come to that school of yours. I've heard you. I'll come back home, mama. You left your mother to undo everything alone. Look at me, old and tired. I don't even have enough money for myself. Mama, you are not old. I'm talking about money. I'll send you some money. Now you are talking. You shouldn't wait for me to always ask. I've had you, Mama. I'll always send you whenever I have. I'm still managing in school too. I know, I know. And when you are coming by most hand, come with your boyfriend or fiance. What boyfriend? I don't have any boyfriend, Mama. I'm still in school. I should at least finish first. Aren't your age mates in that husband's out? And I have seen lots of married students as well. That's your own cup of tea. I take one step at a time. I'm not in a hurry. You better be in a hurry. I need to see my grandchildren before I die. And you are not dying anytime soon. Just relax. I have told you my own. I need my grandchildren. Mom, I have to go now. I'll send you the money. Okay. I know you will dodge the conversation, so I'm not surprised. Take care, Mom. Bye. What a day. I'm really tired. Welcome, bro. How was work? Work was fine. I really need to rest. I made you food. You? Rachel, made me food? Since when? I thought I should apologize properly, so I made your favorite food. You cook my favorite food? Since when did you start cooking? Since today. Come on to the dining. Let me serve you. Okay. Lucky for you. I'm very hungry. Let me just eat before I freshen up. Perfect then. Hmm. It smells nice. I told you. It's really nice. And you are sure mom didn't help you cook this? How about bro? Do you not mean that I can't cook common jello fries? That's not what I'm saying. You have never cooked for me before, so I don't know. Just try and taste it first. It's so delicious and you'll be surprised. Okay. Jesus Christ, what's this? It's solo fries, bro. What's wrong? It tastes good, right? Did you even taste this food before you served it to me? Of course I did. What did you use in making this food? What seasoning did you use? I use all the seasoning I saw in the store. Father Lord, you use all the seasoning. You don't know the seasoning you are supposed to use for making jello fries. God, you are such an embarrassment. Eat the rubbish you made. So salty and spicy at the same time. You even added spices made for pepper soup. You better go and learn how to cook. Goodness. What's wrong with this food now? You always find a way to ridicule me. You won't believe who I saw today at the mall. Who did you see? No other person than my ex-boyfriend. And so, what's so important about running into your ex? He wasn't looking bad. He even paid for my groceries. 
Are you admiring him? He wasn't looking so bad. Really? Relax. It's not a bad thing to admire someone who you dated before. It's not as if I'm going to date him back. In case that's what you are thinking, you better factory reset your memory and forget about ever meeting him. What's with you? I know you hate him, but please don't rub it on my face. Whatever. So you ran into him and he paid for your groceries. That's all. Well, we exchanged contacts. Nothing much. Just for old time's sake. Hmm. You shouldn't be mingling with this guy at all. Someone who cheated on you and when you found out, he told you to deal with it or you leave. All those are past tense and I'm definitely not going back to dating him. Don't you trust me? News flash, madam. I don't trust you and your obsessed feelings. Who knows he may want to still try his luck. Nah, I don't go back to my vomit. I only accepted to exchange contact because why not? We broke up. That doesn't make us enemies. I have had you, but make sure you don't go on any dates with him. Decline all his requests for your own good. Why are you so protective of me? Is it because of Richard? Why can't you see? Richard is a good guy and he's a complete gentleman. Any girl in her rightful mind would not lose a guy like him. Gosh, you're so forward. So why don't you go after him? He's a gentleman and you are sure in your rightful mind. I am in a relationship, madam. And obviously the same Richard has eyes for my best friend. Which relationship? It's about time you start looking for an alternative because eh? You are advising me to cheat. No, why would I advise you? Better, just stick to Richard, that's the point. You know that I will never chase after a guy, not even Richard. But you almost died when your ex told you to deal with cheating or leave. Wait and bring that talk come here now. I beg, they go your house. Come pursue me now. My brother, that's how I took your advice and called my family you. Okay, how was it? They were very excited to hear from me after weeks of me leaving the village. You see, it's better they know that you are doing well and healthy now for them to start panicking. Thank you so much for your advice, my guy. My mom was screaming for joy. She thought something had happened to me. I told you, it's really bad for you to make them feel like something bad had happened. Calling them now, you make them feel better. You're right though. I really didn't thought of that at all. I really missed my family. Me too. What we are mean, we should leave home to find our daily bread. And as you can see, everything is going well. I wanted to ask you something. I saw a job vacancy. They needed able-bodied men to work in a farmhouse that produces tomato paste. Really? Where did you see this vacancy? After that, Mama Amala joined. I even asked a man that was working close to where I saw the poster. He said it's a very good job that his brother works there. He even added that if I'm interested that I should hurry up and go to the office before the vacancy closes. Eh? What are we waiting for now? Let's go immediately to find out how it works. I collected your number safe. I said let me tell you first before anything. That's really thoughtful. At least I'll be paying better than these minor jobs that we do. I think so. I just hope Lagos favors us. Don't you believe in God? As far as we're not lazy, one day everywhere go good. I believe we just have to put in all the hard work and prayers. Exactly. So let's hurry up and check it out. The vacancy won't wait for us forever. You're right. Let's go. that food in the kitchen oh my goodness ask your beautiful daughter what's that is that even meant to be eaten by humans mom what is it don't mom me what's wrong with you what's that rubbish in the kitchen what rubbish do you like the food because Richard has really made me feel less of myself have you gone bananas you should be hiding your face in shame and embarrassment right now mom even you did you taste the trash you cooked did you add all the pepper in my kitchen in that food to think that the food actually smells nice really baffles me. Why won't it smell nice when she loaded all my packs of curry in one pot of rice? You both are really terrible. I will slap you if you don't shut up. Is something wrong with you? How can a 24 year old be this terrible at cooking? She needs to be enrolled in a culinary school. If not, she will disgrace this family. Exactly, my son. I sure taught this girl a lot of times how to cook. Weren't you paying attention? I was, mom. Then how come did you end up cooking that abomination you called food? I'm sorry, mom. I must have forgotten the process. Forgotten the process? What happened to using YouTube or you were just too confident in your coming skills? No, no, no. I feel so embarrassed. Go into that kitchen and throw that rubbish in there you call food. Make sure you wash the pots. Yes, mom. I wonder what she eats in school. Ah, 
She buys food, of course. What will she eat? I'm sure reducing her allowance for this, and you should too. Is there a need to? I know you won't. You are spoiling her too much. Please pass me the remote. Let me continue watching this program. Rachel, you better be fast so you join me watch this cooking program. I should better go sleep. You should too. Even men should know how to cook. Madam, why didn't you come to class today? Why? Did something happen? So if nothing happened, you won't come to class. Stop acting like a sense. When last did you attend lectures? Anyways, I bring you gist. What gist? You already have gist just today that you went to class. You go listen or you no go listen? Oh yeah, talk. What is it? And I heard Bio comforted that guy in our department that has been pressurizing you to date him. Wait, Bio comforted Jude? That's his name. Oh, my dear, he comforted him. Not only did he confront him, he slapped him two good times in front of the department. Ha! What? Hey! When this small thing happened from front of the department today, oh, Bayo was calm, telling him to stop bothering you, and this guy was raising shoulders until he received that slap. He wants to raise his shoulder with Bayo. What's doing that guy, Seth? My dear, I wouldn't know. He's behaving like he's a newbie in this campus. But wait, though, told Bayo that he has been asking me out. How would I know? Bayo has eyes everywhere around this campus, you know, right? Yeah, sure you didn't tell him. You're the reason me less, so I swear. Why would I do that? It's so good. You know today is the party, right? Chief's party. Why I will forget you? I can't forget such important information now. So go home, rest your head and meet me up by 5 p.m. so we can start preparing. Go here. My clothes are here now. Let me just have a nap here. It's already 1 p.m. Any opportunity you get to stay in my room, you must stay. Why not? Aren't you my friend? Oh, please. <laughs> I'm so sorry for keeping you waiting. I've only been here for a few minutes. It's okay. Thank you, sweet soul. How are you? I'm fine. You look really good in that outfit. Dressed up just for you. Did you order something? Not at all. I told you to order once you are here. And I told you I just got here. What's the hurry? Okay, mama. Your wish is my command. You told me you were off duty today. Off duty, K. I'm on a sick leave. Sick leave? Are you sick? I just need a break. I had something to do today, so I just had to get a break. I've worked year in and year out. I totally understand you. You need it, my dear. Working five days weekly isn't funny at all. And I really wonder how people who work six times daily cope. Like how? They are trying. I can't even imagine. <laughs> we thank God for helping us escape such situations. Exactly. Do you want to order now? Not at all. Still don't feel like having anything, so you ask that we meet. Well, let's not waste too much time. By now, you should have known that I like you and I've always liked you. Just that I didn't want to ruin our friendship. It's something I wasn't so sure of. I've fallen for you since our university days and I can't help these feelings. Now, I know I'm ready to be with someone as genuine and beautiful as you. And now that I'm ready, I don't want to take my chances or waste time in asking you to be my girlfriend. Oh wow, I wasn't expecting it to be today. I wish I had said it a long time ago. You are a wonderful woman, Kate, and I'll be so lucky if we go into a relationship. Mm -hmm. Of course we can. I like it so and I feel we can make things work. Oh goodness, thank you so much, beautiful. You just made my day. In fact, my week. You can say that again. Now I think we should get champions to celebrate this good news. Perfect, I'm so excited. What a beautiful day. Bro, you're home early. Wait, you don't look like you went to work. Why would you say that? The outfit, the smile. Anyone who has been working since morning won't have such a big beautiful smile on their face because they will be so stressed out. Well, I had a lovely day. Wow, you want to tell me about this your lovely day? Of course I will. I just asked Kate to be my girlfriend and she said yes. What? I mean, really? Yes, she has been my crush for so long. And I feel really happy that she's finally mine. I'm so happy for you. Finally, she's your girlfriend. Girlfriend? What girlfriend are you both talking about? Good evening, mom. Mom, Richard just got himself a girlfriend. Who is this girl? I've told you before. Her name is Kate, and she's really pretty. You dated her because she was pretty? No, mom. I mean, this girl is everything I want in a woman. She's lovely, hardworking, and very nice. You will like her. When are we meeting her, then? Soon. We just started dating. Don't want to start introducing her to families. It's alright, as long as you're happy. Thanks, mom. I need to go inside and freshen up. Okay, my dear. Mom, you're not seeing anything wrong with him dating that girl. She's poor. 
and what's wrong with being poor and you just don't go about calling someone poor when you've never made a dime for yourself that's not the point mom you have to talk him out of this thing he calls low you have to focus on yourself and learn how to cook don't bother about your brother you don't always have to remind me that i'm terrible at cooking look at her always thinking she knows best who is calling who is this mama it's me your son good afternoon mama Ah, Desmond, my son. Why are you calling with a different number? I'm using my colleague's phone to reach you. Forgot mine at home. Where are you? You are not home. I'm at work, Mama. How are you? My son, I'm fine. I have missed you so much. Me too, Mama. That's why I said I must call you this morning. I know it's afternoon there. That is so thoughtful of you, my dear. I hope everything is going well over there. Yes, so I really enjoy my stay here. But the work is hectic. You work for hours every day. Yeah, it's not easy at all. I promise I will support you in my prayers. It's very needed, Mama. I would really appreciate it. Don't worry yourself at all. God is with you. Amen, Mama. How have you been faring? I'm sorry I haven't sent you any money. You know I just got here. I have to put one or two things in order. Ah, uh, I totally understand, my dear. And besides, my business is going well. Just take your time. Aren't you the best mom? Thank you for understanding. It's nothing at all. Besides, they don't pick money on the floor over there. You have to work to get it. You're right, but not many people will understand this. But I do understand. Hey, my son, I'm okay with just hearing your voice. You're the best. I have to go now, mama. Take care of yourself and I'll call you some other time. I will take care of myself. You do so too. Bye. My son, it's well with you. He has done for me, hey, he has done for me, hmm, hmm, what my father cannot do, he has done for me, hey, what my mother cannot do, he has done for me. Felicia, my friend, I have been looking for a while. Ah, Lama, I am really sorry, I was so into the song I was singing. It's alright, at least I find my way in. You're welcome, my dear, how was your day? Very busy. As I am now, I'm tired. I can see how stressed you look. Are you coming from the market? Yes, uh, the kind of drama is on in that market today. What drama are you talking about? It was Mama, Emeka and her friend though. You knew the city where all these two women were disgracing themselves, throwing stuff at each other and telling their secrets. What? I thought they were best of friends. What happened? Do I know? I don't know what happened though. But what I know is that they both disgraced themselves. I was embarrassed. Eh? Grown up men like that, fighting in the market. The main reason I don't do all these damn market friendships, where gossip and fake likeness for each other. I just go there to sell my goods and that's it. You are right too, because at the end of the day, they will leak each other's secrets. My dear, I personally don't see myself in such friendships. You should know when people fake friendship with you. You can't always know when people fake things. Some people are really great pretenders. That's true. It just got that we deliver from such unfriendly friends. Yes, so do you need me to offer anything to you? No, my dear. I need to start leaving now. Let me go and relax properly. Okay, I will visit you later in the evening, so I can at least keep you company. I will be very happy if you come. You know it's not easy for us with grown-up children. You are right. Let me get going. I'll see you later. Bye-bye, my friend. Oh my goodness. Why are you just coming back from work by past eight? And what are you doing in my house unannounced? I almost thought someone broke in. That doesn't answer my question. Are you my mom? Why should I answer your question? Anyways, if you must know, I went out with Richard for a bit. You are not giving me this though. You this girl. Yesterday you went out on a date and now you both went out today. Well, what do you expect from two people who are in a relationship? Wait, what? You both are in a relationship already? Yes, he asked me out yesterday. And who am I to say no? Oh my gosh, I'm so happy for you, my friend. So when are you planning on telling me, eh? Of course, when we meet, I didn't know you would sneak into my house. Why won't I sneak into your house when you don't take my calls? As love suddenly blind you? My phone must have been on silence. That's what I do when I'm at work. And what happens to calling back? You couldn't still call back. 
Madame Biko, let me breathe. Why are you attacking me with questions? Haba. We oh, yeah, are sorry. Give me full gist about how he asked you out. God have mercy. Which gist are you looking for again? I beg, relax. Tell me, did you talk to your boyfriend about what we discussed? That one. I don't think he's ever going to be ready to talk about marriage. That's bad. Then don't pressure him. I would say you shouldn't also put all your eggs in one basket. Don't get me wrong. I'm not saying you should cheat, but just be mindful. I know what you mean. I'm really sad. After like, what, five years, he's still not talking about at least an engagement. Not as if he's not financially stable. He has money. I just don't know why he has refused to talk about marriage. Is he cheating? It's not cheating. I really doubt that. Wow, just calm down though. He will at the right time. I really hope so. What kept you now? I've been here for a while. I'm sorry. When you called me, I was fast asleep. Had to freshen up first before I started calling. You should have told me you are going to do a few things before coming. You need to see the way people were staring at me. I'm sorry, but why would they stare at you? This is a restaurant for God's sake. Well, people will stare at you if you're just sitting alone looking worried and tensed. Are you okay? Why are you tensed? I'm just worried for my brother. I don't know what to do. Worried for your brother? I still don't understand. He just started dating, but I don't like the girl he chose to date. Wait, make me understand. You don't like the girl your own brother chose to date? How is that your business? It's his relationship. You still don't get it. She's from a poor background. In fact, she's an orphan who takes care of her siblings. And so? What does that have to do with you? Don't you get it? She's a bad choice for him. She'll wreck him dry. She's not the right one for him. Because? She's an orphan? What are you saying? She might be after his money, you know. I'm just looking out for him. You are not in any position to look out for him when it comes to him choosing someone to date or marry. That is his personal responsibility and choice. I totally disagree. She's not someone I want from him. She shouldn't come into my family. Thing is, my brother loves her so much. She might be a threat to my family. My family has a strong bond. If she gets in, she will ruin everything. And who says she will? Why don't you see her as an additional head in the family? You can even make her your friend. My brother is all I need. I should be enough for him. I don't know why he needs that girl. Are you getting obsessed with your own brother? You know you will get married one day. Well, until then, but even if he's going to get married, it should be with someone I vibe with. I can't lose my brother to a girl I dislike. I don't need a girl that wouldn't know her place. She should know I come first in my brother's life. Just hear yourself talk. Auntie Abed, rest. Order something, I'm hungry. I'm just worried, that's all. Order food and leave your brother alone. Never thought this kind of job is close by. I'm glad we didn't miss it all. 15,000 naira weekly. Very nice pay, but the workload will be too much. What would you do instead? At least it's a work we do from Monday to Saturday. Sunday we can choose to sleep from morning to night. Of course, after church. You're not far from the truth. I'm just happy that at least we got a job. If we are paid 15k weekly, that's at the end of the month, it's 60k. We might be able to get our own apartment at the end of the month. And of course, you would be able to send our family some money at the end of three months. That won't stop us from searching for a better job. I'm still on the look. Please don't say to. We have a target which is to get a better accommodation and a good job. I have not forgotten that at all. But we are making progress. Yes, so we are making progress. At least we got a better job for now. You're right. I'm just happy that we didn't give up. I almost died after I found out that we weren't going to Canada again. My brother, give up, not join. Give up, not really join. I've decided to work hard and get to the top. Money doesn't fall from heaven, even in Canada, just that there's a better opportunity over there than here. Nevertheless, I'm very happy we are making the move here in Nigeria. I believe say we go make them. We go make them one day, my guy. Thank you for your moral support. You're such an inspiration. That's English to many, Joe. It's all God's work. I'm just appreciative. Thanks a lot. Welcome, babe. How was work? Work was fine. I missed you so much, so I decided to come visit you. That's really thoughtful of you. I was bored, but I think Peace promised to come over. Oh, that's totally fine. We could keep ourselves company before she comes. Yeah, yeah. I'm sorry I haven't cooked. I just got back from work. You could order something or go out to eat dinner. No, it's fine. I have food in the freezer. I'll just microwave soup and make wheat. Oh, 
Oh, that's perfect. Beautiful that finds time to cook, even with your busy schedule. Who would cook for me if I don't? I stay alone, remember? Well, others will just order food. I'm not the eating out type of woman. I prefer homemade meals. That's really sweet. What's going on here? Ah, uh -uh, Richard. Madam, it's now you are coming. Not as if you miss my company. Look who is here. What are you talking about? Ladies, hello, I'm still here. What's up with you, man? I don't know that you'll be here. Well, I'm here. Needed to spend time with her. I wouldn't have visited if I knew you were here. Why? Come on, I'm so happy to see you. Well, thank you. How are you both doing? Kate, did you cook? As a Kate Rabi, Madam, go to the fridge. There's variety of soups there. You can microwave and make them or something. I'm really hungry. Please make for two. Wait, though. You two want to turn me to a maid, Abby? Hunger never beats you, Shah. When you're hungry, you go stand up. I will go do it because I'm really hungry. So I will just make for everyone. Thank you, ma'am. This is why I love you. I beg. No go. Let me go and make something before I develop Osa. This girl, eh? She must talk before she does anything. Don't mind her. Annoying yet lovely. My mom will stop bothering me about coming to the village. Then go and visit her now. She hasn't seen you for a while. Do you want to give her heart attack? Heart attack, okay. She'll be just fine. Well, you're going to visit her, right? Yes, let's say month end. I'll be going, but I'll just be staying for a week. Can I go with you? I would be really bored in the campus without you for a whole week. What happened to your friend, Rachel? Can't you go be with her? No, now. I can't even tolerate her for a bit. She's too much to handle. What do you mean? She isn't your friend. She's my friend, but this girl is spoiled. Really spoiled. Can you believe this girl wants to get rid of her brother's new girlfriend? Because she hates her ghost. She was busy ranting that the girl is a gold digger because she came from a poor family and she's an orphan. I think concern her concern who her brother dates. Isn't that his choice? Ask me or oh, my sister. She's just something else. I think the girl has spiritual problems. She's just too entitled, that's the problem. And she's sabi. Anyways, you can come with me to the village, you'll stay for a week and that's it. Thank you, my dear. Uh, I don't have to bother about being bored here. Yeah. So you can't stay without me for a week? You know I like your company. Whatever, madam. My darling daughter, there's this bag I wanted to order. I still don't know why this app isn't working now. What bag, mom? This green one, it's not working on this app. So babe, do you know where I can get it? Mom, that's a Chanel purse. You know that it's expensive, right? I know, about 120,000 Naira. I like it. Mom, you want to buy such an expensive bag at your age? What age? Am I not young enough to buy Chanel bags? Mom, you're too old. You shouldn't be wearing branded items. Say so, please. And besides, I'm not old. This bag will fit my Ankara for Josephine's wedding. <laughs> Mom, you safe. Josephine's wedding is next month end. It's too far. Why are you preparing so fast? What's far there? Just six more weeks. That's my problem with this generation. You all make last minute plans and at the end of the day, you hurry to do nonsense. Mom, Matt, you need to watch out for my dripping that day. You see all this your early shopping. i will beat you to your own game last minute. Is that a bet? How much are we betting? Ah, ah. You mean now more. Okay, let's bet 100k each. Fair enough. I wonder why you have to wait till it's one week to an event before you get things done. Mom, that's how it should be. You're not the one marrying. Why should you buy your dress before the celebrant? <laughs> Just make sure you don't copy my style because you know I'll beat you to this fashion thing. What do you mean copy your style? On top your old school style. No thanks mom. I have a better way of doing my thing. Trending fashion. Look at that. Where do you think you got all these your styles from? Of course it's me. I'm still your mother. Game on mommy. Game on. I'll send you a contact where you can buy the bag though. It might be more expensive than the price you saw on Alibaba. Haba. Why is that so? Because Alibaba is a big company that ships goods from China. It's mostly like pre-order. That's why it's cheaper. Oh, I see. Alright. I don't mind buying it for a more expensive price as far as I will beat you. Even with all their expensive brands, you won't still be able to beat me. Okay, babe. I'll call you later. 
Bye. Love you. Hey, mom. Why aren't you asleep yet? You are here making love calls. I will sleep soon. I'm not even feeling sleepy at all. How would you feel sleepy when you are calling God knows who by this time? Mom, I was calling my girlfriend. Is there any crime doing that? You are calling your girlfriend. This unknown girlfriend of yours. What do you mean unknown, mom? I told you about her. And what happened to introducing her to me? You are too old to be doing hide and seek relationship. And who says that? what I'm doing? I'm just taking my time. Don't want to rush her into meeting my parents when we just started dating. And what's wrong with it? Everything is wrong with it. It's so early. If she has good intentions for you, why won't you want to see me or is she not presentable? <laughs> Mom, why would I date someone that's not presentable? You both went to the same university and she graduated with distinctions, Mom. She was the most brilliant girl in my whole department. She even lectures me and another of our friends. And you are not ashamed to tell me that? I'm proud to tell you, Mom. She's really intelligent. And what work does she do? And how come you all attended the same university? The last time I checked, she said she's an orphan. Her uncle sponsored most of her education, but he's late now. She works as a chief director for a petroleum company, Mom. That's really impressive. How old is she? Is she a Christian? She's 27. And yes, she's a Christian, Mom. Isn't she too old for you? You're 28. You should be dating a girl that is two or three years younger. Who cares about age? And besides, I can't date a girl that's of the same age as my kid sister. No, thanks, mom. Well, you've made your choice. Do you know her history with men? I can't answer that. She's a good girl, mom. That's all I have to say. I'm going to bed. Good night. Since you are here, oh, but as soon as I come in, you are going to bed. Let me even go and sleep. Oh girl, that's exactly how I almost fired her. What's wrong with that girl? Or does she think both of you are friends because we are nice enough to give her the job? Friends, K. She sure knows her boundaries. Do I look like a friend? But she's sure getting too comfortable with you. Imagine gisting someone in the office about your history with her. Making them think that I did favoritism by giving her the job. I don't think she didn't tell them the part where she fucked up. What's her problem? If not that she's a very good staff and that she's good at her job, that's a lucky star. I would have sent her out of the company. I trust you now. Eh eh, how far? Your new catch. New catch? Richard now. Stop pretending like you don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> so it's Richard that you are calling new catch. You don't get respect at all. No vex at all, I forgot you both are now dating. Oh please, Richard is fine. He's such a sweet guy, I won't lie to you. You don't have to tell me that. Richard is cool, a darling. Calm down, not over hyper for me, Jerry. No vex, ma'am. I'm really happy for you both. I just pray your relationship with him lasts. Amen, I hope so, because I saw cats breaking up and starting with someone else. I know, right? Main reason it took you time to get into a relationship even after breaking up five years ago. Well, what's the point jumping from one man's arm to another? I didn't say you should jump from one man's arm to another. I'm talking about giving someone else a chance after a breakup. I mean, you know what, Mary? You wait a five years relationship, where's your ring? <laughs> you not just get sense, see ahead. Sorry, you. Good evening, bro. Good evening. You haven't been at home all day. Not at all, bro. I went to school. I was wondering. You go to classes from my house now. Not entirely. But for now, I prefer it here. Okay. How was class? Boring. After wasting my time and energy, sitting in class all day, two lecturers didn't come. We only had just one lecture today. That's cool for you. Don't worry yourself. You'll soon graduate. And I honestly can't wait to graduate and start working. And I promise you, you miss school. Work is 10 times stressful. Imagine that you only have few classes a day and sometimes you don't have class for a whole day. I can choose to not go to class today and just relax. But it's not the same with work. You have to go very early and come back late in the evening every day. I know right. But I might just get a part-time job or a work from home job. Good for you. I'm going out. What? I was glad that you're home by this time. I wanted to spend time with you. Sorry to disappoint you sis. 
but I have somewhere to be. Let me guess, you're going on another date. Nah, not really. I just want to visit Kate. I'll get lunch on my way. Let's say a surprise lunch for her. She called me earlier and she has been working since it's weekend. I know she needs food. You're such a good guy. I wish I could find a man that's just like you. You'll find him when the time comes. That's for sure. But bro, can you just spend today with me at least? I'm sorry, Rachel. Next time, okay? This is exactly what I'm saying. She's taking all the time away from me. Gosh, I hate her. What's wrong with that Mr. Douglas? Is he the only lecturer in this school? I'm wondering. This one is just so much. Imagine oh, fixing his own test for Saturday. It's even barely a month since we resumed this semester. Why is he rushing? Exactly. It's not as if they will pay him extra for his Saturday classes and endless assignments. He is just overworking himself. This man is doing so much. First, he sets lectures on the first day of resumption and takes attendance. He does weekend assignments, class quiz, and surprise class works. I don't even know what his problem is. I'm tired of that man and his wala beg. Can't wait to finish this semester so that we'll just do our final semester and graduate. I'm telling you, making school unbearable. That means we won't be traveling on Friday again now. No, we'll leave on Saturday after a so-called test. We'll just pack up. So after the test, then we'll now come back and we'll now move. Not bad. I was really hoping we'd be leaving on Friday. Why? Do you have plans? No. Just happy about the whole traveling thing. It needs the village here. The strings and the food. This girl. <laughs> there is nothing beautiful in the village. There is mosquitoes and sunflies everywhere. It's not 100% true. Most families in the village have ways of protecting themselves. So come down and let's enjoy our own week in the village. You can be excited for yourself. I'm not at all. Whatever. Not as if you have a choice. You can choose not to go. You won't dare. My friend, you told me that you're not feeling too well. My dear, that's how we see it all. I'm down with malaria. Have you gotten any anti-malaria medication? Yes, so. That's near my my shady the market gave me shit tablets and I have been taking them. I'm getting better. Oh, we thank God. How I wish your daughter was around to take care of you. I wish so too. Doing that old church myself isn't funny at all. I understand. Trust me, I do. And what's her reason for not coming at all? To check on her mother. She's really having a busy schedule in school. But she said she's coming this weekend and I hope she comes. Don't worry yourself at all. She will come since she has promised. You don't know that girl. She's a professional promise and fail. <laughs> Children are like that, my friend. They give you hope so you don't feel bad. Me, I've told her. If she doesn't come this time around, I'll visit her in that Lagos. Take it easy, yo. You don't have to stress yourself about going to see her. I have to. Oh. Let me see her before I die. God forbid. Stop negativity. You won't die in Jesus' name. Amen, my friend. Amen. Ah, ah. Just imagine if she was living abroad. Won't you stay without her? That's a different ball game. Totally different. Calm down. Have you had something to eat? Of course. I ate nyam pepper soup I cooked yesterday. Oh, alright. Just relax yourself. Your daughter will come. Okay, oh. I heard that the sales director was sacked this morning. Guy, no besides play. -o. He's even lucky that he wasn't arrested. What did he really do? You know, I don't mingle with people that much while at work, so I didn't really hear the full details. You won't believe that as innocent looking as that man, he steals money from the company. Eh? Sales director? That's sluggish, man. They play. I'm telling you, Rimata, that man has stole a lot from the company. How did the boss find out? You know the saying that every day is for the thief and one day is for the owner. That's what happened. This man sent funds into his personal account and forgot to wipe the details of his transactions. That's how boss asked him to submit weekly records and he submitted without clearing his stolen transaction. It will. People do. You need to see his embarrassed face when boss was disgracing him. Boss said he always wondered why sales balance was always a bit suspicious. Because you know how many products we sell on a daily basis. Ooh. I do. Why would you want to steal from a company that employs you and pays you handsomely? Greed and them thinking they are too smart to be caught. Was he arrested? No. Boss only made sure his account was frozen and he sacked him. Very good. Now he's going to start from the scratch and he'll feel the pains of what he did. I really hope he gets another job. He's old and he would need a working experience. 
lots of companies would want to find out from his previous one why he quit or was sacked that's true and most companies only employ young workers he's probably in his early 40s i hope no one falls for his innocent looks and sluggish behaviors he's crafty and greedy that's humans for you greed starts settling in when they are in charge of huge firms i'm telling you god bless the genuine ones yes so rachel you're still awake bro you're home why did you take so long i've been trying to reach you it's not going my dear i'm so sorry maybe it was some silence when you were calling what happened why are you just coming home by this time it's almost 12 a.m for god's sake i was worried where's mom she slept really early, so she didn't notice that you're not back. Oh, thank God. Bro, what happened? Did something happen? You never keep late nights. This is really new. It's nothing serious. I closed from work late. I was almost home until Kate called me that her car broke down when she was going home. So I had to go pick her up where she was. She was really far from me. Seriously, what happened to her getting a taxi? Wouldn't she have fixed herself if she wasn't dating you? I don't know what you're talking about. It was late. How could I let her get a taxi? And what is a responsible woman doing out so late? Watch your language, Rachel. She's a working class woman. Were you deaf when I said she was coming back from work? Gosh, you're so impossible. What's the noise I'm hearing? What's happening? Is it not your son? He's just coming home by this time. What? What kept him? His girlfriend. I knew that girl was bad news. Look at Richard coming home by this time. He suddenly doesn't see the danger in driving out so late. I just don't know what he sees in that girl. I'm off, mom. Good night. What's wrong with Richard keeping late nights? Since when? Madam, I like this your bag. Thank you, but I can't give you. I wasn't asking you to give me. Try the relax. <laughs> yeah, and this is your funny pigeon. You be a jabona. You don't want to speak pigeon. Anyways, how are you? I'm just here. How about you? Fine, fine. I know you always have a reason for calling me to meet you in this your hangout spot. What is it? Nothing really. I was bored in that house and everything looks annoying to me. What happened? I can't just sit and watch my brother act so foolishly over some gutter girl. She's gradually taking all his time, love and affection that he used to have to only me. Wait though. You won't marry your brother. If I could, he's such a darling. A perfect man, you know. You know I have used his qualities to find a man for myself, but I haven't found none. No one can be just like him, how he treats me and how perfect he is. It's abnormal for you to be looking for your brother's features in other men. Every man has his own uniqueness. And I can't help it. Someone like Richard is all I want and I'm so pained seeing someone take him away from me. Don't tell me you're having a crush on your brother. Nope, I'm not crushing on him. I just adore him. He's well trained and he's every woman's dream. Wahala, you better leave him to get serious with his life. And I think you should have moved back to your house in school. So that you won't be seeing all this. Never. I want to be there with him and protect him. I won't be able to sleep well knowing that he's with that girl. That dirty girl. It's pointless talking to you. Whatever. Let's just order something to eat. Better. Waiter. Waiter. Table seats, please. And why is she calling? Hello, sweetheart. Good evening. And who is your sweetheart? Hi. Can you please give the phone to Richard? Who are you? And why should I give him the phone? I'm Kate's girlfriend, so give him the phone and not ask me questions. Oh, she's rude. If you must know, my brother is not dating you. I am going to be 100% honest with you. I don't understand. What do you mean your brother is not the... My brother has a girlfriend. Are you so dumb not to understand? He's seen someone. Someone I and my mom approve of. You must be kidding me. What's wrong with you? He must be sick in the head to ask me that silly question. You think Richard would end up with a pervert like you? I know your type. Petty gold diggers. I beg your pardon? You don't have to beg my pardon. Leave my brother alone. He's not going to marry you. We all know who he's going to marry and I promise you, if she finds out about you, she'll skin you alive. Well, Richard didn't tell me that. And besides, I don't care about marrying into your family. What are you feeling like? You think you can stop me if I wish to marry your brother? Oh, please, I have better things to do with my time. 
I can see you're the stubborn type. Watch your back. Stay away from Richard. He belongs to another. You don't have to make empty threats. If your brother didn't like me, he would not come for me. So get that into your thick, empty brain. Did you just insult me? If I were you, I would leave my brother alone and focus on myself because right now you sound like a stupid child, ranting like a kid. How dare this girl? How dare you? I'll teach you a lesson you won't forget. Mama! Mama! My daughter, is this you? Oh, you don't know how happy I am to see you. Look at you, Mama! You're so beautiful! Thank you, my daughter. Good evening, Mama. Evelyn, my daughter. How are you doing? I'm fine, Mom. She's my best friend. I decided to come with her so at least she will meet my beautiful mom and see where I got the beauty from. You can say that again. You are welcome, my children. Hey, now nah, I won't be bored in this house. Mama, we're only staying for a week, I told you. A week is more than enough to stay, my dear. I'm very happy that at least you came. Mama, what are you cooking? I can perceive some delicious aroma. Even me, ever since I walked into this sitting room, I'm preparing a good soup and pounded yam. You will like it. I've missed your soup, oh. At least I'll get to enjoy them for a whole week. I know, my dear. Let me go and check my soup. You are welcome, my children. Home at last. Your house is beautiful and your mom is really friendly. Of course, she's such a wonderful woman. I can see that. Let's take our bags inside so we can go meet Mama in the kitchen. Okay, this village is already interesting. I beg, what can make with the go? You haven't even stayed for a day, you're already hyping. You won't understand the kind of joy I have. Oh yeah, let's go. Madam, what did you say you want me for? You won't believe the amount of drama I just experienced. I still don't understand. Please go straight to the point. Richard and I promised we will go on a date today, but I called him beforehand just to remind him that I'm about to get ready. Okay then, what happened? That's how I call my boyfriend and his sister picked the call, asking me who am I and why I am calling her brother. Eh, it's simple now. Didn't you tell her who you are? I told this girl and she started calling me names that her brother would never marry me because I'm a gold digger. She said her and her mom already knows who Richard will get married to. The audacity is she okay mentally. What's that girl's problem? You know me now. I gave her a piece of my mind, told her to go get busy rather than doing all these things she is doing. Why would Richard leave his phone where she can access? You should know that he has a mad sister. This relationship isn't going to be easy. I'm just a girlfriend and I'm already fighting with his sister. I'm starting to get a rethink. That's why I called you. Rethink? Are you for reals right now? Don't tell me you are buying to what she said. You safe, think about it. You should know how these rich folks work. They value social class more than anything. Die that thinking, I beg. You are well to do, girl, and Richard loves you, and that's what matters. You are not marrying his family. Oh, yes, I am. I'm marrying into his family and wouldn't want them to start having issues because of me. This is exactly what that girl wants. That's why she said all those thoughts to you. Trust me, there is no other girl anyway. I really hope so. The last thing I want now is to enter into a relationship where I'm not loved by the family. Richard's mom would love you. It's just a psycho sister who has no manners, so relax. She's not my main focus. Just worried about the mother. I still need time to think through. Think, but don't dare break up with Richard or I will deal with you. As if. Let me hear what draw. Mom, you're a mother. You have to do something before this girl kills Richard for us. Kill Richard? What are you even saying? Okay, so yesterday evening, I was sitting down in this same living room and I heard Richard's phone ringing. I was even wondering why he didn't take his phone with him. After the 15th call, he decided to pick and tell the caller that he's not around. Okay, then? That's how I picked the call and with a gentle voice, I said hello. If you see the way this girl shouted at me, asking me who I am, I told her I'm Richard Key's sister and this girl didn't stop her. She started shouting and why would I dare pick her boyfriend's call if I don't know what privacy is, blah blah. Eh? She has such a hot temper. I wish that was all. I got angry for a bit and I told her to calm down, that it's his sister that's talking. She said so, even his mother doesn't have that right, that I should tell Richard to come pick her up now, that she needs to go shopping. What? Is she mad? Are you telling me the truth? Mom, would I lie to you? I told you about this girl now. I don't like her. She's terrible news. I told this girl that with her attitude, she won't be able to marry into our family. And she said, who cares? That's why I think I can stop her from marrying my brother. That Richard can't do without her. This girl has money though. Are you sure of what you're telling me? A girl that hasn't even entered my house already is already feeling like she owns it. 
I told Richard that Kate is not a good choice for him. Poor people would do anything to be married into a family like ours. Well, let me give her the benefits of doubt and see her for myself. You still want to see her after everything she said? I can't judge Georgia by what you've said. Let me see for myself. Are you trying to say I'm lying, mom? Are you lying? Gosh, I am done with this conversation. She has bewitched both of you. Oh, please, bewitch my foot. Richard the boss. Peace, what's with you? An announced visit. I like to take people by surprise. Duh. I'm surprised indeed. And how you manage to show up in my work free time is really incredible. Well, you can call me the perfect timer. It's been a while I talked to you like this, so I decided to visit. Thanks a lot. How was your day? My day was less eventful. I was tired of sleeping, so I decided to visit you first, then Kate after. Kate, how is she? She's doing fine. Isn't she your girlfriend? I'm supposed to be asking you. That's the problem. She has refused to reply my texts or pick my calls since yesterday. I've dropped a lot of messages and calls. Dropped by her house yesterday because we were supposed to go out on a dinner date. But when I got to her place, she wasn't there. She was home. What do you mean? I said Kate was home. You seriously don't know what's going on. I'm lost. What happened? She was home and I knocked for almost 30 minutes. Because she didn't want to see you. How? We didn't quarrel or anything. Well, she called and your sister picked. You know what happens when your sister picks a call? She insulted Kate and called her a gold digger. What? Oh my goodness. Is this why she has refused to talk to me? I have tried to talk to her, but she thinks she needs time to think about the relationship. She's just bothered. Oh my god. Rachel, how dare you? Just calm down and go see her later. She would calm down. I just hope so. I don't know what is wrong with that girl. She now picks my call. You just have to be careful when you keep your phone because it's anointing for her to even pick your calls at all. Thanks so much for letting me know about this. Case really deserves an apology. Better apologize with a gift though. Don't go to her house with an empty hand. Trust me now. Now my mornings ain't heavy Cause I'm finally getting real sleepy I love watching all the color rush back into my cheeks I know what it means to be Madam, where have you been walking to? I took a stroll around the village Just wanting to see things See what exactly? Shrines or the palace? There is a palace here. Oh wow, can you come show me? Who? You died the wrong number, madam. What's wrong with showing me around the village, eh? Do I look like I came here to show you around? Isn't this sun hot enough for you to be walking about? Whatever. For oh, your village looks fun. Why haven't you been coming? To come and do what? I have no business coming here. For the past two days we've been here. I can't lie, I love it. What do you love about this place? The environment, the people, the food. Girl, I went to buy one woman's jollof rice yesterday. It was delicious. Until you eat winch. You too like food, this girl. Is it everywhere you go to that you'll be buying food? That's your own business. As for me, I will explore this village to the full. Why am I even listening to you? I beg, let me go and on gen so I can watch this series. I beg, go. I have to charge my phone. So if I don't on the gen, you won't? Must you complain? Just on it now. Nonsense girl. Lazy girl. What are you doing here? Babe, can we talk please? Come in. How are you? Is that what you came to see? Well, I'm fine as you can see. Please calm down. I know what happened already. You don't have to be like this. I should have known peace is your mouthpiece. She didn't do anything wrong by letting me know. You should have told me instead of giving me these cold shoulders. You came all the way here to tell me I was wrong? No, that's not it at all. Don't get me wrong. Look, I'm really sorry for what my sister said to you. She called me poor, go digger and talk down on me. Said your mom and her already knows who you will end up with. And you believe all she said? She's just trying to make you leave. I don't believe her, but she doesn't like me even if she doesn't know me. She has met you a few times when you and Peace used to come to my house. That's not enough for her to say those words to me. It's not enough. You are right, babe. I promise I will deal with her, but please, I'm sorry. I'm not mad at you. I'm just rethinking about the whole thing. Please don't do that to us. She's just making empty threats. I've talked to her about you a lot, so just calm down. But you've got to talk to your sister. Let her not try to say all that to me because it's not even funny. I promise I will. Just forgive me, please. 
fine i've forgiven you totally thank you so much here yeah, i got you this necklace oh thank you so very it's so beautiful it's nothing just wanted to show you how sorry i am that's so sweet of you thank you i'm glad you are forgiving me that's what's important to me why won't i forgive you you're such a cutie good evening mama good evening my daughter you must be tiara yes mama i guess you are looking for my mother yes is she at home Yes, she's in the kitchen. Please come in and make yourself comfortable, ma. Thank you, my dear. Welcome, ma. Should I offer you anything? Not at all. Just call me your mother, eh? Beautiful girl. Okay, ma. Such a beautiful young girl. My friend, you are here. Yes, so how are you doing? I'm fine, though. For this now, I haven't seen you. I even came to your house the other day. Your door was locked. Hope everything is okay. Everything is fine. I just went for village market. I spent almost two days there. My half sister stays in the village, so I just stayed with her for a couple of days. Oh, you told me. How could I forget? Maybe it skipped your mind. I can see your daughter is around. Yes, yeah, so she came around since on Saturday evening. She will be leaving this weekend. Oh, she isn't staying for long. No, I thought she's a student. And she's in her final year. She has things to do. Hey, yeah, she's so beautiful and respectful. I told you, very hard-working girl. I can see that. You need to see how she was greeting me, even when she didn't even know who I am. She's like that, very humble and nice. She is my daughter now. I throw in that way. I know, like mother, like daughter. <laughs> I cook though. Do you want? No, my dear. I'm not hungry. I ate rice before coming here. Okay, my dear. How is your sister now? She's doing all right, my dear. Rachel! Rachel! Bro, good evening. What's good about the evening, eh? Someone offend you. Why are you like this? Did you pick my call yesterday? No. Why would I pick your call? That's to let you know that I'm not joking with you. Richard, you slapped me because of that girl. Oh, perfect. What gave you the right to pick my call and talk to my woman like that? Richard, you slapped me. Rachel. If you don't start talking, I'll give you another dirty slap that will remind you that I'm your older brother and you shouldn't toy with me. Why are you so blind that you want to ruin a happy home by bringing in another woman? Oh really? I wonder why we waste so much school fees for you when it's clear you have a fish brain. I shouldn't bring a woman in because we want to be a happy family. I shouldn't marry. Why do you need a woman so badly? Should separate us from each other. I can see you need to visit a doctor because something is wrong with your head. Nothing is wrong with my head. You put your hands on me for the first time and it's because of a woman. Just wow. I saw this coming. Stay out of my love life. I've told you. Don't make me repeat myself. I won't stay away from you. Never. I won't. What has she done to my brother? My guy, I don't even know what is wrong with this economy. The big prices of things are rising there. I'm telling you, that's how I went to buy paint rubber or rice yesterday. And they told me it's now sold for 3,200. Something I got for 2,000 before now. The spaghetti we ate this afternoon, I paid that spaghetti for 6k just for lunch. My brother, what would we do? We don't have a choice. Abi, we go starve. Why? We must eat now. I just thank God that at least we have the money to buy the food. I wonder how those who doesn't have enough money feed in these harsh times. We pray God helps every one of us. My original plan was to get married by the time I'm 27. But look at me now. Guy, who is even talking about marriage now? Do you know how much it will cost you to marry someone's daughter? It's not the same as marrying the village. Marrying in the village would cost you a lot, except you have enough money to throw around. So you're even thinking of marrying from the village? What's wrong with it? They are beautiful educated women that stays in the village. I can accept the fact that you said educated because marrying a proper village girl with little or no education would be cheat, of course. That's not what I mean. I don't think as I am now, I'll be able to marry a girl who is not fully educated. At least she should have her SSC. Then maybe if I'm interested in her and we are married, she can further. Exactly, my man. You're right. Oh, I'm so exhausted. Good afternoon, mom. Good afternoon, my dear. Uh-uh. What happened to your face? Did something happen? Your son hit me on the face. He did what? Why? How did he raise his hand on you? I told you, mom, that girl is going to bring war into this house. My brother has never slapped me before, but he suddenly slapped me today because she lied to him that I insulted her over the phone. And my brother came in without asking any question. He hit me on my face. Richard! Richard! Is he home?
Good evening, mom. Hold your greetings. What's wrong with you? You hit your sister. Yes, I hit her. Did she tell you what she did? And so what? You hit your sister because of some woman. Did I raise you up like that? Hitting a woman because you are angry? She's overstepping and I promise her if she doesn't stay out of my business, I'll continue to hit her. Maybe that would give her some senses. Then you will have me to contend with. This is my house and I make the rules. How dare Rachel insulting my woman because I've treated her like my best friend all these years. Please mom, if you are going to side with this daughter of yours, they are both of us don't have a business having this conversation. Richard, come back here. You're walking out on me. You see your son. That girl has totally brainwashed him. She's now in total control. This is getting serious, so. He thought I was joking. Don't worry. This is just the beginning. He apologized and I forgave him. Did you have a choice? Richard had nothing to do with the rubbish his sister said. I know, but I just needed to clear my head. Now that you've cleared your head, I'm glad you did the right thing. I really wonder what Richard must have done to his sister when he got home. Who cares? If he likes, he should beat her or even send her out of his house. No, no. That's what I'm trying to avoid. You should know that it won't favor me. We only started dating and I'm already causing so much drama. I understand, but it wasn't your fault at all. I just don't want any trouble. I don't want to make Richard have problems with his sister. And you know that will affect his mother. Just calm down and allow him to sort this out with his people. Yeah, yeah. Let's go out for lunch. We can just lighten the air around this place. I don't like your mood. Sure, let's go. I really need a bowl of ice cream. Bills on me, girl. Let's go. Good morning, mom. Mom, I'm greeting you. Richard, get out of my presence this minute. Out! Mom, what's going on? I should get out of your presence. Are you deaf? I said leave this place this minute. Mom, why are you like this? Because of what happened yesterday? And what gives you the right to ask me? Mom, I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. I didn't mean to offend you. The moment you put your hands on my daughter shows that you really wanted to offend me. And I promise you I won't forgive you. Mom, you can't keep malice with me under my own roof. Oh, you are telling me to leave. Fine, then I'll leave. No, no, mom. That's not what I meant. I mean, we can't be living under the same roof and not talk to each other. I'm sorry. You should have known that before you choose to be violent. Since when did you start throwing fists at your own kid's sister? Mom, she overstepped. Can't you see what she's trying to do? I don't care. You have mouth. You can talk to her, not hit her. Mom, you know I've talked and talked, but she has refused to listen to me. I'm sorry if I made you angry. It won't happen again. It better not repeat itself again, else I'll ban you from bringing that girl into this house. Mom, Kate has nothing to do with any of this. It's Rachel's fault. I don't care. You two have never fought with each other until she came into the picture. Kate is a good girl, Mom. She has never did anything wrong. How would you see where she's going wrong when she has blinded you with love? Mom, let's not talk about Kate. I'm sorry for hitting your daughter and it won't happen again, ma. I'm off to work now. Take care of yourself. Welcome, babe. I wonder why you came here this morning. Just wanted to see you before I leave for work to make sure you are doing okay. I'm fine. How are you? Not bad. Just had a little misunderstanding with my mom this morning. Misunderstanding? With your mom? Why? Yesterday, when I went to confront Rachel about what she did, I got mad and I hit her really bad on the face. Oh my goodness, why would you do a thing like that? She was really annoying. I just couldn't take it. We agreed that you were just going to talk to her and that's it. Well, that was the plan initially until she started the rubbish she was doing. Oh no, did you hurt her? She had just a little bruise, but hell, I'm not sorry. You shouldn't hit a woman no matter what. Isn't that what we know? If you had a sister like Rachel, you would sure want to hit her sometimes. There is no justification to what you did. You've got to go apologize to her. I have apologized to my mom. I mean to your sister. You've got to go apologize. I don't support what you did at all. If you say so, I will apologize to her. Thank you. Do you want me to pack lunch for you? Oh, please. I would love that. The last time you packed lunch for me was really something else. I enjoyed it to bits. I'm glad. Let me go pack you something. Where have you been, madam? What's with you and all this your up and down movement? I went to the strings. Babe, that place was mad beautiful. Come see the pictures I snapped. I beg, shift. I don't want to see anything. So you came all the way to this village and stayed indoors all the week. What's your problem? Did I come here for a tour? I came to visit my mother. Whatever. It's your choice. Vaya called me. What does he want? I told him to travel to see your mother. He said I should have told him so he would have dropped us there. Well, we don't need his charity. Why would I have to tell him that I'm going to see my own mother? He sent us some money though. He sent you some money, not us. So chill. So I should spend the whole money he sent. 
If you wanted to send me money, you would have contacted me. Why is he always asking you about me? Is he not man enough to confront me himself? Baby doesn't want you to get mad. I'm your PA now. PA my foot. Why did I employ you to be my personal assistant? I employed myself. I beg, relax. Stop forming hard girl. So, because I chose not to collect money from Bayo, I'm now forming hard girl. I just pity you. You know, indirectly, you've collected money from me. The house rent and fees are paid on your behalf. Who send them? I beg, I'm going out to buy bread. I want to fry eggs. Let's go together. Let me see what I can buy for lunch. There is beans and dodo in the house. You know I'm not a fan of beans. Oh, that's true. Then let's go. Ah, Kate, you are home. You're surprised? That's how you come to my house unannounced. I just came to relax and besides, I thought you would be at work by this time. I didn't go to work today. It's my off day. How can I even forget? What have you come here to do? You think I don't know you've come here to eat again? Relax now. I really enjoyed that bitter leaf soup you made the other day. I've come for the remaining one in the fridge. Do you realize this is my house? You just come here and eat all my food I store in the fridge. Don't you have hands? Can't you cook? You know my food is not as delicious as yours now. What are we friends for? This is nothing but a parasite and host relationship. You benefit from me while I suffer. Abba, I beg, relax. She be it's just good. You like all the soup so much. Why don't you just learn? It's still not as good as yours, ma'am. God have mercy upon you. Why are you not even at work? I went to work. I went to work. I finished on time. Oh, I see. That's good. How's Richard? Did he tell you how he settled the whole issue? He told me, oh my dear, he was here this morning and he told me he confronted his sister and in the process, he slapped her on her face and she got bruised. Very good. That girl deserves slap like that. What's wrong with you? Can't you see I'm gradually causing mayhem in his family? Yeah, all this isn't your fault. Don't blame yourself. You should teach that sister of his a lesson. Look at your mouth. Looks like you're really hungry. Go and microwave food so you can at least come back to your senses. Mom, good evening. Good evening, my dear. How's class today? We have just a few lectures. It was really a boring one. And when is your project supposed to start? This semester just started, Mom. Maybe towards the end then. Remember, you have to work really hard. This is your final year. I will, mom. You trust me now. Of course. I wanted to ask Rachel about the whole Richard situation. Did you in any way talk down on his girlfriend? Me? Hell no. I wouldn't do a thing like that. Even though I hate her, I won't still dare talk to her like that. Like what? I mean, I wouldn't talk down on her. She didn't do anything to trigger my anger. I was wondering because your brother said you started the whole thing, you insulted his girlfriend and all of that. And you believed? Mom, this girl lied to my brother. She's trying all she can to turn him against me. I'm wondering why she would do a thing like that. She hasn't even been introduced into the family. Are you taking her side? This is what I'm saying. Everyone in this house is going crazy. She's such a bad influence on Richard. Well, like I said, I would love to see her for myself. And as for you, I would say you should stay away from Richard's relationship. You know how it can be. This is it, right? This is all you've got to say. Okay then, no problem at all. I'm out of here. Why is she walked up because of that girl? My friend, I have come to visit you today. I really appreciate. How's your health now? I recovered really quickly. My daughter made sure I got the best treatment. Oh, that's so sweet of her. I'm very happy that you're feeling better. Thank you, my dear. My only concern now is marriage. She hasn't even brought any man home yet to even introduce me as her boyfriend. You don't have to hurry her. Give her time until she's done with her studies. She's in her final year already. What more time does she need? Just let her focus on her final exams. At the end of the day, my son might even marry her. <laughs> I wish that was possible. Your son is in abroad now. He might even get married there. No, that's not possible. I know my son. He would never want to marry without me. What if he send you abroad too? Lot of things are possible. Don't worry. My son will be coming down here to marry her and he will take his wife with him. If our children get married, it won't only be that we are friends, but also in-laws. I would be so happy knowing that my son married into such a wonderful family. You are right. At least we know that there won't be any in-law drama. Exactly, my dear. I pray that it comes true. It's so... We've been such good friends, but we barely know about ourselves. That's true. All I know about you is that you are my teammate from the travel company. We could start by telling each other about ourselves. Not everything at once, but the most important ones. Well, that sounds good. 
Okay, I'll start. I'm an only son of a widowed mother. My father died about nine years ago. My mother has been the only family I have. I don't know much about relatives because my parents didn't involve me so much with my extended relatives, but I know few of my cousins and aunties. So sorry about your dad. It's okay. He died such a long time ago. That's why I've promised to give my mom the best of life since she has been there for me all this while. I don't have a girlfriend presently. We broke up the last one I dated three years ago after we both graduated from school and she was going back to her hometown in Kaduna. Oh wow, that's so far. Exactly. So I had to break up. Since then, I've been hustling alone, having it in mind that the next relationship I'll venture into is for marriage. Oh wow. Well, about me. I'm the first child of four. Two girls and two boys. Father and mother are still alive. My family has been through a lot. We started struggling since my dad lost his job and we had to move to the village. As the first son, I had to do everything I can to make sure that they don't starve. And we thank God for his provision. I don't have a very good history with women and I've tried to avoid them until I met my current fiancé. She has been very supportive and I plan on marrying her as soon as I stand on my feet. She's a graduate and she worked for a fashion company that was established in a town near my village. That's good. Never knew you had a fiancé. Yes, I do. I popped the question two days before I left the village. Oh, wow. Does she know that your travel didn't work out? I haven't been able to tell her. I don't want her to break down because we've been through a lot together. You shouldn't hide it from her for long. She sounds like a good woman. She's a good woman. I won't lie to you. I'm happy for you. At least there's someone you're already making plans towards. Yes, so don't worry. Yours will come. Definitely not from this Lagos. I'll have to find one for my village. Not bad, but there are still decent girls here as well. Can we talk? About what exactly? You have been sitting here and you haven't said a word to me. It's so unlike you. What do you want from me exactly? You wanted me to stay out of your business. I didn't ask you to stay away from me. I just want you to support my choice as a sister would do. Please, I don't want to talk before I get another slap. About that, I'm really sorry. Didn't mean to hit you like that. You didn't mean it. From the look of things, you had it in your mind to hit me and I hope you're satisfied. Why don't you like it? Why should I like it? Does she have anything to offer me? She's a nice person, Rachel. Trust me. I don't give a damn about if she's nice or not. All I'm saying is, she's not up to our class. We are not training orphans in this house. You see my problem with you? You're always too much to handle. So what? You would hit me again? Oh, please. Look, this wasn't how we used to treat each other. We used to be best of friends. Until you allowed her come between us. She can't come between us. She's my girlfriend and you're my sister. That's two different bonds. Oh, please. You and I know that you've chosen her over both mom and I. What's giving you that impression? Well, you hit me for the first time since I was born and that's because of her. You let me do it. You shouldn't have talked to her the way you did. Now it's my fault that I got slapped. So funny. I'm sorry, okay? For you. Don't be. I know it's still going to repeat itself as far as you keep seeing that girl. So save it. Excuse me. Why is it so difficult? How's the village and everyone, mom? Everyone is fine. It's really sunny over here. Now, full stop will be expensive. Exactly, but at least I don't have mouth to feed. If I cook two cups of rice, I'll eat it the whole day. Mama, you have to be eating well. I'm make sure you don't stress yourself out. Don't worry about me. I'm eating very well and I'm doing alright. How's your friend now? What's her name again? Mama Tiara. She's fine though. Her daughter Tiara is even around. Eh, mm, so she finally came? Yes, she did. She has been here for a couple of days now. You need to see how beautiful she looks. Very respectful pretty girl. That's nice. Her mother is beautiful. You should expect that the child will be beautiful too. Indeed, if you were in Nigeria, I would have hooked you two up for marriage. She's a wife material. Mama, is it because she's your friend's daughter? That's why you want me to marry her. No, I'm even talking about Mary because she's a good girl. She takes care of her mother very well and I admire her. If she was the opposite, I wouldn't have recommended her now. You know your mother wants the best for you. I know, Mama, and I appreciate that. How are you doing over there? Hope all is well. All is well, Mama. I'm doing fine. We thank God Almighty. That's good, my son. Take care of yourself, eh? Sure, Mama. Take care. Where are you? I was hoping we could meet and have lunch. Oh, you're bored at home and you want to see me so you can pour out your frustration on me. <laughs> Why are you like this? I miss my friend now. I see. Well, I traveled with Tiara to the village to see her mom. Village? Ew. Why would you go to a place like that? 
Like what? There's a village I went to the mortuary. The village isn't a place for someone like you. Oh, please. Madam, I'm not like you. I like it here. You need to come here and see how beautiful this place is. What would I come there for? Oh, please. I really wanted to see you. I'm so bored. I'll be back in a few days. You should hang out when I come back. Alright. Not bad. I can't wait. Hope you're okay. Of course I am. I should be asking you that. Because I'm in the village. You don't know here is even safer. What safer than this estate job? Anyways, I'll talk to you later. Alright, my dear. Take care. Bye. Mama, you went out before? Yes, yeah, so my dear. I went to see Felicia, my friend. I was wondering where you could have gone. Sorry I didn't tell you. How are you doing? I'm okay, Mama. Where is your friend? She seems to be interested in this village even more than you do. I know, Mama. It's been a while she has gone to a village. She was brought up in Abuja and her parents barely takes her and her siblings to the village. That's bad. Why? She has every right to go to her father's or mother's village. So she learns her cultures and traditions. Does it really matter? She's a woman. She'll get married and probably learn another man's culture. That's what you think. Isn't this dad's village? Why are you here? You could have gone to your own village. You can't because you're already a part of this place and you can't go to your village to dwell there. You now belong to your husband's people. I don't know who is teaching you all these things, eh? It's reality, mama. By the way, we'll be leaving this village tomorrow. We are going back to school. I thought you were supposed to leave on Saturday, so it should be a complete week. Friday or Saturday, it's all the same. It's not the same thing at all, eh? Okay, mama. We would leave on Saturday if that would make you happy. It's much better like that. But still, I'm going to miss you. Me too, mama. We have to go back to school. I understand, but be very careful. Of course I am. That's my daughter. Kate. Kate. Uh-uh. Please, what is it? It's late. Why are you in my house by this time? You won't believe what I just found out. What is it? You're getting me scared. He's cheating on me. I just can't believe that he's cheating on me, Kate. Who is cheating? I don't understand. How many people am I dating? Oh, oh my goodness. Your boyfriend is cheating on you? How did you find out? I don't know how it happened. He sent me a text yesterday saying he would like us to go out on a date. And he sent the location and time. Okay, what's there? Wait now, let me finish. Okay, go on. That's how I went there this evening and saw him with another girl. He was on the same table he wrote on his text with another girl. The painful part is even that he told me to wear the red dress he got me and I was wondering when he got me a red dress. But I felt maybe it was a mistake on his part because he bought me a lot of clothes. So I just picked one of my most beautiful red dress and won it to the restaurant thinking he wanted to propose only for me to find him with another girl and she was wearing a red dress. Wait a minute, did he send you that test by mistake or he did it on purpose? I'm still dumbfounded. I don't even believe my own eyes. I just walked back to my car and drove off. What? Men, eh? I'm so sorry, my darling. So this is why he has refused to talk about marriage. I feel like my world is crumbling. How could he do this to me? Five whole years of my life. I'm so sorry, but you have to confront him. I snapped both him and the girl and sent him the picture just so he doesn't have any reason to deny anything. Man, I'm surprised. Just calm down. There are a lot of men who want to do anything to make it their wife. Just calm down, okay? Sure. I'm calm. Can I crash out at your place tomorrow? Of course, girl. I won't even let you go home like this. Thank you. Hello. Good evening. Hey, beautiful. How are you doing? I'm doing just fine. You look stressed. I had a very important meeting today at work. It was hell stressful. I won't lie. I'm sorry. Did you eat something? Yes. More meat, fish sauce and yam. I ate already. I can't believe you had dinner in this house. It's been a while. That's cause I close from work really late sometimes. I would miss my mother's food for anything. I'm happy you think that way. Bro, I would need some money. Money? For what? It's my final year in school. The bills are choking. I need money. I can't wait for you to finish this your school so that me too will start eating your money. How about? <laughs> matter what, you're still my big brother. I'll still eat your money even after I graduate from university. You think so? What excuse would you give me then? Just watch and see. Anyways, I'll send you some money. Use it to sort out your bills. Um, thank you. But make sure it's a lot of money. Look at your mouth. Do you think money is easy to come by? I'm not saying it is. Just make sure you send me something tangible. As the Odogu that you are. I'm not your Odogu. 
go and marry then you can call your husband that since i'm not married yet but you do good for now how do you see the restaurant it's beautiful i like the interior the interior isn't just the only beautiful thing they have here you need to see the workers and the food is wow they are workers if i must get you right you mean female workers <laughs> is that jealousy that isn't what i meant though i meant their workers are beautiful they work with all their hearts oh i thought the reverse was the case so you've been here a couple of times yeah i come here a lot because it serves the most delicious food in this whole vicinity that's why you see the place is packed full that was nice. I can't wait to try out their delicious food. Don't worry. A try will convince you. By the way, I haven't had much of peace for the past few days. Peace is there. She's fine. She's just passing through some emotion stuff. Emotional stuff. She called her boyfriend cheating on her. Apparently, he mistakenly sent her a test that was meant for his other girlfriend. It was a date thing and when she went to the location he sent, she found him with another woman. Father Lord, I feel so sorry for her. I really don't know why some men are so stupid and wicked. And I feel like he did send that test on purpose. Maybe to make peace live or something. Let's just see what happens. Maybe he would come back begging. And I know peace isn't so stupid to accept him back. Don't be surprised. When she forgives him, five whole years is a child's play. It's better than a failed marriage too. Yeah, I know that. Well, let's leave her to make that decision. You're right. Let's eat. I was about leaving the house sir, before you came. Oh, you were going to the market? Yes, yeah, so my daughter is leaving tomorrow. So I wanted to buy her foodstuffs. You know foodstuff is even cheaper in this Lagos than those big cities. I understand she's leaving so soon. I know you will miss her so much. My dear, I will do. But who am I to stop her from going back to school? It's very important, but don't worry. She'll be back. Of course. She made the promise to come back as soon as she can. Such a wonderful girl. I really want my son to marry her. I will be happy you. My daughter and your son will make a perfect match. I'm telling you, don't just worry. I will talk to my son about it the next time he calls. That's really thoughtful. I hope he accepts. Of course he will. He's my son now. Alright, so let's go. I'll walk you to the market since I have nothing to do at the moment. Thank you so much. That would make the market journey more enjoyable. You can say that again. You wouldn't believe what my mom said when I called her yesterday. What did you say? She was telling me about the girl, her friend's daughter, and how beautiful and kind she is. Mothers won't cease to amaze us. What was she trying to insinuate? Marriage, of course. She was trying to hook us up. What? <laughs> Who does that in this generation? Well, my mother, she's something else. But wait though, would you consider marrying someone your mom introduced to you? Of course, why not? I trust my mom so much and I know she would not pick a bad wife for me. You marry someone you don't love? Marriage is an agreement. If we both agree to get married to each other, then we can start spending time with each other and before you know it, the love will start developing. But if we later find out that we are not compatible, we'll split. What if your mom marries you a wife by herself? Like since she likes this her friend's daughter she then decides she wants to marry her on your behalf then it's a go ahead i know my mother will not pick an ill-mannered woman for me but don't you think you should be the one finding your wife yourself i don't even have time to so i totally would accept help from my mom i see I can't believe you are leaving tomorrow. You can stay longer if you want. No one is asking you to live with me. I should stay in your own village when you are not here. Uh uh. Since you have decided to make it your second home. Whatever. Is it bad to like your village, eh? You this girl. I don't even know why my mom has decided to give me load though. What load? You didn't see the load of food stuff she got. No. When did she buy them? How would you know when you are busy walking up and down the village? Oh, John. What did she buy? She got yams, plantain, gari. Those there are smoked fish, fufu, palm oil, candied melon, and even salt. And you are not happy. This is an opportunity for you to start cooking. Please, I don't have strength for cooking all that. You can take all of them to your apartment. I'll come eat when you cook. As your slave. She be you that said they are my PA now. PA, not cook. You don't know the difference. All the same, Abby, nobody you use your mouth call yourself PA. I beg they go. Why am I even talking to you? Let me go and help the stuff that mama got. Mama, you see your mother. If you like cry, she's mama. What kind of friend is this one self?
Mama, we are leaving, oh. My children, I will miss you girls. Eh? Who will just me or make me watch late night movies now? Mama, don't worry. I personally would make sure that Tiara comes home once every month. You think that it's easy traveling all the way here? That's why I'm offering to come with you once every month. This place is really nice. Nice? What is nice about this place? My dear Tella, this village is a very nice place to come relax. That's what you both will say. But I don't fancy it at all. I've told you to come live in the city. You said no. This is where I like. I lived in this city before and I can boldly say I prefer this place. Good for you. Let's start going, Ojoy. So we don't get to Lagos late. Mama, take care of yourself, okay? I will, my daughter. You both should be very careful and be prayerful. Yes, Mama. God be with you. It's well with both of you. Amen. Amen, Mama. Take care of yourself. I'll see you some other time. Bye-bye. Finally, you've decided to come back from the bush. What do you mean bush? I heard the village is bushy and it's full of witches. So you mean you haven't been to your own village? What village? My dad isn't from Nigeria, remember? And your mom? Well, she's from Nigeria, but who cares? At least you should tell your mom to take you to the village to see things. God forbid, the mosquitoes and lack of good water and light. There is good water and light. Don't let money will spoil your orientation. And you take his dusty village movies, where they leave clay houses and fetch water from the streams. Isn't that how a village looks like? <laughs> What's funny? Of course, it's funny. The village I went to is not those kind of villages. It has steady electricity, good water, good road, and modern facilities. I even saw girls that drive good cars there. Big restaurants too. So why is it called village then? Because it's a rural area. Just that, that particular village is well developed now. Oh, I see. That's good. Now you know you should try and visit with us next time. Tiara's village. No, thank you. I am so exhausted from work. You told me you'll be staying in my house for just one day. Now you've stayed for three good days. And so? What's bad? Aren't we friends again? And so? Your parents, why stay in my own house? Maybe we should start considering staying together. You and who? Haven't you heard of the word privacy? Privacy to do what? Oh, you want to start inviting men into your house. Men? God help you. Amen, oh. How far you and your man? Has he talked to you? He has been apologizing and I don't know what to do. What do you want? I still love him and I think I should hear him out and give him a chance. Hear him out? How now? Okay, what did he say about the whole thing? He said I haven't been giving him much time and attention, that I'm always busy at work and he's right, I've been engrossed with work lately. Maybe it's my fault that he found comfort in another woman's arms. What? Are you really kidding me? This guy is blaming you for his cheating. Like wait, when he noticed all this thing, why didn't he tell you? He just didn't want to hurt my feelings. That's why he just started saying that girl. And you believed him? Is there any justification for cheating? I know, but I should at least give him another chance. What can I say? It's your relationship. Yeah, I just want to give him another chance. Let me ask you, if it was him, would he still give you another chance if you cheated on him? I don't even know what to think, so he lost me so much and I'm not even thinking of cheating. It's okay, good luck. Thank you, bestie. I'm really hungry. Should we eat out or you cooked? Of course, you know I always cook. Asking me jam questions. Madam, just go and eat. Thank you, ma. Foodie. <laughs> Good afternoon, mom. Good afternoon, mom. Good evening. Uh-uh. Where are you two coming from? Oh, I took Rachel out to get some things for herself. Yes, mom. I told Richard I needed some makeup powder and some wares. And what happens to taking me along with you two? Taking you along to where, mom? <laughs> mom, it was just a brother. Sister outing. Next time I'll be your tongue. Oh please, you both know your BS. There's never my tongue because at the end of the day, Rachel will still tag along. I'm the baby of the house. I should go where my mother goes. Was I with you when you went shopping with your brother? Did you even at least buy anything for me? I bought fruit for pay. So do you want? I don't eat those. Thank God. At least I offered you something. So you didn't want to give me before because you know I don't eat stuffs like this. That's why you decided to offer. At least I tried. Don't worry. I'll consider buying something for you next time. Look at Ladies, no need to fight over all this. How about next weekend? We go out together, all of us. Next week, isn't that too far? Yes, it's too far. Let's go tomorrow since it's Sunday. After church. Perfect. What do you say, Richard? Okay, fine. But you have to run up fast. Like maybe a three-hour outing. Then we are back home. 
Why? Can't we just spend the whole day together? Half class, madam. So no, we can't. Well, three of us isn't so bad after all. It's enough to spend together. Thank you, mom. I don't see me wanting to spend time with my brother as a crime. Yes, ma'am. I'm not saying it's a crime, but your brother is a busy man. But you're not working tomorrow. I have a date with my girlfriend tomorrow. Oh, I should have known. I'm going inside to check out the stops. Very difficult. I'm really sorry, I have to shift the time. At least you told me on time. Why did you have to shift it though? I had to take my mother and sister out. They were on my neck about spending family time together. Not bad. That's a good reason to shift the time. Since you work all week, you should take them out at least on a Sunday. I know, right? But if my sister had the chance, she would want to spend the whole week with me. I totally understand. She seems to have made you her best friend. Yeah, that's true. We were best friends even before childhood. We used to act like twins, but of course, people knew I was older because she had a small stature. But she just had to understand that we are older now and we both have responsibilities. Well, she needs time to adjust. Let's not go there. I have given her enough time. She's just like that. She will get over it when I finally get married. So how is peace? I called her the other day, but I didn't bring up the issue because she didn't tell me. I don't want you to feel like we were discussing about her. That's true. Peace. That girl is really something else. Let's call it love sick. How do you mean? She forgave a guy that cheated on her clearly. Like, she literally was blaming herself for not giving him enough time and attention. That's why he cheated. <laughs> oh my goodness. It's not funny at all. Our friend needs help. I told you it wasn't easy at all. Leaving someone you have dated for that long is a very difficult decision. Well, not for me. I just hope it works out for her, which I know it won't. Don't be so negative. I'm not negative at all. I'm just speaking from experience. You forgive a cheating partner, they will cheat on you again and it might even be worse. Peace is a brilliant woman. She knows when it's time to end things. And about us, I think it's time you meet my family. My mom has been so eager to meet you. Uh, when am I meeting them? Next Sunday is fine. What do you think? I'm excited. Next Sunday is fine with me as well. Guy, I'm really excited. I can see that. What's the cause of this, your excitement? Well, how do I even put it? Put a many how now. I'm eager. I'll soon be a car owner. <laughs> car owner care. Guy, waiting for me for which I just talk now. Who want that sugar? I don't understand. Hey, nah. That's when you go ask before you laugh. I am no vex. Tell me. So a few days ago, I met an old friend of mine. We used to be buddies back in the university. I saw this guy in the same Lagos. You need to see how fresh she was looking. At first, I was so ashamed to even say hi to him because he parked his car at the front of one shop and was buying something. I was just passing by JJ Liu. Then that was how this guy called my name, Desmond, Desmond. I had no choice but to say hi to him. Oh, wow. He's even a nice guy. If it was some guys with ego, they won't even call your name. Exactly you. I greeted him and we talked for a bit. He gave me his WhatsApp number and we started chatting. I told him about the job I got abroad and how it felt and how I decided to start hustling in Lagos instead of going back to the village. And he offered to help me. Eh? I'm a your friend and a better person you know. I'm telling you. He decided to help me with the car. He said I'll be using the car as Uber. That Lagos is a good place for Uber business. Oh, that's really a good idea. My man, I'm happy for you. I'm glad you blessed that your friend. Amen. If I start the Uber business, at least we'll be able to get a better life faster like renting a better apartment and all that i'm really happy how about this job we are doing you're just going to quit eh i'll wait first till i collect my salary they will pay us soon smart money guy what are you expecting that i'll leave my whole salary with them never i know i'm being kind of mean Famished. What is someone going to eat now? Lazy girl, your mom gave you all the necessary food stores. And you have kitchen in the fridge. But to cook is your problem. You know I'm not the kitchen type. If you want to help me, help me. As what now? I should cook for you. So what if I'm sick? You can't help me. Is that how wicked and heartless you can be? But madam, you're not sick. You're totally sound and healthy. So don't make that excuses. Just please, at least, make noodles for me. Why are you so lazy to cook? Is it that you don't even know how to cook? Or there's something in the kitchen that you're afraid of? Madam, don't insult me. I can cook. I just don't fancy it. But you fancy to eat. Hunger never beats you. I'll just order food. I'm tired of this, your endless talk. If you order food, before the food will get here, you might have passed out from the hunger. 
That's not your business, madam. Leave me alone. I better go to the kitchen and take food though. When you went to school, I cooked chicken stew and white rice. Oh, aren't you the best? You should have said it since now. Look at me, looking like I'm going to drop dead soon from this starvation. If you had entered the kitchen since, you would have noticed I cooked something. Eh? Did you fry plantain? You see food. You're still asking about plantain. Did you go into any covenant with fried plantain? Let me just go and sing for myself. No, City and Biak sing me. Madam, come inside. And how did you know it was me? Who else comes to my house unannounced? Oh, please. What if it was a robber or a kidnapper? They come to your house unannounced. You have a point, but I know it was you, so rest. Whatever. I'm glad I'm here now, because today was an annoying day indeed. Did something happen? Can you imagine? There is this guy in my office that won't just let me rest. He is a senior at my workplace and he has been throwing a green light up and down. And what's annoying about that? You're a beautiful woman. It's annoying no. I've showed this guy that I'm not interested and today he has the audacity to send me a text saying he would like us to go on just four dates. Blah blah blah. I don't even know how he got my number in the first place. Why don't you just go on a date with this guy and see how he is? Really? I should start going on a date with another man when I'm not single. You're not married, madam. You're not even engaged. And besides, your so-called boyfriend went on a romantic date with another woman. Stop it. What's that supposed to mean? I'm only telling you the truth. It's just the date. After the four dates, you can get to decide if you want to tell him you're not interested or not. Of course, I won't be interested. Just go on the date. Take my advice just like I take yours. Don't lay all your hopes on your boyfriend again. I've had you. Just know you forced me to go on the date because I'm clearly not interested. It's for your own good. Just be happy. I don't hear you, madam. I want to sleep. You know it's today. I ate dinner with my colleagues. I'm fine. Okay, oh, good night. Mom, you are here. Yes, so how are you? Why are you up so late? I should be asking you the same. You normally sleep early. I slept early, but then I woke up again just to watch this program. You have this program? It's a very interesting one. I don't like to miss it. That's fine. I wanted to discuss something with you. Okay. What could that be? I'm planning on bringing my girlfriend to come see you on Sunday. Oh wow, that Kate girl. Yes, mom. Oh, that's beautiful. You can bring her. I would like to know her kind of person. Okay, mom. But please, mom, don't ask her unnecessary questions. What do you mean unnecessary? Every question I ask her would be very important. And she's not coming for an interview now. I just want to know one or two things about her. I trust you, mom. Please don't help me talk to Rachel to behave herself. I don't want her to ruin things for me. And what's that supposed to mean? She's not a key. Don't address her like that. I know what I mean, mom. But don't worry. I'll talk to her myself. Don't talk down on your sister. I won't, mom. You know me. I know, but you can be crazy sometimes when it comes to that girl. Her name is Kate, not that girl. I've heard you. Is that all? Yes, that's all. I'll just go to bed now. Good night, mom. Good night. What a coincidence. I was even planning on coming to visit you. It seems as though we are the only companion we have. My sister, it's not easy at all, but I'm happy that we have each other. Yes, yeah, so at least we have who to talk to and share all our worries with. How are you doing? I am okay. The house was becoming unbearable since my daughter left. I understand. At least you've seen her and know that she's doing alright. Yes, yeah, so my dear, that's my happiness. When this is she will be coming back again? I know that will be a very long time. Trust me. Don't worry, she will come home soon enough. I hope so. How is business going? I didn't go to the market today. I needed to rest and wash my clothes. That's one huge blessing about having your own business. I can't even imagine working for someone else at my age. God forbid. That's not even possible. Abio. Joy. Joy. Hello? Hi. Can I talk to Joy, please? Did she tell you that this is her apartment? I'm very sure of it. So can you please go call her out? Well, she's not here, so leave. Joy! Joy! Please come out, it's important. Are you crazy? This is a lot, for God's sake. Don't scream like a madwoman. Who are you calling a madwoman? Are you sick? Get 
out of here and don't create a scene. I need to talk to Joy. Just tell her to come out. She's not here. This is my apartment. And you know, you are the last person I want to see. What's that supposed to mean? You call this rat hole an apartment? Yeah, rat hole. I know you have a mansion. So why don't you just disappear from this rat hole? Why are you feeling so special? Because of bio. Is that why you're feeling like the world revolves around you? Of course. The world revolves around you. And I can see that you are so jealous that the richest and cutest guy in this campus is on my case. Just go. Don't worry. Very soon, that one thing that gives you so much confidence will leave you. Okay, Ma. Can you leave now? I wonder how joy tolerates you. I'm off before I get poisoned by this sticky air around here. Stupid thing, look at her. My friend, my friend. Tiara, I have a gist for you. Keep your gist to yourself. I don't want to hear it. Why? What's happening? What do you mean why? I don't want to hear it. But why is your attitude now like this? Like I offended you. Did you at any time tell that girl, Rachel, that this is your apartment? Of course not. I told her A4, not B4. Oh, so she's equally as stupid as her brain. Did she come here? Wait, she did? She did, oh. And she was busy screaming your name like a mad woman. Why did she come here now? What's her problem? Are you asking me, why? Do I look like her? But why are you so angry? You are acting like you don't know how much I dislike that girl. I hate her guts. I know, but it's not my fault that she came here now. Why put the blame on me? Just give her a better description of your house next time. No vex, I beg. How I no go vex? She came to my house and called my apartment a rat hole. A what? You think it's funny? Don't even think it's funny. What's all this? She's so mean. I'm sorry. I'll talk to her. You had better. What did you say you have for me? I'm not telling you again. Rest. Let me go and see Rachel. This one she came here. So she's more important than me. That's not it. The thing is when I go to meet her, as I'm coming back, I'll get us fried chicken and when I come back, we'll have the gist. Eh uh -huh. You had better be back early. I'll be back soon. Madam, what's going on? What do you mean what's going on? I've been calling you. You want to run down my battery? I told you I was coming. You took time. I've been here for a while. Why did you come to look for me? And why did you go to Tiara's apartment? Oh, she already told you. That girl. Oh, please. Didn't I tell you my apartment is on Blocky? E? What did you go to Block B for? It escaped me. And besides, was that why she was so rude? I've told you. Stay away from my friend. Did you go there on purpose? Why would I want to see her? Is she the president's daughter? Sounds like you're obsessed with her. Or is it because she's your crush crush? Just hear yourself speak. I'm over him already. She can have him. You're so sure about that? Please forget. I called you here because I wanted us to have a good time. Not talk about guys. Okay ma. How are you doing? I don't even know. I don't know what's going on. I feel like I am not happy but I don't know where to begin from. Tell me what's going on. Let's talk. Guy, why now? Since around 5, you asked me to come here to wait for you. And this is 7. I'm sorry, my brother. I know normally I get to any location before you. This is no joke. I've watched people come and go, and yet I'm still here. I'm sorry now. This was really important. I was coming here when my guy was talking to you about code. And what happened? I just got the car he promised. Hey, whoa. So this is true. Congratulations, my man. Thank you, my friend. I'm beyond grateful and thankful. So you drove here. You can drive already? I can drive, of course. I used to work as a driver to a very big man in the village back then. Congratulations, Zo. Now my guy have a car. You can be dropping me off at work every day. That's not be problem at all. I just can't help but thank God. I'm so happy. We are making good progress. Thanks to God Almighty. Yes, Zo. But this doesn't stop me from looking for a better job. Of course it doesn't. It will even give you the opportunity to move around efficiently. Like go to a further distance just to check for jobs. At least you're not in transportation fair. You're very correct. We thank God for this. You're paying for our drinks today oh, as celebration of what God has done. Get any drink you want. I'll pay. I'll pay pay soup join safe. That's my guy. God, thank you. Oh. Rachel, Rachel. Yes, mom. I'm here. Come and drive me to the supermarket. Uh uh. But mom, why are we going to the supermarket? I need to get some stuffs for Sunday. What's happening on Sunday? Oh, I can see. Your brother didn't tell you that you'll be coming home with his girlfriend on Sunday. Come on, with that kid. 
Which other girlfriend does your brother have? Mom, you want to allow him bring that girl into his house? Should I stop him? This is his house. And so, what if it's his house? Mom, that girl is not right for him. And what say do we have about who is right for him? I know you don't like her, but let me be the judge of that. And you're even preparing. For what? Mom, tell your son that you don't want to see that girl. How not you his mother anymore? Just drive me to the supermarket. You should know your mother too well. I won't allow him make mistakes. But I must first see the girl with my own two eyes. I don't understand. Trust me, I won't allow her stay because I'll make sure I test her very well and see that she brings out all of her bad character. Better make sure that Richard doesn't marry that girl. I'll have to test her first of all. She has to be qualified. Okay, oh. let's just watch and see. Oh, come here, let me get my car key. Just use mine. Look at the keys at the shelf there. Okay, let's go. been here for over 30 minutes and you've just been so overjoyed scrolling through your phone that's because i'm over the moon i'm excited over what what's making you this way i'm finally meeting richard's family oh my gosh seriously yes he said we are meeting this sunday so i'm trying to shop for a nice outfit online haven't you heard of what i ordered versus what i got scam? i trust this vendor i'm ordering from why don't we just drive to the mall and get you some beautiful and elegant? You know how Richard's family likes to create an impression. You're right, girl. When he told me that I would be meeting his mom and sister, I was so excited. I'm more excited with you meeting his mom. His sister is a not case. I told you not to judge her by all that, right? Besides, you haven't even gotten to know her yet. Aw, aren't you an angel? You had better not tolerate her rubbish. That girl is spoiled. You know I won't, but I just don't want to fight with her. Nobody is asking you to pick up a fight or something. Just let's go to the mall. You'll find beautiful stuff there. We can go later. Let me just relax a bit. Alright though, madam. Anytime you are ready, I'm here. Since you got to school, you have only called me once, and that was when you wanted to tell me that you have gotten to school. Mama, I've told you that your daughter is a very busy girl, eh? Busy? Oh, he's too busy to call their own mother. But Mama, you know I try. I'm trying now. Well, let's not make this an argument at all. Now you are talking. How are you doing? I'm doing just fine. Since it's not my responsibility to always call you. Mama, I thought we said we are not going to argue. I know he's arguing with you, eh? I'm glad that you are fine. How's your friend? Is she doing alright? You haven't asked me how I am, but you're already asking of my friend. Anyways, she's fine. How are you doing? How are you studying? It's not easy at all, but I thank God. Hope you are going to church, oh? Yes, Mama, I go to church. I don't miss it at all. That's my daughter. You have to hold God tight. He is the only true friend and father. Yes, Mama. I have something to ask you. Okay, what's it? Would you marry a guy that lives abroad that you haven't met before? I don't understand. Where would I even meet one? I am just talking about Felicia son. He is a very handsome man and he stays abroad. Would you marry him if you had the chance to? Then after graduation, you fly abroad to meet him. Habba mama, I don't really know. Judging from the fact that we haven't met before. But since he stays abroad, that means he must be very rich. He is rich, oh. He works in Canada. Oh, wow. I wouldn't mind. That's if I get to talk to him on call or probably see his pictures. It would be really great. And at the end of all of this school stuff, I'll just go and meet him there. Exactly. I know it's a nice idea, right? It's not bad at all. Alright, my dear. Let me leave you to your busy schedule. Alright, mom. Take care of yourself. You too, Tara. So, you're here. I've been calling your phone since. And it's saying busy. Oh, I was on a call with my mom. Why are you calling me? I just wanted to tell you that I finished cooking. Oh, alright. How's my mom now? Just when she called. Hope everything is alright. Yes, of course. Everything is alright. Alright. I missed her all. Why don't you miss her? It's because of all those are delicious meals, Abby. I'm telling you. You will just wake up in the morning and you're already perceiving a delicious breakfast. It's one thing I like about her. She doesn't play with food. I like that though, for real. Let me ask you a question. Okay. Would you marry a guy who lives abroad that you have never met before? He's not crippled or married. He's just staying abroad and he works there. Once you get married to him, he will fly you abroad. In fact, you know his family and his mom and just her best friends. Of course, why not? If he's staying abroad. Oh, why are you so lucky with men? I'm so. 
You think so? Wait, do you have someone who lives abroad that you want to marry? No, not at all. Just that my mom asked me the same thing. I think our friend's son is interested in me. Oh, why are you so lucky with me? Oh, please. I'm not even sure yet. As far as your mom asked you, then I'm sure it's legit. Whatever. I just asked you to know your say on the matter. My dear, dive the opportunity to you. I'm telling you, there's no single bachelor in Lagos that's ready to marry you. Your mama don't open road for you now. Better accept. Guy, good is not the finish show. What happened this time? It's my friend though, the same guy who got me car for my Uber business, has given us a place to stay. How na? No joke with me, yo. I'm not joking with you at all. He knows I stay with a friend and he decided to help us with a better place of our own. A three bedroom flat that is well furnished. He said that's one of his properties and his brother used to stay there before he traveled abroad. He doesn't need rent from us. He just wants me to have a place of my own before I get back on my feet. Ah, may the good God bless him. What kind of a friend is he? I don't know how much to thank him. I'm just too grateful to him. My guy, he's such a good friend indeed. Right now, I just want to settle down with my life, find a woman and probably start planning marriage and building together. Ah uh ah, -uh. isn't that too soon? You should hustle first now. My guy, I'm not getting any younger. I need a woman. I need a wife to have my kids. I'm the only son of my mother. Getting married doesn't stop me from hustling at all. You're right. I think that's the right thing to do. But the only problem now is, how do you go about it? I'm thinking of marrying my mother's friend's daughter. But the thing is, they think I live abroad. Is that your fear? You can marry her now. You can just tell your people to go see hers and they marry her for you. Then what happens next? Then you cross the bridge when you get there. For now, just focus on getting enough money for the expenses. You would need money. What about you? You're not thinking of marrying your fiancé yet? I will, but I have to get enough money to rent my own place. You know both of us can't get married and live in the same house. I understand. If that's the case, I'll support you to get your own place when you are ready. Thank you, my guy. I'm really happy for this news. I'm glad. You're not as happy as I am right now. Mama, I'm telling you, this place is really cold. Even if it's hot here, I'll prefer here than to come there and die of cold. Mama, it's not like that. Nobody die of cold over here. The house has heaters and it also beats with hot water. I still don't care, my son. Let me remain here. Okay. Anyways, how's your friend? Who oh, she's keeping you company or should I employ a nanny for you? Nanny care. Why would I need a nanny? I am strong and vibrant. So you see all the time, Mama. I just want someone to be talking and jesting with you. My friend is doing all that. Okay, about your friend's daughter, I wanted to ask how old she is. I think she's around mm, 24 or 25. And she schools in Lagos? Yes, she schools in the university in Lagos. Oh, that's nice. And you said she's very disciplined. Yes, so this girl doesn't leave the house. For the one week she was in this village, I didn't see her outside. Oh, wow. When will she be done with school? She's in Afanaya already, and she's studying nursing. Oh, pleasant. All right, Mama. She seems like a nice girl. She is, but why are you asking? I'm just asking, Mama. Oh, you are thinking what I'm thinking. What are you thinking? Marriage now. It's only God that can decide that. Better consider it too. You'll be so lucky to have her as a wife, and she's still young. I don't want you to go and marry a wrong woman. Don't worry, Mama. I won't. All right, be good, my son. Yes, Mama. I have to go now. Bye bye. Stay safe. Oh. Ooh, I don't want to fall in love again. My friend, good evening. Felicia, my dear. Good evening. How are you doing? As you can see, I decided to come to your house to see you before loneliness kills me. God forbid. Even though I am as lonely as you are. Hope your health is better. Of course, I am doing just fine. I just finished talking with my son, and guess what? You know I'm not good at guessing. Tell me. He asked after your daughter. He was asking stuff like um her age, her character, how long she has to finish schooling, and all those questions. Hey, is it that he is interested in Tara? 
I am very sure he's starting to have interest in her. And he knows how much I like your daughter. That is such a coincidence. Because I asked my daughter just yesterday if she wants to marry a man that sleeps abroad. And she hasn't meant this before. And answer was quite positive. Maybe they are meant to be together. Who knows? Or maybe God has decided to make us friends forever. <laughs> you are right. I pray their union works out. It will be a thing of joy. My dear, my daughter will be living abroad with your son. I'm telling you, I just can't wait. Me, I wish it will happen today. God, it is in your hands, so... Yes, so I am happy. I am dry melon. Should I bring it so we can break it together and continue this orgies? Yes, please. I need to exercise these hands. I am coming then. Now my mornings ain't heavy Cause I'm finally getting real sleepy I love watching all the color rush Alpha, hope you are ready for tomorrow. Why are you making it feel like I'm getting married? Well, who knows? Richard may pop the big question tomorrow. You like exaggeration, eh? I'm just meeting his mom. And your future mother-in-law. Who is talking about marriage? You are always so forward. Thank you. I like being forward because I know what I'm saying. Anyways, I'm prepared. I can't really wait. I'm excited for you. Richard is such a man. I know, right? A lot of guys won't want any girl to meet their mom until they are ready for marriage. What if Richard is ready for marriage? On top three months relationship. What's there to know about each other again? You've been friends with this guy for years. And so, who says marriage will work because you've been friends with the person? Relationship is a whole different thing, remember? Okay, what's the difference between when you and Richard started this and when you are friends? There's a lot of difference, my dear. We now care about each other's interests. We try as much as we can to understand ourselves. We try to be a partner. We communicate even better. We love and we care for each other. You don't do all of that in friendship. Friendship is more like having someone to share your thoughts with. And in friendship, there's a lot of space and boundaries. Well, there no, since I know go school. Whatever. Come and help me fix this my wig. Let's do that tomorrow. Don't be in a hurry. I've heard you. I'm not in a hurry. Welcome to my beautiful home, babe. Thank you. Oh, wow. Your house even looks more beautiful. Did you change the interior? Yes, I did. Oh, wow. Nice choice. Good afternoon, ma'am. Mom, Good afternoon. meet my girlfriend, Kate. Babe, meet my beautiful mom. It's a pleasure to meet you. Same here. Please make yourself comfortable. Thank you, ma'am. Babe, what should I offer you? I'm totally fine for now. Thank you. All right. Let me just get something inside. Give me a moment. Sure. Uh, so you are Kate? I am, ma. Okay, how long have you been seeing my son? A couple of months now, ma. I see. Where are you from? Where do your parents live? I'm from Anambra State. My parents are dead and I live in this city with my two younger siblings. Oh, you are not fan. Sorry about that. It's nothing, ma. So why are you dating my son? Is it for financial support or for love? Eh, uh, for love, ma. I love Richard so much. And uh, what was your past relationships with men like? Pardon? Don't you get the question? I said, what's your past relationships with men like? I've only dated one man all my life, ma. Hey, mom. My daughter, how are you? Mom, everything is ready in the kitchen. Look who is here. Hi. Hello. So as we were saying, can you cook? Of course, ma. My mom was a chef when she was alive. Very well then. If you go down the hall, you'll see a kitchen by the left. I want you to prepare something with anything you find in the kitchen. I don't understand, ma. What's there not to understand? She said cook something with the stuffs you find in the kitchen. I'm sorry, ma, but I can't do that. You can't do what? You can't cook for your boyfriend's mom. It's inappropriate for me to cook for you when you're meeting me for the first time. You see? But if she gives you money, you'll collect. Excuse me? You're excused. You better go in there and cook something. Or you leave this house and never come back. What? You heard that? What's the argument about? I can't believe you actually brought me here for your mother and sister to ridicule. Ridicule? Because I asked you to cook. You did what? I have to take my leave now. I can see I'm not welcome here. Wait, what's happening, mom? Why would she cook for us? Isn't she here to be part of us? Are you mad? You are this one that can't cook. I'm out of here. Goodbye, ma. You had better not come back here. Come on, test. You are filled with fully. Babe, wait. Babe, please. Let's talk this over. Good readers. I don't even like her looking flashy with my son's money. I never want to see her here again. What just happened here, mom? 
You saw it. You saw the rubbish your so-called girlfriend did. Tell me, what rubbish did she do? I asked her to cook. Simple meal and she couldn't. She's in for the money and she's a total liability. You see what I'm saying, mom? Look how flashy and orphan dresses, designer bags and luxury hair. She has to earn her spot in this house. Shebi, she claimed to be a good cook. Why couldn't she prove it? Will you shut your trap? Mom, how can you tell a girl your son brought to introduce to you to cook on her first visit? How? Hear yourself speak. She has to earn her place in my own house. I only brought her here to meet you because you are my mother. But it's obvious you don't want to support me. I support you, but you see this one? I won't. She shouldn't come to this house because I won't accept her. Just look at the both of you. You forgot you have a daughter. She will eventually get a man tomorrow as well. And I hope what you just did to Kate is done to her as well. God forbid, I won't be needing a man. I'm not a gold digger like that's your girlfriend. Mama said it. She doesn't want to see her here ever again. You think you can stop me from being with the woman I love? You are joking. Oh, I see. You want to go against me because of that girl? What does she have to offer? She's going to render you broke. It's my money and not yours. Stay out of my life. You don't have a choice because you see that woman just sent out. She's going to be Mrs. Richard soon. There's absolutely nothing both of you can do about it. I have respected both of you enough because I love you both. Cook for you in peace. Says a woman who hasn't taught her own daughter how to cook. Richard, am I the one you're talking to like that? Mom, leave him, let him go. All we have to do is make sure that that girl don't step her foot into this house. Just relax and watch me. You know me now. That girl. Hmm. That girl. Uh -uh, why are you back so early? This wasn't what I planned. What is going on? What wasn't what you planned? <laughs> why are you crying? What happened? Talk to me. You wouldn't believe the embarrassment I received. Embarrassment, K. Wasn't it Richard's house you went? Where else did I go? I'm telling you that these people embarrassed me. When we got there, Richard went in to get something. And before he came back, his mother started asking me questions. Though. Questions like, where am I from? What does my parent do? And she even went ahead to ask me what my history with men was. Eh? Why does she need such information? I was equally surprised, but I just answered her truthfully. Because I didn't want her to feel like I was hiding something. And that was that embarrassing. What she and that her daughter did totally was out of it. I thought it was abnormal when she asked me if I could cook. Because why would she ask that? I'm not coming for a chef's position. These people actually arranged foodstuffs in the kitchen and asked me to go cook something for them. What? That's stupid. Who does that? I was in awe. I just simply and politely objected. And these people went ahead to insult me. Richard said I can't cook but if I was giving money I would collect. Did she think you were a beggar or what? To think that that woman is educated and she still behaves like that. What did Richard say? He came out really late. Seems like he gave them time to insult me before he came out. No, nah. Richard will never do such thing. To be honest, I don't think I and Richard have a chance together. Not after what his mother just showcased in my presence. You don't have to judge Richard with that. He's a nice guy. And I'm a nice girl too. Too long to start a drama with a family I'm just entering. I have to think about this relationship scene. I just feel bad for Richard for having such a horrible family. I've been admiring this house since we moved in two days ago. I just can't believe that in less than two months, we've been in Lagos. We've gotten a place like this. It's God's grace, my guy. It's not everybody that's meant to stay in one place for a long time. God has a plan for us that he's even yet to finalize. I believe, my bro, and our mother's prayers are working for us. Indeed, may God protect them. They must eat the fruits of their labors. Hey Amen. No. How did your discussion with your mom go about the girl? Oh, I've discussed everything with her. She's a final year student in this Lagos. Ha! In this Lagos, don't you think it's risky? How is this risky? The school is far from here, and I hear she's a home person. She's the kind of girl that doesn't even like going out. Well, it's alright. So when is she graduating? She's graduating soon. Maybe later this year or even next. Because she just resumed her second semester in her final year. So she has one more semester left and still have NYC. That's enough time for you to even save enough before you both meet. Because she still have the impression that you're abroad. Exactly. I'll have to get married to her soon. And I will tell my mom that she'll meet me abroad after her graduation. Then when the time comes, I'll give them an excuse that I'm now in Nigeria. Sharp plans. Sounds like it's finalized. Yes, so. Let me just know I have a wife. I'm happy for you. Babe, 
Open the door. We have to talk. We have to talk? About what exactly? Babe, please. You have refused to pick up my calls. Why should I pick up your calls? What is it that we need to talk about? Can I at least come inside? Fine. What do you want to talk about? I'm really sorry. I didn't mean to hurt you like that. I'm sorry. You didn't hurt me at all. You are not your family. But it was my fault. If I had done that, you were going to be like that. I wouldn't have taken you there. It's not your fault, Richard. It's my fault. Please forgive them and forgive me. I hold nothing against you or them. I just think this relationship won't work like we planned. What do you mean? I have no place in your life. If your family won't accept me, then I don't know what to do. Please, babe, don't say that. Just give them time and I'll talk to them. But they are your family. If you go against them to be with me, it's either they hold grudges against me or they'll cut ties with you. I don't want that to happen. So let's just go back to being friends. And besides, you are with me, not them. No, I can't go back to being your friend because I love you. And I'll do everything to make my family accept that it's you I want to spend the rest of my life with. What do you mean spend the rest of your life with? I love you, Kate. I don't want anything to come between us. Please marry me. I want to marry you, but how do I even say yes when your family doesn't even like me? I promise you, I'll sort things out with them. Okay then, I'll marry you. Thank you so much for not turning me down despite everything. I would say yes to you anytime. Just sort things out with your family. Babe, why were you crying on the phone? You came really early. Why won't I? I had to dish my first date with that guy just to come here because you were crying on the phone. Oh no, you can go for the date first. I was getting ready because it's in 30 minutes time, but how can I go on a date knowing fully well that you're not okay? I was faking the tears. You were what? Nah, 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 don't play with me. I was faking the tears, it's not real. Oh God, I thought you and Richard broke up or something. What's wrong with you? Why would you pull out something like that? I was so scared. I'm sorry, don't mind me. Wait, what's that shining object in your finger? That's the good news. I was crying so you can rush here ASAP. Richard proposed. What? Oh my God, I thought you went in talking terms. He came here to apologize and the next thing is proposing. Oh my goodness, you should have just told me over the phone. I would be happy driving you here. You need to see how I was driving like a mad woman. I'm sorry, bestie. I just wanted to surprise you. Oh my God, I'm so happy for you. Congratulations, my girl. Thank you. The thing is, I'm just still worried about his family accepting me. Leave that for Richard. He'll surely settle everything with his family. You just have to enjoy the moment and let's start wedding planning. Not yet. I have to wait for the king's order before I start planning the wedding. Whatever. I'm just happy you've been upgraded from a girlfriend to a fiancé girl. You are lucky. I know, right? I'm so excited. But now that you've heard the news, you have to go for your dates. I don't even feel like going again. We should go out to celebrate. We will, but only when you are back from the dates. Okay, fine. But you have to lend me one of your red heels because I left the house in such a hurry. Check my wardrobe now. Just do fast and go already. Yes, madam. I've heard you. I think we'll be going on strike soon. So I heard. But I doubt if that's true. It's better be true. I just want to relax a bit. I feel like you know one graduate at all. This one you are praying for strike. Strike or not, we'll still graduate. Or don't you get tired of this whole class thing? Do I even care? I don't care about going to class or anything. I just want to graduate. Anyways, I'd like to go to your village once more. What's wrong with you? Are you sure you have not met one guy in that village that is giving you the impression that the village is fun? How about now? Check me out. Me? Joy? Go after a village guy. You don't rate me at all. Whatever. Hey, mom. I just want to party, get high and mom, live life. And I can't do all of that in the Look village. Here. My mom is a Hi. Christian, a good one at that. For the first time in months, we went to church. But it was fun though. Fun my foot. I beg. There is a party tonight though. There is this guy I want to introduce you to. He's from Malaysia. And if you do him well, he go do you well. Scratch my back and scratch your back. She said cook something with the stuff you find in the kitchen. I need money in this period though. Now find a year with this. Exactly. I have to block all seven courses. Of course, minus Mr. Douglas. You see, but if she gives you money, you collect. Man. 
He's the only lecturer. Who is going to write for me? Put in cash on kind. I wonder how he has been able to resist me and all the fine fine girls in the department. I believe that man. We have to study for his exams, and that's it. You are right too, because I'm tired of him. Oh, you're here. Please serve me food. Eh, hey, bro, there's no food though. Mom didn't cook Why anything she cook for us. Isn't hey, she here to be part of us? Ah, Richard, what's this now? You know what happened the last time I tried to cook for you? And you're not ashamed. As big as you are, you can't cook. Aren't you embarrassed? Why should I be embarrassed? Who says cooking defines a woman? Do you know why I'm so pleased? It's the fact that mom is actually listening to someone as empty brain as you. But can you do for a man if he decides to marry you? You think marriage is anything to do with social stuff or wealth? It will only be a liability. A liability? Just because I don't know how to cook. But that you're very funny. It's funny to you because you lack sense and maturity. I just can't believe mom now follows your orders and believe your lies and cooked up stories about Kate. Oh, all these sermons because of her. Bro, why can't you see that she doesn't belong here? She's just too poor and I don't want her here. We were happy together. She'll separate our happy family if you don't let her go. Let's just go back to being best friends. You know we were all we used to have. You didn't think about dating or marriage then. So why now? I'm almost 29. I'm still your friend. But it's time for me to get a woman to call mine. And you too should get a man. No, Richard. I know we can't marry each other, but I really wish we could. What? Are you sick? I'm not sick. If we could marry each other, then we wouldn't have to bring a stranger into our happy family. You are crazy. Can you get yourself sick? Don't shut up already. Fine. I'll shut up. Just know that you would never leave me and replace me with another woman. What's wrong with this girl? Is she even well? This is really funny. If anything happens to that woman, that man would answer to the whole community. You need to see how much wounds she sustained from his eating and beating. I can't believe a man would actually beat his wife because of another woman. Eh? Your wife, who has been with you for years and has kids for you. Exactly. Because he has completely seen that the woman is an obedient wife. He decided to bring his side chick into their matrimonial home. I just pray nothing happens to her. She has to leave their marriage as soon as she's well. And for her children's sake at least. I hate she's an orphan. Where will she go? She's just a beautiful, hard-working woman. I really feel for her. In my whole 20 years of marriage, before I lost my husband, he has never for once raised his hands to hit me. Yes, we have arguments, but he would never hit me. Same as Mayo. I wonder where all these men of this generation got their violence from. Beating your wife to the point that she's hospitalized. Hell no! That's why I would rather entrust my daughter with a son like yours. Desmond will never hit a woman. I trained him really well and he grew up in a wonderful environment where violence isn't tolerated. I know of that. I even heard how uh, he beat up a guy who hit his girlfriend. Yes, so he doesn't take it lightly with anyone who hits a woman. That is how it's supposed to be. Very quick men are reaching that beast on a woman when they can't even fight a man. <laughs> exactly, oh my sister. I came to your house, but your neighbor said you weren't around. Are you not stalking me? Stalking you? Why would I do that? I just wanted to visit you. Why? Because you were bored? Wait, don't you have any other things to do? Like go to parties, go on vacations and the likes? Because you're always bored. Who would I go with? I only have you as a friend and you're always with Tiara. Then you can start by liking her and making her like you. Because she's a queen or what? Anyways, did you hear of the forthcoming strike? I heard it too. I'm so happy and I'm praying it's true. Why? Do you have a plan? Of course. I'll stay at my brother's place and make sure he doesn't bring that girl in. What girl? His girlfriend, of course. Recently, she came to his house for the first time. And I made sure my mom made her go and never come back. What? How? Well, my mom kinda asked her to cook for us on her first visit. We knew it was stupid and we also knew she would say no. But we asked her anyways. You all start to cook? Why is she just meeting your family? And she did? <laughs> she didn't, of course. And that was a perfect opportunity to send her out. Your mom did that with you? That was really sick. I know, right? I just want her out of our lives. My family doesn't need her. So you don't want your brother to get married? You won't marry your brother? If it wasn't a sin, I would have married him. I just can't let another woman have him. He's so fragile and soft. He has been my best friend since forever, and I don't want him to stop being that. 
You're a psycho. Gosh, are you sure you're not taking hard drugs? No, I'm not. It's not bad to admire my brother, is it? Ah, I don't have anything to say to that though. Come and drop me home, it's getting dark. Yes, madam. Let's go. My son, I am happy to hear from you. This one you're calling me by this time of the night. I just want to make sure that you're alright. Of course, I'm doing just fine. How's work and everything over there? We are doing fine. By God's grace, everything is working out fine. We thank God. Hey, Mama, there's something I want to discuss with you. What is it, my son? Hope all is well. Yes, all is well, Mama. I want to marry Tiara. Eh? Did I hear you right? Yes. I don't know if she will accept to marry me, judging from the fact that we haven't met before and she's still schooling. Why won't she want to marry you? Provided you take care of her and take her abroad to meet you. Of course, Mama. She will be coming here to meet me as soon as she graduates from school. I will get her a job here and also we will do our white wedding here. I just want her to accept so I can pay her bright price. Why not? Don't worry, my son. It's a good thing. I will discuss it with her mother. Okay, Mama. Let me know when you discuss it. I will call you back in two days. Okay, my son. You have done well. Take care of yourself. Bye, Mama. Hey, so finally this is coming to reality. Who do you always go to? Have you slayed dating someone without my knowledge? Me? Date someone? I went out with Rachel. That one? Yeah, that one. And I must confess, that guy is a psychopath. And a psychopath? Why are you still her friend? I just like her gist. She's something else. Can you believe this girl is in love with her brother? <laughs> what? It's not funny, you. This girl is literally obsessed with her brother. Why would you say that? Obsession isn't love, though. How do you call a girl that doesn't want her brother to date or even marry anyone? She doesn't want her brother to fall for any woman, except her. In fact, she said she would marry her brother if it wasn't a sin. Is she normal? You know those algebra people, now? Nah? They grew up as each other's best friend. So now that the guy wants to get serious with his life, she's jealous and doesn't want any woman to come in between her and her brother. Something isn't right with her. And worst part is, her mom is supporting her to chase away the brother's girlfriend. What sort of family is that? Maybe there is something the mother isn't saying. If she's in support of everything Rachel is doing, then I think she likes Rachel more than her brother or something. Nah, I doubt that, but who cares? It's a family drama. My dear sister, I bring you good news. Good news? Tell me about it. You have to talk to your daughter about my son. Ah, ah. Talk to my daughter about your son. Of course she already knows about him. That's not what I mean. Like, talk to her about marriage with my son. Wait, I don't understand. My son called last night and made his intentions known. He's asking for your daughter's hands in marriage. Don't joke with something like this, Felicia. Do I look like I'm joking? He called me himself saying he would love to marry your daughter. Oh, whoa. hey, God be praised. I'm so happy about this news. And of course, Tara would love to marry him. He promised to take her abroad after her graduation and get her a decent job. That has been my prayer for my daughter. Finally, our children are going to be married, living together in Canada. I was surprised when he called me and asked that I talked to you about his proposal. I made sure to ask him if he's serious and he said yes, that he's going to take good care of your daughter. Eh, hey, what am I waiting for? I will call her later on and tell her about this amazing news. Our prayers have been answered. Your daughter, my daughter-in-law, what more can we ask for? That's exactly my joy. I'm filled with so much happiness, my sister. Ah, ah, such a good news. Pass the message across to her. And when you do, let me know. So I can tell my son about it. Then you can start making preparations. Of course. I am ever ready. I will bring you good news soon. I'll be waiting, my dear. I haven't seen much of Richard these days. I don't know what he's up to. Maybe he's sad over his breakup. What breakup? Do you think that little stuff we put can break them up? Mom, which lady in her rightful senses would still want to date a guy whose family doesn't accept her? Abiyo, I'm very sure that that girl will not leave Richard so easily. Oh, she wouldn't. Why would she? Richard, you're here. Surprised to see me? Mom, I'm so disappointed in you. Look at you, sitting down here discussing with your 24-year-old daughter on how to make sure my own fiancé leaves me. What do you mean fiancé? Oh, you are shocked. Or you fed because... 
You did that rubbish that day. She would just broke up with me. Well, news flash. She's my fiance now. Two days after you did that rubbish, I asked her to marry me and she said yes. Never. That won't happen. You won't marry that girl, Richard. At what now? If I slap you, if I slap you, I swear your face will hurt so bad. So you disobeyed my orders and went ahead to ask her to marry you and that foolish girl said yes. Don't push your luck. Very soon, she will be my wife. I don't want to send both of you out because you are my family. So you have to know your limits and boundaries in this house. I know that she's my choice. Over my dead body should I watch you go against me? You think you have power? My husband made you who you are today. You mean my father? That didn't defend me. He saw that I was competent and he willed his company to me. So don't feel like he made me. He was doing fine before he decided that I would be a better person to take over his company. He wouldn't have done that if I wasn't incompetent. You ungrateful bastard, how dare you? I should leave this place. How dare you? You won't marry that girl. That's fine now. Mom, chill. Let them be. I'll make sure I frustrate that girl. Just sit and let her come into this. Richard is playing with fire. Look at this boy. For three whole days, you didn't come to my house. I'm sorry, Jerry. I wanted to give you some time to breathe. And I miss your company. How have you been? You are adding weight though. What are you enjoying that I still don't know about? Abba, enjoying. I've been living as usual and I don't know where you did see the weight. Oh, please. Hey, uh -huh. you didn't just me about how your first date with your colleague went. It wasn't bad at all. The guy is a total gentleman, but I don't know. Are you sure you are okay? I am. I'm not just good with the office romance thing, plus I'm not into this guy because I'm seeing someone else. I've told you before, you are still single. Besides, he hasn't asked you to marry him. Just go on a date. It's harmless. Because you are engaged now, you feel I'm single. I don't blame you. You should blame that boyfriend of yours who has refused to pop the big question. He will. Let me just give him time. Don't get me wrong, my colleague is a great guy, but I just don't want to lead him on. Shebi was the one who asked you for four dates. Why not go for the four and then decide after that? I have had you, but on one condition. Uh-uh. You won't condition me for dates where you go enjoy. Before I go, I don't have stuff to be wearing today, so why don't you get me clothes? Our next date is a movie date, so surprise me with a casual outfit. That will not be problem. As far as say you go go for the date, I go buy you the outfit. Nice doing business with you. You and who they do business? I beg shift. <laughs> why is my mom calling me now? Hello, mama? Sarah, why have you used to pick my calls? Mama was charging my phone and I wasn't with it. I just saw the phone ringing now. Are you sure? Or you are purposely avoiding my calls? Why would I want to avoid your calls? It's good to hear from you. Keep your phone near you next time. So you take my calls. It is not as if you call me on your own. I've heard you, Mama. How are you? My dear, I'm overjoyed. I'm happy. What is it? Did something good happen? Yes, my dear. Something great has happened. But my Desmond's son has made his, his intentions know. What intentions are you talking about? Desmond, the rich guy that Steve has brought wants to marry you. He wants to marry me? Yes, so. And he will get you a job abroad. So immediately you are done with your studies. You will be going to abroad to meet him. And there you will also do your white wedding. For real, Mama. He will get me a job and we will be wedding in Canada. I am telling you. Aren't you excited? It's a good news. But Mama, can I at least have time to think about it? What is there to think about, eh? This is an opportunity. How many people of our class will get this chance to go abroad? Where they abroad? And also work there. There is nothing to think about. Mama, this is marriage we are talking about. I need to think about it. And besides, I don't know this guy. This one is a cute guy. Very handsome and hardworking. He doesn't need a woman, no. I watched how he beat up a man because he slapped his girlfriend. He is a graduate and he is responsible. You are sure you are not praising him because of the benefits? No. I can't allow my only daughter fall into the wrong hands. Trust me. Okay, mama. Just give me the night to think about it. Call me tomorrow for the feedback. I am very sure it will be a positive answer. I've had you. I'll call you tomorrow. Okay, I'll be waiting. Take care. Bye, mom. Madam, I've been knocking and you are in here. You were? I didn't even hear you knock. Why would you hear me? I even thought you weren't around. 
You know I don't go anywhere during the day. I'm always indoors. What then were you thinking about? I really hear me knock almost five times. My dear, my mother called. And uh, Mama, how is she? She's doing okay. She called me for a reason and I've been thinking about it. What is it? She told me that her friend's son is asking for my hand in marriage. Her friend's son? How? The guy that stays in Canada, apparently, he wants to marry me traditionally and bring me abroad to meet him. He said we'll be doing our wedding there and also I'll get a job too. Wow, is that what you're thinking about? Wasn't I supposed to think about it? My dear, any opportunity I get to leave this country, I swear, I will die with without thinking. Talk of seeing a man that's rich and is ready to marry me from Nigeria. Babe, what are you thinking of? It's just that I don't know this guy. Don't you think we should go on dates and all of that before marriage? Madam, well done. Dates? The guys you've been going on dates with here, why haven't they married you? And besides, this guy cannot bring you abroad without marrying. You know Nigerian girls now, they take them abroad, they will dump you and follow a rich white man. And besides, this guy won't even know your past. It's like a whole new beginning for you. You are right. I'm beginning to enjoy the whole thing. You better call your mom and tell her you've agreed to marry him before he looks for another girl in the village. And I might just go to the village and tell his mom that I am interested. You are mad. I beg, get out. You won't take my shine. Should you say you don't want now? Make I help you. What are friends for? Friends don't reach that side. I beg. I'm just coming from the kitchen. There's no food. And what do you want me to do about that? I saw someone cooking before I left the house. Well, she cooked for just the both of us. What? She cooked for the both of you without adding mine? Oh, you want food? No rich bro, go get yourself food from one of these restaurants or you bring your girlfriend or rather fiancé in to come cook for you. Don't you dare talk to me in that manner. Are you sick? You lost the respect I had for you the very moment you disobeyed your own mother because of a woman. Then it's about time that you pack your things and get out of my house. You are the problem you are having and I'm very sure talk to mom into everything she's doing. Oh, I'm now the problem. What happened to you? I thought we used to promise each other not to allow any woman come between us. You are my sister Rachel. Know your place and let me marry someone that will bear me children. What do you need them for? I'm really so disappointed in you. I think it's about time you leave my house and go back to yours. Or better still, that house has been locked. Why don't you go there and leave? Because I'm tired. You're sending me and mom out of your house. Not talking about mom. I'm talking to you. Leave my house and go cure your madness elsewhere. You can't send me out of your house. This is my brother's house and I am not going anywhere. Except you want to push me out or send me out with mom. I don't have time battling words with you. I'll go out and eat. It's either you leave my house in peace or I'll leave the house for you and mom. Good then, since you decided to divide this family because of that witch. Are you okay? Who are you calling witch? If there's any witch here, it has to be you. We will see. Just know that you won't marry that gold digger. Let's see who's going to stop me. I will stop you. I promise you. I hate that girl so much for coming in between you and I. I will deal with her. My dear, this work is stressful. I know our work can be. You should rest more often. Rest? Rest is not on my timetable now. Richard has asked that I start the wedding planning. Uh uh, this guy isn't joking, though. Has he been able to talk to his mom and sister? That's what we haven't discussed, but I think so. You have to be sure. Wedding planning should be done after the mother gives her blessing. Exactly, but he doesn't want to wait at all. Kate, it's your wedding to talk to him because marriage isn't something you just enter. He has to talk to his family. You will be staying in the same house, remember? And I wouldn't want anything to come between you and your happy marriage. You know you are right. I will have to talk to him. I'm so scared to even go to my man's house. He has been the one coming here all the while. You see, you have to talk to him, please. How can you have a man and you've never visited him before? And the first time you did, it was a complete disaster and you are talking about wedding plans. I'll talk to him for sure. Thank you so much for being here for me. What could I have done without you? Absolutely nothing. <laughs> I beg, let me hear what. Make sure you don't forget to talk to him. Sure. Let me treat you to dinner. There's this seafood restaurant that just opened. Let's try it out. As long as you are the one paying. You like fritting, eh? I beg, let's go. Eh, I accept. I like fritting. Who likes to pay?
Yes, my son. I have talked with her mother. She told me that her daughter has given her the green light. So she accepted. She's such a darling. She trusts her mother's judgment, just like you trust mine. But be cool. Make sure you take very good care of her. I don't want to hear any complaints. So. Don't you trust me, mama? I would never treat a woman badly or make her lack. I trust you, my son. So what's next now? You have to take the list of items for the bride price for my mother. Calculate how much it will cost and get back to me. How soon would you want it to be? I want everything done in two weeks or even less. That's really soon. Oh. You are really serious with this thing. Of course, mama. I am. Oh. All right. I will get back to you definitely. Just call me every day to find out what and what we've talked about. Okay, mama. Take care. Felicia, I've been trying to reach you on phone. My friend, I was on a call with my son. Oh, wonderful. What is the next step? He said he would like to know the amount it will cost for her bride price. So what you have to do is to go collect the bride price list from your husband's brothers and also let the elders in her family know that she'll be getting married. And also, I will go tell my son's uncles we need to calculate how much it will cost for all the items in the list and send it to him. He is really taking these things faster than I thought. It's a good thing. Of course, we shouldn't waste any more time. Let them just get married once and for all. That's very important. I will go now to make sure that I get the list from my uncle. Oh, perfect then. Please let me know as soon as possible. Of course. My guy, the rate at which I get money these days baffles me. I keep wondering. I was even going to say the same thing. Any little thing I do gives me money. Looks like God's grace is really upon us. That's why this is a perfect opportunity for you to start a family. Bible says, he that finds a wife, finds a good thing. Of course. Very soon, I'll be paying for my fiancé's bride price. I just need a little more money to get myself together. I would have supported you, but you know my marriage to Tiara is coming up soon. That's true. How far have you gone with the preparation? I asked my mother to call it bright price list already very good let someone just get married and start life at least you're already comfortable you have a car a roof over your head and a good business you can see that again my brother but i won't still stop looking for a decent job exactly i know very soon we would get a decent job amen my brother amen yes so this trip wasn't needed at all I think a lot of person graduates now why is it because of your canada boyfriend or should I say fiancé? You are in a hurry to go meet him. It's not even the case, I beg. Be like, you like this school, oh. Six old years in the university, how about now? It's because of all those strike things now. Five years course, don't want six. This country, eh, I can't wait to. My mom is calling me. Eh, pick now. Hello, mama. Good evening, ma. Good evening, my dear. How are you doing? I'm fine. You haven't called me for a week now. What happened? I tried reaching you. It's always busy. My dear, I have been busy running around. Desmond has asked for a pride price list since two weeks ago, and we have been trying to buy all the things in the list. He and his mother has been busy. Wait, though, mama. You are telling me that Desmond already sent money for all these stuffs? Yes, yeah, so he seems to be a rich man already. Even when he told him everything we needed was about 300000 he went ahead to double the amount. This is serious. It was so quick. Yes, yeah, so we are waiting for you to come home so that you can tell us the particular day you want your bride price to be paid. When do you want me to come home? As soon as tomorrow where everything is set including your clothes all you have to do is come and see the stylist so she can make the style of your choice this is serious just like that i'll be married is it that easy my dear it's easy when there is money come home soon let's finalize everything okay mama i'll come home tomorrow what is it babe my marriage preparation has been finalized though ah this women are serious so so soon you will be traditionally married wow i wish it was me and i know your wedding abroad is going to be big wow my dear go and pack up we are leaving for the village tomorrow this is really exciting let me go pack up this isn't a dream oh babe i have talked about this it's been three whole weeks we can't push through with the wedding preparations if you don't talk to your parents about this whole thing. So you seriously want to get married without them? I can't continue to wait for them to accept the woman I love. If they love me, they should love you. We can't get married if your family is not in support. Not even one person is in support from your end. Okay, fine. Let's do this this way. How about you moving? Why? You mean moving with you? Yes, that way. They will get to see you every day. And before you know it, they will get used to you being around. I don't think that's a good idea, Richard. I can't completely move in with you. How about you come on weekends? You come on Friday after work and leave on Sunday evening. 
or go to work on Monday from my place, please. I need to think about it. I honestly have to. Fine, you can think about it. I'm really tired waiting for this long. All my plans are on hold because of this thing. Issue. What would you have me do? Suffer in my marriage? Of course, you won't suffer. I'll protect you. You can't protect me from your family, Richard. I don't want that kind of marriage where I'll be treated less when my husband is not around. I can't. Once we are married, don't be staying at my place. So, you have nothing to be afraid about. It's all the same thing. Let's just sort it out now that we can. Madam, how was it? We are still not making any progress at all. I can't believe you both have been on this same issue for three whole weeks. I don't know what to say anymore. If he's afraid to talk to his family or if he has tried. He definitely is trying to talk to them. I don't really know why they are like that. He made a suggestion though. What suggestion? Me coming to his place more often like the weekends. He believed they would get used to me if they see my face more often. That's true. That's true. What did you say? I told him I would think about it. At this point, I don't know what is wrong or right. Just take things easy or you are giving up already. Giving up? I love Richard and his family drama isn't going to be the reason I will call everything off. Except he does so himself. That's my girl. Just stand by him. Everything will be fine. Trust me. I know it will. How did your day go? As usual, hope you don't mind if I pass the night here. It's fine. Have you and your boyfriend talked lately? I beg. Forget that one. If I don't call him, he won't call. So I have this decided not to call. That's the spirit. Who does he think he is? I wonder how he should be last in case he's feeling important. If I was told about how Uber business in Lagos pays, I won't believe. It's a big place now, nah, and the transportation cost is not easy. I'm telling you, I was thinking maybe you should save up and get a car. I'll borrow you some money if you want. This Uber business is the real deal. I have been thinking about that, but I think it's the real deal. I won't lie to you now. If I have the chance, I will mount like 10 taxis in the street of Lagos. That's cool cash. Guy, money good though. There is plan. You just want to finalize it. We'll get there. Five full months in this Lagos and we have gone this far. It's all God's work. Uh -huh. How is your marriage preparation going? I've settled all the bills. My cousin Bridges is representing me. I'm really excited. Do you have the contact of your wife to be? Once she gets to the village, she'll get mine and she'll call me with her number. Oh nice. Married man in the making. I'm so happy for you. Thank you. After the marriage, what next? She'll go back to school. We'll be talking on phone and before she graduates i'll tell her i'm in lagos i'll pretend like i was repatriated to lagos to hustle from canada and i've decided to stay in lagos to hustle of course you know by then i would have gotten myself a better job or better still i would have gotten another car to add up to my Uba business she won't meet me broke you're very smart my guy don't you trust me i have plans for everything exactly Your cousin's wedding is this Saturday. Yeah, I'm fully ready for it. You are one of our shabby girls, Abby. Yes, so mom, you need to see the beautiful style my stylist came up with. I trust you. You're always ready to shut down other people's weddings. Have you forgotten you both are age mates and now she's getting married? And who said I won't get married? I'm just waiting for the right time. That's all. Do you even have a boyfriend? Talk more of marriage. What exactly is your problem? And I told you, mom, don't pressure me. I'm not in a hurry to jump into anything. It's pointless talking to you because she never listened not for a conversation like this mom i don't need a man to be a woman i'm still a student anyways i haven't been seeing much of your brother he's been avoiding us because we refused to allow him marry that girl that's his strategy of making us accept i feel this whole thing is breaking our family more i just don't know mom don't tell me you're already falling for this do you even like your brother at all because if you do you'll be concerned that he's withdrawing from us lately he's fine mom just leave him he'll come around i still keep wondering why can't we just accept that girl she seems like richard's choice mom is this you talking don't tell me you're not thinking of supporting their union what's wrong with me supporting my son i see i'm the paranoid one in this house go ahead and do whatever you want but don't say i didn't tell you what's wrong with this girl i was trying to reach you it's always not connecting are you okay you sound down I just feel bad. I don't know what's wrong. Are you around? Let's hang out. Now, I drowned with Tiara. Oh, that's bad. Maybe when you're back. You can talk to me. I'm here for you. Do you think I'm doing the wrong thing? Trying to stop my brother from marrying that girl? I don't think you are. You're just protecting your brother. And that's because you love him. But you should let him make life decisions like this. Support him instead of trying to stop him. 
But I don't like that girl. I can't even pretend I do. You don't have to like her. Just give her a chance with your brother. Don't try to come in between them. Give them space if need be. I really feel frustrated about the whole thing. My mom is already considering giving them her blessings and it made me feel like I was a Jezebel all along. You are not a Jezebel. Just be happy for your brother and let him pick his choice of a wife for himself. It's alright. I'll think it through. Thank you. It's alright. Just take care of yourself and don't feel down. Sure. Where did you travel to this time around? We are at a village. I told you I like it here. Good for you. Take care, okay? Sure. Bye. You are here. I was thinking you are in the room. Yeah. I was talking on the phone with Rachel. The network is better here. What does she want? She's just down. She's overthinking about her brother's marriage with his fiancée. How is that her business? I thought she has been objecting the whole thing now. No, her mother wants to just give her blessings. And she's feeling like she's the only one objecting. Oh, it's now she knows that she's a psycho. I beg, Jerry. I just talked with my stylist. She was the one who went to buy the material. I was picking styles. Babe, the material was expensive. That's what happens when you marry a rich man now. Nah. No management here. I was really impressed with the quality of the material. Who paid that? He said the money was transferred to her last week by my fiance. That guy get doing so. I'm surprised he could still send money with his Nigeria account. Of course now. Nah. Many people do that. When you travel abroad, you can still use your bank and even your number. That's good. I'm just so excited. My dear, this is the sweetest feeling ever. I'm happy for you. You're welcome, babe. Feel at home. Thank you. Just be yourself and relax. I'm here for you. Don't worry about me, babe. I'm alright. What's going on here? Good afternoon, ma. Hold it there. What are you doing here? Mom, please, stop this. She's my wife to me and she has every right to be here. You're now bringing strangers without telling me. She's not a stranger. I thought I told you this girl that I don't want to see you in my house ever again. Mom, that's enough. And why is there a luggage? She's here to stay for the weekend and we all should respect ourselves and give her peace in this house. Take this girl on her belongings and get the hell out of here. How dare you? This is my house, Mom. You can't make decisions here. Come, babe, let's go in. Sure. Eh? It has gotten to this extent, Richard. She's not staying in this house. Never. We thank her for the successful ceremony. Now I have a daughter-in-law. What more can I ask for? Not, you know. I am not a proud mother. My mom, don't cook in. I prepared a goosey soup and pounded yam. My son has chosen a good wife. You can say that again, mama. I'll be going to spend the night at your place. Why Joy stays here with my mom? Why not come with her? She's your friend. Or better still, we can all spend the night at my place. That sounds like a plan. What am I missing? We are all spending the night at my mom-in-law's place. Oh, wow. I thought you now have two beautiful mothers. My dear, same way I now have a son. Joy, come, let's pack a few things. Please, hand one of my rappers for me in your bag and a top. Okay, mama. Hey mom, I'm back. Where have you been? I only asked you to get me vegetables and you went for two hours. I had to drive far to get fresh ones. The ones I saw at the store nearby wasn't green and fresh. It's alright, that's not the most important thing. What is it mom? Did something happen? If what happened this afternoon. What happened mom? Talk to me. Richard brought that girl into this house. In fact, he brought her into... What? To stay where? How could I possibly describe the luggage she brought? I asked him why she was with the luggage and he said she's here to spend the weekend with him. What? What's wrong with him? Who is that girl? Kate! Kate! They went out to God knows where. Richard now brings in that girl without informing Without informing us? She must leave this house. What after he made sure that she never comes back? I told you that little stunt we pulled earlier the other day won't say I will do everything in my power to see that this union does not work. Richard has always asked for my opinion. If I tell him a woman isn't good enough for him, he would listen to me. But why now? What has that witch done to my brother? I wonder, Richard doesn't fight over women, most especially not his family. I will find out what that girl has done, I will get to- She won't get her chances in this house. Never! To think I wanted to consider giving them a chance. My girl, how are you doing? I am fine, I'm preparing for the last date with that guy. That guy? Don't tell me you still haven't developed feelings for him. Don't get me wrong, he's a great guy, a very selfless and handsome young man, but I'm not single. 
my dear i consider you single what are you talking about when last did you hear from your so-called boyfriend about four days ago and that was because you called him right he's busy he has this job contract he's working on that doesn't stop him from checking on you if you mean a lot to him then he would reach out to you why can't you see that this guy has moved on i can't just leave him kid then move on i'm telling you to leave him just be free with yourself in fact pretend like you're single well i'll think about that how are you doing? Have you arrived at Richard? Yes, but we went out to get a few stuffs for me. Alright, be careful there. Don't eat or drink anything that you don't cook or open, at least until you are sure of things. Of course, ma. Be good, okay? I will. Take care of yourself. You too, dear. Girl, I now suddenly miss the village. Why won't you miss the village? You would now. Not after that huge traditional marriage you just had last week. I didn't even believe that the wedding would be that big. Same year. Planning that in a short while. Bravo to your husband. And I wonder what my wedding abroad would be like. Congratulations, my dear. Have you heard from your husband? Yes. We talk on calls as often as we can these days. He's such a great man. Oh, that's sweet. Does he have any friend that is single? Oh, please. Yeah, we have a party to attend this weekend. It's going to be a blast. Terry invited me and he asked that I come with a friend. Artis, are you just going for fun or you're running parole? Which fun? Have you ever gone to a party for fun? We go there, do what we have to do and collect our cash. Habba, you're a married woman now. You should take it easy. Married to a man who isn't here at the moment. Why did you think I married him? Because I needed the freedom until at least I'm done with school. I need money, yo. I don't want to be a liability. You're supposed to be a faithful wife, even if your husband isn't here. And is my husband faithful? Oh, please. I don't hear you. Shall be careful. And where do you think you're going? Hi. Hi, kill you there. Who are you telling hi? Do I look like your friend? I know we are not friends, but it's not bad to say hi to an enemy. Thunder from above will fire you. What are you doing here? What does it look like I'm doing here? Oh, I'm here to wash your dishes and do your dirty laundry. Oh, you think I'm here for jokes? You thought by now. I thought by now you must have respected yourself and end whatever rubbish you have with my brother. But I can see that you will do anything for the money. Why should I break up with him? Look, I know you don't like me, but please just allow I and your brother be together. You're hurting his feelings. Is something wrong with you? Do you think I'm playing with you? Go in there and pack your things this minute. You slapped me? No, I helped you clean your face. Who slapped you, babe? Did she put her hands on you? It's okay, babe. Let's just go. Wait, she hit you? Rachel, are you mad? Did you just hit my fiance? Yes, I did. You want to hit me back? Let her leave this house. If there's anyone that should leave, it should be you. Babe, come inside with me. You see this house? I am not going anywhere. This is my brother's house. And I can tell her to leave if I want. Stupid girl. Married man. You are now a man. I can't even wait until I meet my wife. We've been talking on phone and I can't help but admire her cute, tiny voice. I go love you. Oh. Congratulations, my man. Thank you. You're next to. I'm already motivated by you and I'm doing everything in my power to get married to my fiancé before next month runs out. Great. My friend said we'll be celebrating my marriage this weekend and I'm especially inviting you. Eh? For where? A club? No, no. It's just a small get-together thing. But he's the one planning the whole thing. It's been a while I had fun, I won't lie. Me too. I'm ready to have good fun before I finally enter this marital journey. <laughs> <laughs> it won't be easy, but it's one of the best things that could happen to a man. You're my brother, so this weekend I'll have as much fun as I can. Solidly behind you, my man. It pains me that I wasn't around for my own wedding, but I can't just let my people know that I've been in Nigeria or give them the impression that I'm back, because in less than six months that I've traveled. It's okay if you didn't attend your own wedding. It's not a big deal. Besides, you paid fully for everything. Yeah, that's true. I should focus on what's important. Which is working hard and getting enough money. Exactly. Mom, welcome home. Thank God that you're back. What happened? It's your son, no? He has ganged up with his fiancé and they've been beating me and raining curses at me. What? Why? What's their reason? What are you asking me? Is that what you're asking me? Richard, Richard. Why are you screaming my name? Bring that your witch out and send out of this house. Why should I? This is my house. You don't want her here. Then leave so you don't see her. You're sending us your family out of the house. 
Because of that thing? Yeah, don't make me lose my temper. Go in and tell that girl to leave this. You can't make orders in my house. See, she has bewitched you. You now gang up with that girl to beat up your own sister. That's what she told you. I see. This for those that this lady brass. You both shouldn't bother me. I'm busy. Didn't both of you attack me? Better go and bring that girl out. Leave him, let him go. As long as I'm here, I won't watch that girl destroy my soul. She doesn't know what she's in. You don't know how to knock. Why should I knock? You don't have a man here. What if I had a man here? You would just walk in on us. You're a married woman. You won't do a thing like that. Don't torment me with your married woman thing. Whatever. How are you doing? I didn't want the real. Do you want me to buy you food? Ah, you're offering to buy me food. Just like that. Don't I buy you food? Anyways, my husband sent me some pocket money. I still let me buy food for my friend. Ah, God, when? He sent you money. How much? Why do you want to hear the details? Do you want to eat? You're not hiding stuff from your friend and it's not nice. Though. Marital issues shouldn't be discussed with single people. I don't blame you. How far? That party now? It's going to be a blast, trust me. I know Terry doesn't do boring parties. Who is this Terry guy? Sounds like he's a ready. He is, girl. You should watch out for him. Promise me you'll be back early. Sure. I just want to get some fries in the office and that's it. Okay. Stay indoors, lock the door, and I'll get you anything you need while I'm coming back. No, sir. Bye. Bye. Where do you think you're going to? Do you think this is your house that you can walk around the way you like? I don't have strength for the drama today. Are you mad? Who is acting drama with you? Do you realize I'm older than you? Mind the words you use to address me. Or else what? Hey, look at this thing from the slums. This prostitute. Let that be the first and the last time you will call me a prostitute. Is something missing in your head? Goodness me, this girl slapped me. You want to hit me back? Oh yeah, try it. Let me show you that I'm not easy. What is it? Is your brother the first man to have a sister? Now I see the reason you are still single, fighting your brother's fiancé when you're supposed to be looking for a man to fix your condemned heart. And who says I need a man? I can have anything I want and I don't need a man to give me money. You have everything you want but you can't have a man. And for your information, I'm not with your brother because he's rich. I'm with him because I love him. And I know you won't understand because there's nothing like love in your dictionary. Excuse me. This girl has audacity. I will show you who owns this house. Babe, you won't believe that my colleague actually studied in UK. Eh? So he studied in UK? Yes, yeah, so I was wondering why he had this thing. Like, he doesn't act like all of these Nigerian guys I know. Oh, that's really nice. You see, he's not bad after all. Babe, that's not even all. He grew up in UK and the most shocking part is he owns the company I work of amongst others. What? How come you didn't know? His brother acts like he's the CEO Why he works with us all to see who deserves for a promotion. Mad. This is surprising. I'm happy for you. He's a rich guy after all. I was shocked when he told me, thank God I haven't treated him bad. If not, I would have lost my job. He won't fire you. Why? I was just staying in that house anyway. Babe, it's not easy at all. This girl slapped me and she attempted to do it again. And you trust me now, I slapped her before she did. This is serious, she slapped you. That girl doesn't have any atom of manners in her. But what's her obsession with her brother? That she thinks she can make decisions for him. If I was battling with just the mother, I won't be bothering. I will keep wondering what her business with her brother is. My dear, I really don't understand what's happening at all. Try as much as you can to avoid them, but make sure you don't take any disrespect from them. Me? You be like you don't know me. I trust you now. Oh my goodness, I was cooking though. Ah, go check your food before you go burn out. Take care of yourself, oh. Sure. I'm sure. I know I'm being kind of mean, but I learned all that from you. Don't want to go back and forth when I'm... Hey girl, having fun? Of course. Is this your guy you get doing so? I know, right? You see that guy over there? Yes, why? I'm going to spend the night with one of them. They're yeah, awesome. Enjoy your night, girl. Sure. Terry's going to meet you. Have fun. You too. Guy, it's been a while I hang out in the club. Same here. It's all in your honor, sir. Oh, please. <laughs> Look at that beautiful lady. She's staring at you. Am I looking good tonight? Yes, of course. She's coming this way.
Hello, gentlemen. Good evening. I'll excuse you too. I need to dance with a beautiful lady that touches my eyes. I'm Desi. And you? Call me T. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. You're the girl from Terry. Yes, I am. You're so beautiful. Thank you so much. And you look really good. I was admiring you from a distance. Can we go inside? The noise is really killing. Sure. Let's go. Home sweet home. Yes, there was a blast girl. I couldn't even set my hands on you after you went to meet that cute guy. Indeed, yesterday was a hot night. Such a cute muscular guy. Tell me about it. What's his name? Desi. He's Terry's best friend from back then. He moved to Lagos a few months ago. You seem to know more about the stranger. We talked a lot. I like his vibe. Hope Terry paid you. Because he told me he transferred both our money to you. You did fear? Of course he did. So, did you get the stranger's number? No, I didn't even bother to. It's the one night thing and most times I don't like to keep contact or let's just say I forgot. That's bad. It seems like it wasn't you. Who won't be? Have you taken your time to check me out very well? I see so you're fine. But it's fine too. Whatever. Desmond hasn't called me since yesterday and I've been wondering why. Desmond? Oh, you're talking about your husband. Maybe he went to have some fun too. That's true. Yesterday was Friday after all. Yeah, yeah, you can call him or send him a text message. I guess I would. I don't know why his number isn't registered on WhatsApp. You don't even need it. If you collect his WhatsApp number, my dear, get ready for video calls every day. That's true. And I won't be able to do the stops that I want. Exactly. So just text him or call him. I'll miss you, babe. It's Sunday already. We agreed that I'll be here only on weekends. That's true. But we can just stay till tomorrow. I have stops I need to finish at home. Look who we have here. Good afternoon, ma. Good afternoon, mom. Richard, wait for us outside. I need to speak with her alone. Mom, what is it that you want to speak to her about that you can't say it in my presence? It's okay, okay babe. Just wait for me outside. I'll join you shortly. You are sure about that? Sure, just wait outside. Call me if anything goes wrong. I see my son now listens to you alone. That's not it, ma. He just respects me. That's all. He respects you over his own mother. Ah, this generation will do anything to control a man. I'm not controlling your son. We are just two young people in love. <laughs> in love, my foot. Well, let me go straight to the point. I don't like you for my son. You are not fit to bear his last name. I know he genuinely likes you, but I can't say the same for you. So I'll save you the stress of having to marry because of material things. I'll give you an open check. Write any amount you feel can make you leave my son alone. 50 million, 100 million. Just write it and it's all yours. When you return, you will disappear forever. Think about what 100 million will do for you and your family. I'm sorry, ma. I can't accept anything from you. I love Richard, and that love can't be sold for any price. Even the price of your life? Excuse me? Well, I know you're a smart girl. Deep down, you're thinking if his mother offers me 100 million just to leave her son, I wonder how much I'll get if I marry her son. Let's do it this way. I'll give you 100 million and get you any car of your choice because I can see that your car is as good as bad. Let me compensate you with a car too. With all due respect ma, I have to take my leave now. All those amounts you just called are not worth me losing Richard for. I don't need money. I just want to be with Richard. Good day ma. Eh? This girl is playing with fire. She's playing with what will destroy her. We shall see. Thanks for dropping me home. Babe, are you okay? You have been so cold. Even on our drive home. Yeah, I'm okay. I was just not feeling too well. Since when? It was what my mom talked to you about, wasn't it? You don't have to worry about me for real. I'm fine. Stop pretending that you are fine. What discussion did you have with my mom? If she wanted you to know, she would have included you in the discussion. I know my mom so well. She didn't include me because she knows I will get her. So tell me. She offered me your hundred million to leave you alone. What? My mother offered you the open hundred million naira? Yeah, she wanted to pay me off. She feels I'm after your money. Oh my goodness. I'm so sorry for everything she might have said to you. It's not your fault anyways. You don't have to worry. It's my fault. It's my family that's causing the whole drama. I'm so sorry, babe. It's totally fine. I honestly don't know how long this is going to continue. Richard, your family hates the side of me. They feel I'm not good enough for you. Their opinion doesn't count at all. Does it? It does. You're not an orphan like me. You will need your family by your side when the time comes. I don't have a mom. I will need your mom when I start having kids. Can't you see? I know, but but we can't stop now. I'm so much in love with you and I don't want to risk it all. 
I just don't know what to do or say at this point. It's okay. I will leave now. I feel bad for him, but this whole issue is messing with my head. Have fun, a guy. Where have you been? You left me at the club. I didn't too. I just drove someone to, to please where she would get the cab to go home because I couldn't drop her. That pretty girl you were with last night? Yes, she was curvy and cute, right? She is totally my spec. Your friend knows good things. The girls that attended that party were all cute. I know, right? Most especially T. She's a darling. Now what for you? Don't forget so soon that you're married. If only my wife would be as beautiful as her. She's jovial too. See married man, no. Yesterday was purely for fun. Don't take it seriously. She was paid now. I can't develop feelings for her. Exactly. She's a call girl. I feel she's too beautiful for such a job, but it's her choice. Yeah, let's not judge her. I'm not judging anyways. How are you? When did you come back? A few minutes ago. I wanted to I wanted to go take a nap before you came in. I'm exhausted. Me too. I need a nap more than anything. Alright then. I'm going into my room. I'm so sorry. You asked me to come and you and you still kept me waiting. I just wanted to see you. It's been a while. Yeah, it is. How are you? I'm fine. Since you follow the tiara everywhere, but the girl, huh? Don't start. She's my best friend. And what are we? Best enemy. Relax. You're my friend, and that's it. Why do you look stressed? I'm really stressed. I feel like things are not working the way I had imagined. This is about your brother, huh? Who else do I complain about? That is fiancée is a rude thing. Can you believe that she slapped me? She did what? But what did you do? What do you mean? Even if I did something wrong, is she supposed to slap me? When she knows she needs me to agree to whatever ship she's in with my brother. Babe, you don't have to say in that. I'm sorry she slapped you, but I won't call her wicked because I know exactly how difficult it can be. If you were in my shoes, you wouldn't like that girl's audacity. She boldly tells me that she'll get my brother if she wanted him. Sounds like she's really bold, but she's not lying. Your brother is in love with her. That's my problem. I feel like she dared me to do my worst. I mean, leave those two lover bears to be. Focus on yourself and your personal growth. I hear you. Make me feel like I do nothing but worry about my brother. Sounds like it. That's not entirely true. But you're right. See me. Mom, what's going on? Why are you restless? It's your brother who, since he went to drop that girl yesterday, he hasn't come back. Is that why you're worried? You've tried to reach him via calls? This is the 15th time I've called him and he hasn't responded to any of them. What? What's wrong with him? Does he really have to do this? I guess we're just too hard on him. Were we? Please remind me. Rachel, this isn't a joke. You did too much. Now it's my fault that he's not home. I didn't do anything to him. I just don't want that girl here. I'm not saying it's your fault. It's my fault, okay? I would rather accept that it is than to allow that girl into our family. She's rude, mom. I know she is, but she seems to love Richard so much. I even offered a hundred million nira in a car, but she still chooses to be with him. What? You were going to give her a hundred million? Of course I won't. I just wanted to record her accepting the money, then I'll show you to Richard. How could someone reject such an amount? Because of what? I just think it's time to stop. I want to give Richard my blessing. Maybe with time I'll learn to like it, but I don't want to lose my son to a fight I can never win. Mom, seriously? Then fine, do whatever you want. Rachel, you have to understand. Enough, Mom. I'm out. Be with your son. Do everything he wants. He's a successful one after all. I'm not. Babe. Peace? What's up? I don't know what to do. Oh my goodness, you're crying. What happened? I caught my boyfriend cheating again. I don't know what to do. Wait, you caught him red-handed? Yes. He hasn't been picking my calls for days, so I took a day off and visited him, but a woman opened the door for me. Jesus Christ, that bastard. What did I ever do to him? Five whole years, Kate. The most painful part is she told me she's his fiance and they have been engaged for three months. Oh my good lord, what sort of cheater is he? I'm so sorry. Kate, what am I going to do? I have only loved him all these years. I'm so sorry, but he doesn't deserve you. He's engaged to another woman and he didn't even tell me. What did I ever do to him? Babe, I know this hurts, but you have to move on. Heal from this and give someone else a chance. Give someone else a chance? How is that even possible? I'm so tired. 
You have the guy you are going on a date with. You don't even need to wail over a man like that. God, don't fold my hand, I beg. He replaced you without even thinking twice. Why are you killing yourself over him? I just need to sleep. I need to sleep. This pain anyway. Yeah, go on and sleep. And when you are done, we'll go out for a drink. He doesn't deserve your tears. Have you heard from your husband? Yeah, I told you we talk every now and then. Yeah, you won't need the communication. Or did he tell you when you went that he didn't call you? I didn't bother. Don't want to raise that topic at all. It's alright. Eh, uh, what are we going to do about Bio? What's Bio? I told you I've never loved that guy. But he has done a lot for you in this school. At least acknowledge that. I do acknowledge everything he did for me, but it was of his free will. I didn't beg him for anything. You sound ungrateful right now. Seriously? What was I supposed to do? Marry him because he helped me? Of course not. Dummy, you're married already. Then what? I acknowledge his effort and I'm grateful. What hell does he want? It's okay. He's not asking for anything. He hasn't even asked you out. Too late now because I'm taken. You don't always have to say that. I know you're taken. Don't be jealous. She also come. I don't even feel ready. Until you start having grey hairs. Look at her. If that opportunity didn't come for you to marry some guy abroad, you'll still be single. Whatever. You can say that. I just got back for my sister. I couldn't make myself to stay there for more than three days. I have been really lonely. I'm happy you are back. Thank you, my dear. How have you been? I've been doing all right. How about you? As you can see, I'm strong and healthy. We thank God. Have you heard from my daughter-in-law? Yes, yeah, so she called me two days ago. And even your son calls me every day. Oh, that's good. Tiara called me often too. I am happy she knows that you has a wife. She doesn't need to do much. As far as she calls one of us. I'm okay. I feel at rest when I know she's doing fine. Yes, yeah, so I can't wait for her to start having children. That will be after she graduates and joins her husband abroad. I can't really wait. Me too, my dear. I can't wait for that day. Good afternoon, Baba. Welcome, my daughter. Hmm. Baba, I've come to think solutions to a problem. Hmm. I can see the reason why you have come even before you got here. Ah, but Baba, I haven't even... Silence! Do not speak until you are asked to. I know what you seek. You want to protect your brother from a woman whose heart is clean. Hmm. Hmm. Baba, I don't care if her heart is clean. I just want her to hate my brother so much. In fact, they should develop hatred for each other. I don't want any woman for my brother. Ha 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 The man who you are trying to protect against women because you are scared he will stop caring for you. He's not blood related to you. I don't understand, Baba. What do you mean? Don't question the God. Go and ask her mother about the man who you have called your brother all these years. Go, go. Yes, sir. Thank you very much. <laughs> a woman that is desperate for a child does not tell rapper to bed with her husband. <laughs> And why are you screaming my name like that? Please sit. I have something very important to ask you and I need you to speak the truth because I already know. What is it? You are getting me worried. Mom, Richard and I, are we blood related? And what kind of question is that? Of course he's your brother. Stop it. Stop it this minute. You're lying to my face, Mom. Why am I even calling you Mom? Are you even my mother? Are you crazy? Why would you ask something like that? Of course I'm your mother. Want a DNA proof? Then what about Richard? Who is he? He's your brother. What are you talking about? No, he's not my brother. I just found out that he's not my brother. So who is he? Wow, it's true. He's not my brother. We have raised you two like blood siblings, even though he was adopted. Listen, we didn't mean to hide it from both of you. Your father and I struggled to have children, even after 8 years of marriage. So we decided to adopt. One day we went to a hospital to talk with the doctors if there were any kids we could adopt. There we found Richard's mother, who was only 19 and couldn't raise the child all by herself. So she offered to give us Richard once he's birthed. She gave Bex two weeks later, but she died during childbirth. And we took Richard in and raised him like he was ours. Then I got pregnant with you four years later. We didn't tell you because we didn't want either of you to know about it. What? Richard is adopted. 
How could you hide this from us? He's not my brother after all. He's your brother, Rachel. No, he's not. Everything that he was supposed to be mine, he's nothing. He's not my blood. This is just too much for me to handle right now. Rachel, calm down. Calm your nerves. You have no right to tell me to calm down. Not after you've lied to me all my life. God, I feel stupid. Trying to protect him. Maybe we are not even related. You are not blood related doesn't mean he's not your brother. Please don't say what to Richard. Please. You're something else. I'm out of here. How did she even find out? I'm sure I trashed every evidence. God. I'm really worried about Richard. What happened? I've been trying to reach him since yesterday. He's not taking my calls. I would have said you should go check for him at home, but I don't want you to face those his family. I'm really worried. I hope he's alright. You and I know that he's totally fine. Maybe he just needed space and he decided to stay away from the whole drama. Drama, you say? You know, all this has never been my fault. Ever since I told him about how his mom offered me a hundred million to leave me alone, he has been down. Maybe he just didn't believe that his own mother would do a thing like that. But wait, she offered you a hundred million? And a brand new car. What? Is she that wealthy? Why is she so desperate to send you out of Richard's life? I don't even know. They are giving me a tough time. Richard doesn't deserve what they are doing. But I know he will undo it just fine. So wait and he will call you. Trust me. If I wait until tomorrow and he doesn't call me, then I'll be forced to either go to his house or go to his office. Solidly behind you. But you see today, just calm down. It's alright. Has your boyfriend tried calling to apologize? Point of correction. Ex boyfriend. I broke up with him over text. He doesn't deserve a face to face breakup, and I'm going on another date with my boss. That's my girl. I'm glad you now see things from my angle. You deserve better. I know, right? I refuse to waste my tears for someone who didn't even have any atom of respect for me. We need to change to that. Want to go out? What are we doing? We should. I mean, so much of this belief. Hello? I'm here. Talk to me now. You called me out for over an hour and you refused to talk to me. Where do I even start from? Start from somewhere or I'll leave this place. How about now? I went to a traditionalist. Traditionalist? Where are you sick? I meant native doctor. Jesus Christ. What? Lower your voice. People are staring. Do I care? Rachel, why did you go to that extent for? I went there just to ask for assistance on how to make my brother lose feelings for that girl. But then I found out something even worse. What could be worse than what you intended to do? I found out that Richard isn't my biological brother, but not related by blood at all. So I comforted my mom and she told me he was adopted. Eh? Your brother? Adopted? Well, he's not my brother. He's not even my relative at all. My parents adopted him while he was a baby because they couldn't conceive. Oh my goodness. Does he know? He doesn't. I mean, I wouldn't have found out if I didn't go to the traditionalist. Wow. So what do you intend to do? Tell him. I still don't know. I just feel disappointed and upset about the situation. Well, if he's not your brother, that means you both can get married. Wait, why haven't I thought about that? Girl, you are a genius. Why haven't I thought about it? Don't tell me you're considering marrying someone you grew up with and knew as your brother for 24 years. There can't be any romantic feelings between you two. I knew something was off about our relationship. We were more than just siblings. We love each other, but we're blinded by that sibling thing. You have to quench that idea. Are you sick? He's still your brother. Even if you're not blood related. I was only making a statement when I said you both can marry. Madam, Haba. Don't worry, I'll contact you. I have to reach somewhere. Here's my card. Pay for everything you're buying. My pin is 8857. Rachel, and uh, this guy is something else. Hi. Hey, good morning. So you are okay? You're really fine. I see that you are. Have a nice day. Hey, wait, please don't go. What is it? For two days you've been avoiding my calls. Isn't that your phone over there? I just didn't know how to face you. I don't. Seriously? Face me how? What's your excuse? My mother offered you money. Not just money. It's 100 million we are talking about. And you rejected. You have done enough to show you love me. But babe, what have I done? I can't even stand up for you enough and make them see that I love you. You don't really have to do anything. You can't obviously fight your mom or sister. But you stood up to my mom. You made her believe that it was me you wanted and not the money she had to offer. 
and you've done enough. Maybe you should understand that your family is just being like that. I wish I could kill me. I don't know what to do, babe. I'm frustrated. Let's just take it slowly. We'll get there. For how long are we going to take it slowly? All this shouldn't be the reason why you will ignore me. I was worried about you. I'm sorry. I'm really horrible at fixing situations. Um, it's fine. I'm happy you're okay. Where have you been? I've been worried sick since you just walked out. Why do you care? Are you worried that I was going to tell Richard? Do you even know where he is? I don't care anymore. If he likes, he shouldn't come back. What? Why are you like this? You're worried for him. He's not even your son. And in everything, you pick him over me. You don't care how I feel. You just want your son to be happy. Now I can't help but wonder. I'm your only biological child. You should care for me more. I'm sorry, but I just treated you too equally. No, you treated him more than you ever did to me. You always made sure life was easy for him. You were a mother to him, but not to me. He was the only person who cared for me in the family. Maybe because I was just a female child. What can I possibly offer? Rachel, please don't say that. Please. Well, enough of the emotional roller coaster. But I have a request. What is it? Anything at all? Now that I've found out that I'm not related to Richard in any way, I want him to marry me. What? Is this some sort of joke? Aren't you happy? He doesn't have to marry another girl. He doesn't need them. I'm the right one for him. Is everything okay with you? Why would you even think of something as stupid as that? Well, I want Richard. Can't you see we are destined to be together? I want him. And if I can't have him, no one would. Jesus Christ, what's wrong with this girl? Is she taking her drugs or she hit her head somewhere? Guy, how fun now? I'm okay, oh. I just got back from work not long ago. Same here, and it's really boring in here. I know, right? Before we go, I want to let you know that I've saved enough money and I think I'll be getting my own place soon. You know the place now? I need to pay the bride price of my woman in the village. Why don't we go out for a bottle of drink? Oh, congratulations, my guy. And I promise to support you however way I can. Yeah, you did say that. But you don't have to ever stress if there is no money for now. Forget that thing. You know, my guy, you've been here for me from day one in this city. Even if I see a new head before, I won't mind borrowing. Ah, no, nah. You don't have to borrow. I'm not boring. I'm just telling you the obvious. Thank you very much. I appreciate you. I beg it's not in jail. We still have a long way to go for each other. That's true. I appreciate the support. It's nothing at all. Let's just go out to drink. We need to keep celebrating. Indeed. Celebration won't cease in our lives. Amen. Girl, yeah, are you okay? You've been laying on the spot since I went out. I'm totally fine. What's up? I'm fine. I went out to meet with Rachel. Rachel this, Rachel that. That girl they buffing me. Like, she seems like she's not okay at all. What happened again? Did she kill her brother's girlfriend this time? That's not it at all. She found out that her brother isn't a real brother, that he was adopted. What's the difference? They are still siblings, but just that they are not blood related. Exactly. She was already thinking too much. What did she find out anyways? She went to a native's doctor's shrine to make her brother hate his girlfriend. And that's where they told her that her so-called brother isn't even related to her at all. Wahala. So that small girl is already visiting shrines? On top of her brother's case, rich man, rich problems. That's not even what's busting my head. I just jokingly said that they are not related by blood. They can actually marry. Can you believe this girl is already considering it? What's her own problem? Let her do what she wants. But why would you say that when you know she's not mentally okay? I would. I know that she's actually going to agree to it. No sane human being would. I beg. That's a headache. I'm hungry. Craving yam and chicken pepper soup. What's wrong with you and craving? You're always craving this or that. I beg, free me. Shouldn't I eat again? But Piso, I've been noticing some things about you. Something is obviously changing. What do you think? I'm still the same. You don't look like you are going through heartbreak at all. What's the secret? I didn't tell you I was going through heartbreak. I like the new you. Please don't go back to how you used to be. I still don't understand what you are driving at. I'm not passing through heartbreak and you know that. Oh, oh, it's your boss, right? He's slowly replacing your ex. He has replaced him already and you see this new relationship. It's the best I've ever had. Aww. You know the funny thing? You used to refer to him as your annoying colleague. Now he's your boss and your man. All thanks to you if you didn't push me to go on those dates. It's nothing. We are friends and we should have each other's best interest at heart. You did the same for me, remember? 
Yeah, with Richard, how is he though? He's doing alright. I met him at his office the other day and he made me understand why he hasn't been picking my calls. That guy is really tired of the whole drama. Don't worry, just relax. Everything will go according to God's plan. Amen, my dear, because it's no easy at all. After how many days? Where have you been sleeping? Good day, mom. I asked you a question. Answer me this minute. I'm a full grown and I have the right to sleep wherever I feel at peace. So this house isn't peaceful for you anymore? What do you expect? You and Rachel have decided to make me go mad in my own house. This place doesn't feel like home anymore. Please sit, let's talk this out. What is it, mom? I'm really tired. I need to shower. I'll make it quick. You really like it and you want to be with her? Yes, mom. I swear she's a nice girl. She's not after my money like you think. I can see that you're right. I'm sorry I doubted you this whole time. I will give you my blessing. Wait, mom, you are serious. Please be serious. I am, my dear. I'm tired of fighting with my son over issues of the heart. I love you and I just wanted the best for you. Never, mom. I told you I won't let him be with anyone else but me. He won't marry Kate. Never. Are you okay? When will you be happy for him for once? Why should I be happy for him? I hate you for doing this to me. Always support him every time. Watch it, Rachel. Are you mad? You're talking to mom like that? She's my mom and not yours, so stay out of it. Both of you will regret it. What's wrong with her? What was she talking about? Eva will handle her. Okay, thank you so much, mom. I'll be inside. <sighs> Rachel. Baba, I'm back. Indeed. Everything you said is true. The God does not lie. What do you want from him? I want to be in control of everyone. I want Richard to be fully mine and obedient to me. I also want my mom to obey every single thing I tell her. <laughs> what you see is a simple task. But you will have to please the God. Give him something he is worthy of. I will bring more if that's not enough. Good. Now take this portion, put this portion in his food and he will fall helplessly in love with you and put this in a drink for your mother and him and they will obey every word you say. Thank you, Baba. Thank you. But make sure no one must tell them about this. You shouldn't allow them hear about anything that has to do with the charm, else they will be free. And you will run mad. Of course, Baba. Thank you very much. You may go. Go. <laughs> Mom, I'm really glad that you have mastered me. And I'm sorry for giving you a hard time all this well. You know I have your best interest at heart. I know, Mom. And I really feel happy about this. Kate is a good catch. I was surprised how she rejected such a young mount. Yeah, right. She has been really patient with me. She's a nice girl. I haven't seen Rachel since yesterday. Is she okay? That one. I don't know what's wrong with your sister these past few days. I noticed it too. Good day, family. Where have you been? I just went to stay at my place and I passed the night there. I got time to think everything through and I noticed I haven't been the best daughter or sister. I've come to apologize. Are my eyes and ears playing tricks on me? Not at all, mom. I'm really sorry. I promise I'll stand by you, Richard. I know how much you love Kate, so I'll accept her and I'm really sorry for everything. I'll apologize to her if you want. Wow, this is really good news. I'm glad you have come back to your senses. I'm really as surprised as you are, but it's a good thing. We should all be one big family. I've realized, mom, even my friend wasn't in support of everything I've been doing. So she asked me to come apologize and then I realized I've missed my lovely family. Nothing should separate us, and I know Kate is a good and beautiful woman. To apologize, I've asked her to teach me how to cook, and I made vegetable stew and rice. Then on my way, I bought nice juice. Let me set the table so we can all eat. Sounds like a nice idea. I'm really hungry. And I hope the food is delicious. Joy is a good cook, so she definitely taught me well. This is the daughter I raised, eh? You see that the food is delicious. Me too. I'm really impressed, my daughter. I really hope this has worked. I should try. Are you okay, Rachel? Yes, yes, I'm fine. Mom, why don't you clear the table? Of course, anything for you. And you, Richard, what are you doing sitting down there? Go inside right now. Yes, I'm very impressed. Of course.
Yes, it's working, yes. This house is mine. Madam, are you okay? I'm not too. I don't know how I've been feeling for days now. How are you feeling? Tell me your symptoms. <laughs> because you are studying nothing. You better relax. You don't even use to attend classes. Just tell me your symptoms. I don't go to classes doesn't mean I don't know symptoms. It's just fever, headache, nausea, and I have constipation. Hmm. Do you have morning sickness? And did you miss your period? Um, I do have morning sickness. And yes, I think I've missed my period. It's three weeks late. The whole three weeks? And you've done nothing about it. What am I supposed to do? Stress makes people miss their period, remember? And maybe it's my whole wedding thing that's stressing me. Married that you did five weeks ago. Are you even for me? Babe, I think you're pregnant. <laughs> How is that even possible? I'm not pregnant. I've only seen one man since after my last period. Go and do test. I'll take you to the clinic. Don't worry. It's nothing serious. I'll go for a test, but I'm not pregnant. Go for the test as soon as possible. Yes, madam. I noticed you being restless. What's going on? Babe, I don't even know what is going on. Tell me, did something happen? It's Richard. He has refused to pick my calls. What's wrong with him? Again? What was his excuse this last time? He was just passing through family stores. Like he has been really ashamed to even talk to me after I rejected the amount of money his mom offered me. He feels I've done a lot for him. Why he can't even deal with his family? That's very dumb reason though. It shouldn't make you feel like you're forcing things with him. It's frustrating me right now, and I just don't want to make harsh decisions. Just calm down. We need to go to his office to clear things. How many times do I have to go to his office for the reason? If he wants to call off the wedding, let him come out clearly and let me know. Just calm down, okay? What if something had happened to him? I don't even know what to think anymore. I'll just go to his office when I'm chance. Good. Just wait till you see him. It's okay. You're here. What are you doing? Yes, I said I should watch this program. Which stupid program? Who will do the dishes for you? Oh, I totally forgot about it. I'll do it after this program. Is something wrong with you? Will you stand up and go do those dishes? Yes, yes, of course. Come back here. Sit. I want to tell you something. Okay, what is it? I want you to be prepared. I'm marrying Richard soon. Richard? But he's your... Did you say something? You want to disgrace me or what? Of course not. You can marry him. Anything you want. Good. Now disappear and get me cold juice when you're coming. Thank you. Since you've decided to take Richard's side, I'll show you who rules. Hey, hey baby, where are you going? I'm going to the office for something important. Skip work today. You're taking me shopping today. Okay. Good boy. And I don't ever want to see Kate near you. Not even an inch close. When you see her, break up with her immediately. Who is Kate? I only love you and I'm breaking up with that girl of course. Good boy. Now go inside and change into something casual. I make a transfer of 5 million to my savings account. Okay babe, I will. <laughs> I'm loving this. Stupid people. Richard is mine now, Kate. I told you to back off. Madam, you're back. How is it? Hmm, I'm finished. What is it? Which one is finished again? I'm four weeks pregnant. What? Hey, whoa. I thought it was high fever or malaria, so I did malaria test and it was negative. I was reluctant to do pregnancy tests, but it came out positive. Oh my gosh. Babe, you're married. That's exactly my fear. What do I do? Who is responsible? It's that guy from the last club, Desi. What? How could you sleep with some stranger without protection? I swear, we did use protection. I just don't know how it happened. We were drunk. This is serious. Do you want to tell him? I can't even tell him because I don't have his address or phone number. This is really serious. Tiara, why weren't you careful? What do we do now? <laughs> I don't know, I'm confused. Just stop crying. Oh, come up with a solution, please. I'm finished. Pregnant for a man I barely know. Just calm down. I'm here for you. Just relax.
So you told me you've seen a place you like? Yes, it's not really far from here. Oh, that's even better. So that we can visit each other effortlessly. Exactly why I made sure to find a place close by. How's the house like? It's a two-bedroom flat. Really beautiful and in a nice area. That's good. I'm going to miss you. This house will be too boring for just me. you get used to it soon. It's just a matter of time. When are you moving in? Give or take Friday or Saturday. That's better. On Friday, we can go get your furniture and you just move in. Yes, true. Hope you are hearing from your people. Yes, so I call them often. Good. You told me you were around the area since and you're just getting here. I came for a reason now. I have to finish up what I came to do first. Okay, welcome. Hope your brother is not around you. Ah, you know he doesn't allow visitors. Don't worry, things has changed around here, trust me. Things has changed? What can I say? I'm telling you, no one would dare object me in this house. What's wrong with you? You are the kid in this house. So, what are you talking about? Well, watch and see. Mom! Mom! Calm down, you are screaming your mother's name. Yes, what is it? Get us two glasses of freshly squeezed juice. Is it pineapple or orange? Just get us anyone and don't ask stupid questions. Okay. What? Are my eyes deceiving me? Is that not your mother? Eyes are not deceiving me at all. What you see is real. What? What did you do to your mom? Not just my mom, but also my husband-to-be. I'm confused. Since when did you get engaged that I didn't know? What's going on? Well, it's just my little secret. Just chill. You want to start keeping secrets from me? Who is your husband-to-be? Richard is. Since we are not siblings, I've decided to take clothes into my own hands and make him marry me. But how? How did you even get into our set? You know that Baba was telling you about. He helped me. Now I have control over my mother and brother. Jesus Christ. Girl, why would you even think of something like that? That's evil. These people are your family. Who are your voice? If they hear about this, I'll be in trouble. Besides, who cares about family when they don't even care about me? Girl, I'm not in support of this at all. It's evil. Why go down means to hold your own mom and brother? He's not my brother. Are you here to advise me or support me? No, Vexo. Better. Mom! Mom! What are you still doing? If I come there, you won't like me. Take it easy now, madam. She's still your mom. Who is there? What are you doing here? Can I come in? Yes, come in. Why are you here? I've been trying to reach you for days. What's going on? Why were you trying to reach me? As what now? Richard, why are you like this? What happened to you? And what kind of stupid question is that? So if I tell not to pick your call, you can't read the handwriting that I don't want to talk to you. But why won't you talk to me? Did I offend you? You must be mad for asking me such questions. Okay, let me make it clear to you. I'm done with this whole rubbish of a relationship. I have someone I love, and it's not you. I thought Richard told you before that you are not the girl I love. You thought she was joking. I was playing you all along, so get out. What? You have a girl you love? Who is she? Who is the girl? Why have you done this to me? Rachel! Rachel is the woman I love. We are getting married soon, so get out. What? Are you sick? Which Rachel? I'm the Rachel. You heard him clearly. Richard and I are getting married. What sort of joke is that? Are you both crazy? You're siblings. We are not siblings, don't be fooled. He's not my brother and we are getting married. What? What is going on? You're no longer welcome here. If I ever see you anywhere close to this compound or my man, I won't hesitate to arrest you. Now get lost. Richard, what's going on? She said leave this minute. Richard! Don't let me push you out. Rachel, talk to him please. Do you want a dirty slap? Don't forget he's my man now. Please Richard, let's talk this out. Get out! Are you mad? I can't believe this. Ever let her in again, I will deal with you. What did that girl come to do you? What just happened? You are back so soon. What did I just hear? Jesus Christ. Why are you talking to yourself? You know, I can't believe it. You won't even believe. Talk to me. I'm getting scared. Richard is getting married to Rachel and you just broke up with me. What are you talking about with Rachel? His sister. Babe, I just can't believe what I heard. What? What sort of a joke is that? Why would he marry his sister? I'm not lying. He told me it was over and that he was the one marrying Rachel. Even Rachel confirmed it and said they aren't siblings at all. That I was fooled. Oh, please. Is this a joke? 
We've known Rachel as Richard's sister for a long time. Yeah, but I don't know what is going on. It felt like that wasn't the Richard I knew. He was so hostile and cold. Jesus Christ, what? What's going on? Babe, I don't know. I can't even feel any heartbreak. I just feel like something is wrong with Richard. Like someone is behind this. I know, right? Jesus Christ. Richard? Marry Rachel? Are they sick? What if they aren't really siblings like we know? This is confusing. I know something is wrong somewhere, but I just don't know. We just have to hope that Richard comes out of it soon. It's not going to be an easy one, trust me. I know, but I know it will get over it. I'll be praying for him. Me too. So strange. See? Desi? Oh my god! Such a pleasant surprise. I'm shocked to see you here. Who did you come to do in this area? I went to see a friend. What about you? I'm working. Copy. Let me give you a ride. Thank you. What work do you do? I run my own car business. What about you? I'm a student studying nursing and I'm in my final year. Oh, nice. I didn't get to take your number the other night. Mind if I take it? Sure. Here's my phone. Type your number and flash my phone. Thank you. Seems like you have my number before now. What? That can't be possible. Tiara? How did you know my name? You're Tiara, Oloma's daughter. Yes, why? Ewo, I am finished. Desmond? Babe, what is it? You sounded like you wanted to kill yourself while on the phone. What happened? I'm doomed. How I'm finished. God forbid. How can you even say a thing like that? What's wrong? Talk to me. We will sort it out together. Sort what? This is really beyond my power. Uh-uh. Sounds serious. Very serious. I mean, I'm doomed. Should I leave? Talk to me then. What's going on? You know I told you about how I'm pregnant for that guy I met at Terry's party? Yes. And you're still looking for a way forward. I saw him today while I went to the hospital. Oh, thank goodness. Did you manage to tell him about it? I really thought I would have the chance to, but my whole expectation was cut short when he asked me for my number and after telling it, we found out that we are married. Are you sick? Is it one of the symptoms? Babe, I'm fine. This man is in Lagos and he's the same man I met at the club. Stop this silly joke. Is this... This man lied about being abroad. He's in Lagos and he's a Hooper driver. Father Lord. What are you talking about? Did Desmond you're pregnant for is your husband? Yes, Joy, yes. He lied to me and deceived me to marry him. He's just an Uber driver. And you've met him in the most unusual ways. This is serious. I slept with him even before knowing he's my husband. And Terry is his friend. You know how that would be really embarrassing for him to even introduce me to anyone? Please just get yourself together. You both need to meet and talk things out. How do I even face him? How? Just relax. If you want, I can go with you. Oh God, why have I fallen into a situation like this? Just relax. Guy, relax and talk to me now. What's going on with you? You've been walking up and down this room and you've refused to say a word to me. What word do you want to hear, Guy? Guy, I'm in agony. I'm in pains right now. Just start from anywhere. T, the girl at the club. She's the girl I married. You mean she's Tiara? Yes, exactly. But how? She didn't make mention of her name being Tiara. Or do you recognize her? I just found out today that she's the same girl I married. I saw her today and said to exchange numbers only to find out that we already had each other's number. She's my wife, bro. Oh my goodness, this is mad. My wife, a core girl. Damn, bro. But I thought she said this girl is an introvert, that she stays at home. That's exactly what I hate, bro. He deceived me to marry a prostitute, a big one at that. Man, this is really bad. She is such a beautiful woman. But are you not worried about her finding out that you're a taxi driver in Lagos? Why do I care? She has a bigger scene. What made you think so? Because she's a call girl? That's not even the case. This girl slept with me a few days after our wedding. I wonder how many men she must have spent with since we got married. And you're not totally innocent too. Just relax and talk things over with her. I'm still thinking about what to do. She's still your wife, bro. Just relax. Oh God, have mercy upon Richard, please. What is it? Why are you restless this early morning? I had a dream about Richard. He's in danger. What a dream. And what danger? You saw him. It was okay, right? 
I saw Richard in my dream. He was being tied against the tree and he was looking weak and tired. Don't tell me you are falling for that. You are already thinking he's under a spell or something. You won't understand until you see him. Babe, that wasn't the Richard I agreed to marry. Something was off about him and I knew someone is behind it. Just relax. Not everything is about the spiritual. We'll both go to talk to him, okay? Let's see what's going on. Okay, but you have to join me in prayers. I know that things are not alright with him. Like I said, you may just be imagining things in your head. Richard was safe when you saw him. He was influenced to say those things to me. He was talking from his mouth, wasn't he? You are overthinking, my dear. God is the one who fights battles and not humans. But then we pray so that he answers us. I know what I'm feeling in my spirit. I will join you in prayers. Will that make you happy? Of course. Thank you so much. God is in control of everything. Just put your hopes on him. Of course I do. But I won't lie to you, sis. I don't want to lose Richard. I love him so much. I know. And I don't see you losing him. Just relax. Of course I'm relaxed. Thank you so much. Richard! Who is this stupid man? I'm here. You called me. Where have you been? Are you deaf? Didn't you hear me call you? I'm sorry, babe. I was cleaning the room. For how many hours? Do you know you're becoming useless? How long does it take you to clean a small bedroom? Ah, the bedroom isn't small. It's a master's bedroom. Are you mad? Are you objecting me? I'm sorry, have mercy upon me. How dare you fool? You must be stupid. I think it's about time I send you out of this house and bring the new man in. No, no. You know how much I love you. Please forgive me and I'll do anything you want. What happened to the 5 billion I asked you to transfer? I still haven't gotten an alert. Um, I told my accountant to transfer you the money because I forgot my token at the office. I didn't know he didn't send it. What? You didn't know he didn't send it? I thought you were smart. Why are you so dumb now? I asked you to send me money and you couldn't instruct your stupid accountant properly. I didn't instruct him. I just forgot to call him to ask. You're a big fool. The biggest fool of the century. I know I accept. Please, just don't leave me. Marry me, please. You have to earn it. Now, instead of 5 million, you will triple the amount. Anything for you. I will transfer as much as you want. And I need you to contact that wedding planner and make up operations about the whole wedding thing. Of course. Get me a glass of drink. Okay. I swear I'm confused. What did I even do to him? So he has refused to pick your call. My calls? I don't know what exactly I did to him. He said so waiting. It's either he's disappointed in you or he's disappointed in himself. Disappointed in me? He should be disappointed in himself. Why would he have to lie to me to get a woman? I wonder. He lied about staying abroad. I'm sure his mother doesn't even know he's right in the city. I'm telling you. And he's worried about me. And the one who is worried about what his mom will do if she finds out. It will break her heart. Just keep it to yourself. It depends on if he keeps mine to himself. What was he expecting? That I stay and wait for him until he comes back from his supposed abroad or until I'm done with school? So you're not seeing anything wrong from your end? It's not like I don't see anything wrong in what I did. Why is he acting like a kid when he knows that we are both wrong? Listen, you have to look for a way to get to him. You're crying his child, remember? How am I even sure that we accept this baby? It will be hard, but you have to try. I know you might probably think you're trying to pull him down with pregnancy. I'm just confused. This wasn't what I envisioned. A taxi driver. But he's rich at least. You know how much he spent on that marriage. I don't just know. I'm having sleepless nights. I'm here for you. We will get over this. Trust me. You again. Hi, Richard. Can we come in? Well, I can let you come in, but not her. Why? She's your fiancé. I told her I was done. She should leave me alone. Just let us come in. She's my friend and we came to talk. Fine, because it's you. Be fast about it. Richard, what's going on? Are you okay? Is that what you're here to ask me? Babe, please. We are just here to ask you a few questions. Are you sick? I told you I'm not your babe. Stop calling me that. Kate, please. Just let me do the talking. Okay. I heard you are marrying Rachel. Congratulations. What? What are you saying? Congratulations. Thank you, peace. Since when did you two start dating? I honestly can't remember, but I just love her so much. I can't help it. That's fine. I'm really happy for you. But don't you love Kate anymore? I never loved her. She was just a distraction when I and Rachel had issues. 
Oh, wow! <laughs> Please stop saying that to me. Richard, what happened to you? What happened to us? What's going on here? Hi, babe. What are they doing here? Didn't I warn you not to let them into my house? What did you do to him? How is this your house? Kate, get a hold of yourself. Did I warn you, stupid fool, that he's mine now? You're in my territory, you idiot. And you, Richard, didn't I warn you not to let this girl into this house? Why are you disobeying me? You're disobeying me? I'm sorry, babe. Please. Now both of you can get out of my house. Get out! Get out! Kate, let's go. Richard, it's me. Get out! If she doesn't want to leave, push her out. If you ever disobey again, I will show you the other side of me. Fool. Hello. Who are you? I'm Joy. I'm Rachel's friend. Please tell her I'm here. Okay. Come in. Make yourself comfortable while I call Rachel. Okay, thank you. Do you need anything? Drinks? Food? No, thank you. Just call Rachel. Okay. Madam, you're here. Welcome. My girl. See fine girl, you are eating money. You suddenly have forgotten your friend. How can I forget you? Of course, I do remember you and you're still my girl. Ah, uh, I feel so you don't replace me. How are you? I can't be any better. I mean, take a good look at me. I'm living the life I've always dreamt of. I can see that. Your brother is suddenly turned obedient. I was surprised he didn't shout at me. He won't stay. I have him under my wings. Babe, you did well. Sometimes, family has so much to be and you just need to be in control for a bit. Exactly. Now you're talking. But wait though, babe. Are they going to be like this forever? Yes. They're going to be like this forever. But you they hear about what I do, usually they find out they're under a spell. They'll be set free. And that's what I know won't happen. <laughs> because I know they're always under this roof and I go everywhere with Richard. What if one person of them hears? Would the both of them be free? No. Whoever hears it is free. Girl, you're bad. I'm sure they would never hear of it. Exactly, my girl. Let's cheers. Mom, let's cheers. Mom, Richard, where are these people? Where have you been? I went out for a bit. And you didn't think to tell me? Babe, how am I supposed to tell you when you were sleeping? You haven't slept well in days, so I have to allow you sleep. I see. So where did you go? I went to Rachel. Hmm. She won't believe what's going on. What is it? You know Rachel has been having issues with her brother concerning his relationship with his fiancée, which is against. Yeah, I know that. Did anything happen? She went far this time to do charm. Now she's in total control of his life. And she even went ahead to charm their mother too. According to her, since Richard isn't her brother, she would do everything to get him. And she knew her mother would be against it, so she charmed both mother and brother. Jesus Christ! I knew that girl was a demonic witch. What's wrong with her head? I really feel pity for them. But now, I know the remedy to get them back to their senses. She told you? Tell me, what's it? She said as soon as they find out what she did, they'll be free. Just that? Just that. As soon as they find out they're under a spell, they'll be free. What are you waiting for? The thing is, they are under the same roof 24-7. She doesn't give them freedom. You can do it. You know ways. You are right. I'll just look for a way. How are you? I'm okay. I just need to eat something. Let me fix something. Thank you, girl. She's a disgrace to my name. I don't know what to do. I've been thinking for a while. I think I'm not going to continue with this marriage of a thing. What? What are you going to tell your parents? That I found someone else and I don't want Tiara anymore. What? Are you even okay? Did you just hear yourself? Do you expect me to marry her after finding out she sleeps with different men for money? You're not different from her. You lied about being a rich man in Canada and made her accept to marry you. So please don't judge her. That's two different things, bro. Two different cases. See pot calling kettle black. My dear, call your woman and talk things out. What do we have to talk about? I feel disgusted thinking about her. You're not acting like a man right now. You're already married to her. You have to have a conversation with her to find out why she's doing what she's doing. You can't just jump to conclusions. Both of you can help each other. She can't help me with anything. She can't. 
Both of you can actually fix everything. I'm serious. Even me that I'm getting married to my woman soon. So I know what she has been doing. That's not the case. This he actually went out to meet the man just after our marriage rights. And what about you? Didn't you do same? I'm a man. She's a woman. Go and fix things like a man. I'm off to my house. Wait, let me drive you. Look, Desmond, we need to talk this out. What do you have to say? That you're sorry? Yes, I am. But that's not the case. I just don't know what to say at this point. You shouldn't know what to say because you should be ashamed of yourself. I beg your pardon. Yeah, I'm ashamed of myself. But don't be rude about it. Ah, she called me rude. So you're not only a prostitute, you also have bad character. Guy, what's wrong with you? Why are you so childish? Are you innocent? You bloody liar. First, you are not anywhere near rich, and you are in Lagos as a taxi driver. You lied to me, so I accepted to marry you. Or should I say, you even deceived our parents. Didn't I pay your bride price in full? You think you have justification for cheating on me just a few days after our marriage, right? And I'm sorry. You are the first person I did that with, I swear. She thinks I'm a fool. You think I'm stupid. I've known Terry for a long time. I needed money. That was why I accepted to do what I did. So money is just your problem. I sent you money, remember? You just have to admit that you are cheap. Don't call me cheap. I don't just go around sleeping with people. And why are you blaming me? I wasn't the only one who cheated. You're a woman. You can't compare yourself to me. Really? Men are supposed to cheat? I don't want to continue with this marriage. I can't bear the fact that I married a whore. That's fine. But what do we tell our parents? And what do we do about this baby? We'll sort out. Wait, what baby? I'm carrying your child this month. That night produced a seed. What? <laughs> You're a useless woman. You are carrying my child. When you slept around, better go and look for the baby's father. And I'm coming for the bride price I paid. Don't ever contact me. I'm out of here. Desmond, please, I'm not lying to you. Desmond. Babe, what happened? Did he hit you? Why are you crying? He didn't hit me, but I'm in pain, Joy. I'm in pain. Why? Did something happen? Talk to me. Desmond denied the pregnancy, called me a prostitute, and demands that he gets his refund for the bride price he paid. What? Oh my god. I knew this wasn't going to be easy. It will be hard for him to accept the pregnancy because of the way it happened. I'm sorry. What do I do with this pregnancy? God knows I didn't lie to him. I know you didn't lie to him, but just give him a bit of space. He'll come around. I know you'll accept this baby sooner or later. I'm so scared. I don't want my mom to find out. She's going to be so disappointed in me. Don't worry, babe. And by the way, why is it so hard on you when he cheated as well? I just don't understand. He lied to me about his whereabouts too. I'm just like this because I'm pregnant. I don't want to give birth to this child just like that. I understand you, but you shouldn't watch him talk down on you. He did stupid things too. I should be sorry too. He feels I'm the one who did the most because I slept with a man just after our marriage rights. And thank God, he was a man. He's your husband. He doesn't believe that it's just him I slept with after our marriage rights. He feels I've done it with lots of men as well. Ciara, this whole issue isn't good for your baby. You're stressing. Just take one step at a time. I just can't help it. I can't be arrested knowing what's happening or what might happen if our parents find out about it. Your parents won't hear about it. If they do, then both of you will be the ones to get in trouble, not just you. Ah, babe, wonder shall never end. You see what I was telling you? I told you that Richard is acting weird. He is, oh. What happened to him? What did I just witness? Richard allowing Rachel talk to him like that. To the extent that she slaps him. Nah, this is mad. This is mad. I don't know what she did to Richard, but I feel she has gotten a hold of him. Do you think it may be possible that she did charge? What else could make someone foolish and weak like that? He suddenly lost his own sister. What are they not telling us? Why would Rachel want her own brother of all men in Nigeria? My dear, I'm shocked. I never trusted that girl. She's sick. I told you she was something else, but you said I shouldn't judge someone by what they do at first. I honestly thought she might have been passing through stores on the first day you met her at Richard's place. I just didn't know she was a psycho. Gosh, what do we do now? We have to look for a way out, a solution. Maybe we should go to a pastor. We may learn the truth from there. You are right. We just have to find out what she did to Richard. Yeah, we have to. 
We can't just leave him like that. We can't. So when is the traditional marriage? Next week, Saturday. I just can't wait. You're not going for it, are you? No, I'm not. I've told my brother to represent me. But my fiancé knows that I'm in Lagos. I had to open up with everything that had happened. That's not bad. Since both of you has been through thick and tying together, it would be stupid if you find such from her before marriage. Yeah, you're right. But how's your wife? My guy, I'm not interested in marriage anymore. I can't just look at her. You know what she came with? That she's pregnant from that night. She's pregnant? Yes. How would I even believe the baby is mine? How would I even know how many men she has slept with before me? You have to at least give her a chance. When the child is born, you can go for a DNA test. She might be telling the truth. What's truth? Someone that slept with someone just few days after she got married. It wasn't just someone else. It was her husband. Luckily enough, it was you. And what if it wasn't me? She would have went away with cheating. What if that night didn't happen with me? What if it was Terry? You just have to calm down. There is no sense anywhere. If she's sorry and ready to change, you should forgive her and accept the child until he or she is born. I honestly don't know what to do, but I will think about it. She's a beautiful woman. I know I'm at fault too. I just need time to deal with the whole thing. Don't worry. You'll get all the time. Just stop feeling like she's a bad news. Give her a chance. I've heard you, ma'am. Thanks a lot. Did you say Desmond called you? He's a married man. You can't just call him by his name. Oh my bad. Sorry, no vex. But did he call you? Yes, he did. He said he wants me to relax and give him time. That he's going to fix a date so we can meet again when he's ready. When he's ready? How long would that take? I don't know for sure, my dear. He said he'll get in touch soon. That's fine. At least he gave you a pinch of hope. Just relax and don't stress yourself. For the baby's sake. I've had you. Now I'm at peace. How is Rachel's matter now? When are you telling these people? My dear, I've noticed that I won't be able to do this alone. So I've decided to contact his fiancé to help me out. And how would you get his fiancé's contact? I have my ways. I just want her to know what has happened to her man and why he's pushing her away. I feel pity for her. She'll be so lucky to meet with someone like you. Lucky? How? It's not every day you meet someone who's ready to betray their friends for you. I will betray my friend if she's doing the wrong thing. And you see Rachel, she's not just doing the wrong thing. She has engraved herself. Such a wicked person. How can she even do that to her own family? Goodness! Exactly why I can't help but betray her. Who is it? Hello, good day. Good day. I'm Joy. I'm here to see Kate. Who are you, please? I have something really important to discuss with her. So please tell her I want to speak with her. Okay, come in. Who is it? Hi, I'm Joy. Hello. Hello, I don't think I know you. She really looks familiar. I'm Rachel's friend, and I'm here to tell you something important. Oh, oh, she's the girl with Rachel the other day I was there. Exactly. I know what I've come to say might be shocking to you too. And I know that of recent, your fiancé has been chasing you away. I know why. Wait, you know why? You're Rachel's friend. How can we trust you? I don't need you to trust me. I just want you to know the truth. And know that I'm not in support of everything Rachel did. Please, tell us, please. Few weeks ago, Rachel was angry that Richard and your mom had reconciled and the mommy was ready to support his marriage with you. She was so angry that she visited a native doctor's shrine. Jesus Christ! She did what? At first, when she told me, I thought she was kidding. But after she went ahead to tell me that she found out from the native doctor that Richard wasn't related to her by blood. As a matter of fact, she went back home to confront her mother. She found out that Rachel was abducted while he was a baby, four years before she was born. Her parents had raised Richard like he was years all these years. She told me this and I was shocked. 
and I just playfully told her that since Richard wasn't a brother at all, that means they can even get married. She smiled and said exactly. When she left that evening, I was wondering what she had in mind, and I felt like it won't be possible for Richard to just marry his assumed sister. Then I went there a couple of days back and I noticed something changed about his mom and brother. And then I asked her what happened to them. She told me to my face that they are under her spell. She had given Richard a love potion and her mom a charm but to obey everything she says. I knew it. I knew something was wrong. Why would she even do a thing like that to her own mother? And Richard has shown that girl too much love all these years. Did she tell you any remedy? Yes, she did. She told me that for them to be free, they will have to be aware of what she did. I don't understand. Someone has to tell them that they are under a spell and they have to believe that person and they will be free. That's easy. But how do we get access to them? She's always around them. I'll help you. In two days time, I'll be free. I'll help you distract Richard out of the house for just an hour or two. You have to finish the whole convincing before she comes back. That's all I can do for you. That's enough time for us to convince Richard. We really appreciate you. God bless you. I wonder why she's helping us. I already told you. What she did doesn't sit right with me. And I don't support evil. Have a nice day. Thank you so much. She is such an angel. So this is what she did. God. What's up, babe? You called me out. You have to be fast about it. Now it's my turn to see you. I have to be fast about this. All these years you've been calling me to come meet you. Have I ever told you to be fast about it? Sorry now. You know these two people I have at home. I can't risk allowing them to stay alone for a long time. Oh, true. I just called you here. To talk to you about something. I think I want to stop going out with Sierra. But why didn't you come to the house to tell me this? Haba now. I can't always be coming to your house now. It's not every time. Okay. You said you want to stop hanging out with Tiara. Why? She's too full of herself. Recently, she got engaged to her Canada boyfriend. And she has been carrying shoulders for me. Engaged? She had a cabana's guy all this way and she has been keeping bio. She know Tiara didn't really want bio. He was just forcing himself on her. That's his lose anyways. I'm glad I now have you as my best friend, all to myself. You're my only true friend. It took me time to notice that. Oh, I'm glad you now realize. So tell me, would you like to move into that my house? That's one on campus. You know I and Richard will be getting married next month. I don't want it to be vacant. And that's really sweet of you. Of course, I will move in. But just give me a few days to do one or two things. Alright, just let me know when you're ready. I need to start running along. Please stay a bit. Let's cheers to new beginning. Of course, I'll pay for our drinks. Perfect. Waiter! Richard, open the door. I told you not to show up at this house ever again. We don't have much time. We need to talk to you and your mom. About what? What's going on Good here? Good afternoon, ma. We are here to speak with you and Richard. Speak with us. You better leave before Richard comes back. That's exactly why we are here, ma. You have to listen to us. Listen to what? Say what you have to say and leave before she comes back. I don't want to be in trouble. Richard, ma, have you noticed how you two have been behaving? Richard suddenly stopped loving Kate and you both now obey everything Rachel says. That's because I love her. No, you don't. She added love potion in your food and you ate it. Now you are under a spell. What? Remember, any day she cooked or served you food, that was the day she added love potion in your food. I remember how she brought food saying she cooked it as an apology. Yes, I remember. Did she? Yes, she added charms on that food that both of you ate so that you, Richard, would love her and Ma would obey everything she says. <coughs> so, I've been under a love spell, but the last time I remember, I was with Kate. Babe, do you not remember me? You called over our engagement. What? Oh my goodness. I thought we were planning our wedding. We suddenly stopped and started planning it with Rachel. You've been under our wings for a while now. Oh my god. We found out through a friend two days ago that as soon as you both know she charmed you, you'll be free. I can remember how I've been doing everything she says, Richard. Oh my god, it's really my fault. Ever since she found out that Richard wasn't a biological brother, she's been trying to make him love her. I'm not her what? 
What do you mean not her biological brother? I didn't want either of you to find out, but she did. You were adopted, Richard. And your father adopted you from your mother when she gave birth to you. She asked that we take care of you before she died. We took care of you like our own until God blessed us with our own child four years later. I didn't give birth to you, but I'm your mother. Why didn't you tell me this all this while? Why? I'm so sorry. What is going on here? You, Kate. Haven't I told you not to come into this house again? As what? Why would you tell my fiancé not to come into my own house? Fiancé? What is happening here? Game over, Rachel. They both know the truth now and they are free. <laughs> they can't be free. They are mine. What did we ever do to you? After all the love I have shown you, like my own sister. <laughs> you are mine. <laughs> Nobody can take you away from me. What's wrong with her? She's running mad. Maybe it's the repercussions of what she did. Hello, officer. Please, there's a criminal in my house. Yes, sir. Yes, please. Okay, thank you. This is it, Rachel. You've always wanted more after everything we did for you. God, I'm so heartbroken. It's okay, mom. She doesn't deserve a family like ours. I'm so sorry, Kate. I shouldn't have supported her rubbish when she first told me about it. I was so wrong. It's okay, Ma. I understand that mother and daughter share this bond. Finally, I have you back. Thank you so much, girls, for everything. I would have ended up with her if it wasn't for your support. It's our friend who saved you. She told us everything. God bless her, and I'll see her personally. I'm happy I have you back to myself. Okay, lovebirds, let me leave you to talk. Yes, you are right. Come with me, my dear. Let's make something for everyone. How did it go? Babe, things are happening. I've been able to help the poor family. I made Richard leave the house and his fiancé went there to talk to them. Thank you so much. I'm happy we're able to help and not take sides with that girl. I know, right? But when we say the right thing, we should always do it no matter who it's going to affect. Thank you for everything. You're such a good friend and a darling. It's nothing. I know she must be passing through hell in the house, judging from the fact that her brother must have gotten back himself. Passing through hell? I know she must have been taken away by the police by now. I pray she gets over it and I'm sorry I betrayed her. It's not your fault. She did the wrong thing and she must pay for her deeds. Yeah. Did your husband call you since? Yeah, he did. He wants us to meet tomorrow, but I feel very scared. I don't know what his decision is going to be like. Don't worry. If God wants you two to be together, he's going to fix it. That's the only thing I'm positive about. But you have to promise me, if he forgives you, you will never go back to the life you used to love. I want to change. I want to live my life the way that would please God. Life is short. We have to use it in a way. That will glorify God. I will never go back to that life. I'm changing for the better. For my baby and for my future. I know God forgives our sin. And he has forgiven me already. I just want to be happy in peace from now on. I'm so happy we've made these decisions for ourselves. This is my house. I don't own it, but I stay here for the time being. It's beautiful. I like it. Thank you. And um, what can I offer you? I'm totally fine. I just came here for us to talk things out. Honestly, there's nothing to talk about. We both messed up in our own ways. And I just want to ask that you forgive me for lying to you and calling you names. I'm also sorry. I should be the one to say sorry. I should never have done what I did. It was so wrong of me. But I'm not lying about the pregnancy. And it will be fine by me if you choose not to accept it. Won't I accept it? Of course I will. And to clear my doubts, I'll have to undergo a DNA test once he or she is born. I don't mind at all. I just don't want to lose this marriage. I want to start all over. This time changing my ways for you and our child. And I'll be with you all step of the way, my beautiful wife. Thanks for accepting me just as I am. At first, I married you for the opportunity but now i can't help but see that god has different plans for us you're right and i just can't wait for what happens from now on how do we tell our moms about this the child and everything we will explain everything to them when the time comes one step at a time one step at a time desmond desmond you tiara hi good evening good evening how are you i'm fine in fact i'm overjoyed God is good all the time. Desmond, you won't believe what I just found out. What is it? 
I just found out that the company we were supposed to work for in Canada didn't cancel our travel. The agency made a mistake with the names. Initially, they cancelled a contract but it wasn't ours. I don't understand. Everything was a mistake. They cancelled another group's travel because one of them had a problem with his certificate. And the agency mistook them for us. Now they are begging us to reconsider the travel but this time they are granting our wives travel tickets too. Wait, you are permitting us to come with our spouse? How did you do it? It was the agency's handwork. They said the company is going to sue them if they don't get us to work with them. So they contacted me because your phone wasn't going. You need to see how they were apologizing. So I thought of the opportunity to change our lives. So I told them that we are now married with our wives and we can't just live like that. And they agreed to work on papers for our wives too with a work or student permit. Oh my God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Bib, we are going to Canada. Congratulations, guys. But you know I'm still in my final year. You have just your last semester. Don't worry, you can complete your schooling abroad. She can still get her certificate here too. I'll tell a friend of mine. He will help you complete your final exams and get your certificate. Thank you so much. I'm so happy for you too. You go for programs abroad. God is really a faithful God. I'm just so glad he made things happen the right time. Now my mornings ain't heavy Cause I'm finally getting real sleepy I love watching all the color rush back into my cheeks I know what it means to be She says she will be admitted in a psychiatric hospital. Yes, she has been seeing strange things and I have no choice but to accept. I'm such a failure. How did she turn out to be like that? I'm so sorry. You have me. I'll be here for you all the way. Good evening, mom. Good evening, baby. Good evening, my dear. Welcome. I have to go in. I'm not in my right frame of mind. Okay, mom. I'll check on you later. What happened to her? She seemed sad. It's Rachel. She was admitted into the psychiatry ward this morning. Oh, no. I feel so sorry for her. Why? She deserves it. I mean your mom. She must be hurting so bad. Don't worry, she'll be fine. So what's up, girls? Guess who's engaged? Peace? Oh my goodness. Congratulations. Thank you. He proposed last night. He's such a darling. I'm glad you ended up with a good man. Not that your ex. Yeah, right? And where is Joy? He promised to come with her. She's on her way. Hi, good evening, everyone. You are Rachel's friend who helped me get out of the mess. Yeah, but it's nothing really. I'm really grateful to you. And as a token of my appreciation to you, I intended to get you a work as soon as you graduate from school. And of course, a new house as a gift. Oh my goodness, thank you so much, sir. God bless you. God bless you too, my dear. You're such a wonderful person, I appreciate. Yes, we appreciate everything you did for us. You deserve more of what he gave you. So I and Peace have decided to get you a brand new car. Thank you so much. Ah, it's so much. No, it's not. I appreciate. You are welcome to my house anytime. And I don't want you to feel one piece of guilty. You are just God's sins. Thank you, sir. So, guys, why don't we all go out and celebrate this peaceful reunion and also talk about the two weddings we'll be planning? I'm sorry, guys. I won't be able to join you. My friend is traveling tomorrow with her husband to Canada. I need to help her pack up. Oh, wow. Congratulations to your friend. Thank you. I'll see you all tomorrow. Bye there. Take care. Just a good girl. Anyways, why don't we all go out now? The two brides and... Yes, sounds like a plan. The two groom. I will call my fiancé to join us. Merry go round. Got both of my feet on solid.